What's up, fam? How's it going? I'm not gonna lie, I lost my window for a second there. That's why that was such a long pause before I actually said anything. How many people thought the stream was lagging there and panicked? Just me? Okay. Let's see here. Alright, what's up? Welcome, guys. First early morning stream of 2020. Fuck you. I know, it's nothing to be proud of. I know you guys are all getting up at like 6 a.m. every day, like absolute legends. Let's turn this down, shall we? Everybody doing alright? Everybody, everybody grand? What's up? How's things? I've had a shave and a haircut. Don't judge me, okay? It's quite difficult for me as a human being to go in and ask for, you know, specifically what I want from the, the hairdressers slash barbers slash whatever. You guys alright? I'm gonna go and grab, in fact, my tea's here. There was something I was gonna do. I can't remember what it was. But, uh, just let me go and make sure I've done everything properly in my house. And then we're, uh, we're good to go. I'll leave the music on, even though it's pretty tragic. Let me just turn this up a little bit. Right, I'll be right back in a little second. Just let me adjust some things and we'll be uh, good to go. Welcome guys, thanks for being here. I'll catch the messages in a second when I come back. I need that. Right. Let's have a look at this. Welcome, guys. Uh, welcome, Skilltree. Welcome, Spyro. Welcome, uh, <laughs> Sonic House Things. <laughs> I've, I've seen the paragraph. I'm getting to Just give me one second, gang. Give me one second. Right. Let's pause this. Yo, Spyro. Thank you for the host, my guy. Much, much appreciated. Do you know what I think it's time for, guys? I think it's time we swapped out our uh, our sound alerts. You know our bit donation sound alerts. I think we should swap those out, shouldn't we? Let's get rid of them and uh, and bring in fucking one of the older ones. I don't know what one we're gonna do, but I can change it very, very quickly uh, if I go to my career dashboard on Twitch. Very quick. How are you guys doing? I'll uh, I'll read the chat in just one microsecond. Let me go on the sound alerts here and adjust this. Oh, this one's it's changed. Cool. Uh, here we go. Let's go on to season two. I don't know what's I don't know if that's actually changed or not. Let's let me just go to my extensions. I thought this would be nice and easy. Sound alerts. Here we go, configure. What is season two? Just out of curiosity, I need to have a, a quick reminder. Season two uh, apparently is we've got some meat, we've got wow, you're a wizard Harry. A ball is your face. What we got? Thomas the Dank, Dick's out for Harambe, Titanic's back, the Awu, Jurassic Park and Long Long Man, etc. Right, that's fine. Just needed to adjust that really quickly. I think that's uh, I think that's a saved, which is good. Let me minimize this, close this, and we're almost good to go. Uh, some of you guys will not know what I'm talking about right now, but I promise I will explain. Uh, let's get some actual background sound because I hate sitting in silence. I think it's a bit weird. Not that I'm not comfortable with silence. I actually like silence quite a lot. But all right, um, skill tree. You said a couple of things. Just let me catch you. Woof, I've missed you, my friend. <laughs> Right, guys, let's have a look at this. We'll hit the pause menu really quickly here. Uh, how'd I get to my inventory? Here's here's the gang. Let's have a little chit-chat. 
uh, real quick, guys. Skill tree, you said morning. Spiral said morning. Morning to you as well, guys. Hope everybody's having a good uh, a good Tuesday at this point, I guess. I usually stream two to four hours, but Wolfie eclipses that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Thanks, Skill tree. Welcome again. Walks through the door, closed dredge, smelling of a strange night in Bangkok. <laughs> Wearing a tie around my forehead with a large sporting glove, strangely super good to my right hand. Excellent. Welcome, Sonic. I hope you had a fantastic night in Bangkok, whatever that might entail. Seems like you've had an interesting day, to say the least. <laughs> sniff, sniff, what's that smell? That's the smell of cheese, smelly Jump Force cheese, my friend. What are you, uh, what are you playing on Jump Force right now, Sonic, when you're aiming to climb? I remember you saying you were getting back into it. As a Dutchman, I approve of anything cheese related and just enjoy my own cup of coffee and chilling here for a bit. Got to go soon, but I'll be back after. Nice, well, no problem. No problem at all. Welcome, guys. I will tell you all about my adventures yesterday if you would like to hear them. And uh, and without further, without too much dilly dathering, we will hop right into some Nino Kuni and pick up exactly where we left off two days ago because we were off yesterday. I said there was a possibility of streaming in the evening time, and I honestly I, I wanted to. I felt like over the last couple of uh, the last couple of days, our streams for Nino Kuni have been quite good, and I've been really enjoying them. So I wanted to kind of I wanted to keep that momentum going. But uh, alas, there was a lot of things happened yesterday. I'll, I'll get into that as as I as I said, and we'll talk some snash about it. But I take uh, reference pictures on my phone with me to show uh, whenever I go for a haircut. It's a skill tree. Well, front side angled works like a charm. Yeah, that's what the lady said. I'll tell you guys in a minute. Hey, I like this haircut. Say no more, fam. <laughs> Going through my part two manuscript before heading off to do a bit of streaming myself. Excellent, nice. Later today, more writing, bit of gaming. Uh, tie boxing resumes as well, so I can start moving my weight around again. So skill tree, okay, nice. Do you do you mean as in you do tie boxing as like a like a hobby skill tree? That's pretty cool. Serenity Sazu, uh, is Sazuk, is that right? Serenity, what's up, Serenity? Welcome. Finally made it to live stream. Welcome, welcome to the live stream, Serenity. It's great to have you here. How's things? Where did you uh, Where did you come from, Sereni? Just out of curiosity, are you uh, Are you from YouTube by any chance? That's why I'm guessing. That's where a lot of people come from. What's up? How's things? Welcome. Had a day off today. Been spending some time enjoying myself. Jump Force is great. Been enjoying it despite exploitable players. Been playing my favourites, uh, my baby boy Deku, uh, Jotaro, and Saint Saya character D uh, D Dragon or Dragon. I don't I don't know uh, Saint Saya. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Nice, happy to be here. Been watching you on YouTube for a year. Nice, Serenity, awesome. That's great. What have you What have you been watching? I'm gonna put, <laughs> not to put you on the spot. I always ask, I always ask. I s if people come in and say, hey Jack, been watching your YouTube vids, I say it right, okay, cool. What series have you been watching? Digimon is notably quite, quite popular. Everybody comes for Digimon mostly. There's like 90% of you guys that join come from uh, from watching Digimon on YouTube. Some of you guys come from Final Fantasy X. Persona 5, really? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> well, Serenity, welcome. It's great to have you here. A warm welcome to you, friend. Persona 5, oh my goodness. Are you excited for uh, for the Royal? Or Persona 5 Royal, as it is uh, officially titled. I keep calling it for some dumbass reason. You know when you just get a mistake stuck in your head, guys, and it's super hard to like f like fix it? At least for me it is, because I'm so... Normally I don't care about the details of these silly things, but, you know, Persona 5 Royal, I think it's going to be pretty dope, so I uh, hope you're excited, hope you're excited. Um, but yeah guys, thanks for thanks for coming to visit this morning, um, I hope everybody's doing alright. It's good to be up at a decent time, although I will give you guys a brief disclosure. I woke up this morning to the sound of a chainsaw outside, um, I, I don't know why people are hacking down trees uh, on the 7th of January in Scotland, because it is so cold outside that I would... I'm pretty sure the frost and the ice would make um, any sort of like hedge trimming and slash gardening impossible. I don't know why anybody would be doing that, but there was a team of guys outside. I could hear them squabbling amongst themselves, and uh, yeah, I, that's that was the the delicacies that I woke up to this morning in Scotland. There was literally someone. I th it sounded like one of those um, like a buzz saw with a big blade in the center for like cutting cutting off branches and shit. I I don't know what was going on. It may have just been a hedge trimmer as well. But who knows? Anyways, uh, if that starts back up, I will I will try and adjust the microphone so that you guys can't hear it as much. But um, yeah, uh, just letting you guys know in advance because it's silent right now, which is perfect. Nice quiet morning, some video games, some chit chat. I think it's gonna be a good one. 
Just lost 700 hours of gameplay, so I'm ready for Royal. Oh my goodness. When you say you lost 700 hours, what happened? Did you... Did you save over a save file, Serenity? Or did you... Did you lose your console? What what happened there? How did you lose 700 hours? That's... That's a... Uh, that's a rough time. <laughs> yeah, um, Muta is my hobby. A gym opened literally next door, so there goes my last excuse not to not work out. That said, it's a lot of fun, and I'm surrounded by... Uh, fellow beginners of all ages. Well, that's a nice skill tree. I think that's definitely in terms of martial arts, right? I watch a lot of martial arts movies. I'm a bit of a a, a freak for those kind of things, and uh, I I don't know. I I'm actually watching a march martial arts anime right now as well, which was recommended to me by Vince, who was here on uh, I think it was Sunday stream. I'm watching a I think it's I think it's called what was it History Strongest Disciple Kenichi. Um, it's it's a, it's a it's a very chill anime, bit of, bit of like fighting here and there. There's lots of fan service in it, so if that's something that bothers you, I don't know. It's, sometimes it gets a bit, you know, oh, for fuck's sake. But um, I've been watching that. Anyways, I've always fancied picking up martial arts, but like I've never actually made an, any effort to do so whatsoever. And I think one of the the things that puts people off, at least from you know what I would expect, is you know people are scared to go in because they they they're scared to go in at like you know, beginner level, like absolute novice beginner level because they're scared that they'll just be laughed at or whatever. But obviously if there's a lot and a lot of new people at once then that's reassuring for everyone. So uh PS4 capped its pants. Oh no Serenity, that sucks man. I've had I've lost a couple of PlayStation consoles, although admittedly the PlayStation 4 console I've got right now is doing pretty well. I've had it for years and I'm so scared. I mean we're running you know Kuni on it right now. Um, I'm so scared this packs in before, I don't know, the end of the year. It's been doing super well, so if it did, I, I honestly couldn't complain, but I'm whispering to the PlayStation 4 right now, I'm like, guys, that's not a, that's not an excuse, little guy in the corner. You just keep chugging away, at least until we can afford a PlayStation 5 whenever the fuck that's going to drop. Is that supposed to be 2020, guys, PS5? I think it's this year, right? I've I I had um I think I when I had the PlayStation Three I think I went through three PlayStation Three consoles but here's the kicker guys I only ever played for one well technically I paid for two because I bought my own PlayStation Three console and I I paid extra money to have warranty taken out on it um which is something I'd done back in the day for some reason when I was young I took out warranty on a lot of devices I took it out on um like my headset I took it out on a monitor when I bought my monitor my laptop when I bought my laptop it was a bit strange but anyways. Um, I bought a PlayStation 3 at launch when the PlayStation 3 launched. It was the old school fat 60 gig version of the PlayStation that was backwards compatible with PS1. I think PS2 as well, actually. Maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. But anyways, I, uh, yeah, I had that and then it, it broke after a few years because it yellow lighted the death on me. It was just old, you know, I used it every single day to play like Call of Duty and Oblivion and God knows what else. All the other PS3 uh, games that existed at the time. And uh, and it packed in, and luckily it was still covered by warranty. This warranty that I bought, so I got a brand new PlayStation Three. And when it, when I got that one, I just took out another like thirty pound four five year coverage on that one. Again, it's, I've never done this in I've never done this in so long, but I did it at the time. And then after I think it was two years, that PlayStation Three got the yellow light of death as well. I don't know if it was because I played it quite often, because. I played a lot of console gaming when I was younger, but I didn't like, I didn't like no life, the console, you know, I didn't like, it wasn't like I was 15 hours a day or anything, it was like maybe, don't know, at maximum, maybe four or five hours a day, unless it was like a Saturday where I might sit and play all day or whatever, but, um, yeah, that, that PlayStation died as well, but it was covered by warranty too, so I ended up getting like three PlayStation 3s for the price of one, plus the, the cost of the insurance, I guess. And then the other PlayStation I bought was for my brother, for his, uh, in fact that was a PS4, never mind. Anyways, got the PS4 when it dropped at launch, and after about, I think it was like four or five months, it packed in. So random, it just stopped working, it, it had all these issues, I don't know what was going on. But um, it was covered by the, the natural manufacturer's warranty, you know, the PlayStation I think has, it comes with like a year or two, you know, guaranteed that it's not going to break after a year or two. And so I got it replaced for free as well. Um, from the from the shop that I bought it from, which I think here in the UK is Game. I think a lot of you guys in, in America and stuff have Game Station and stuff. We've got Game. That's what it's called. It's just called Game. So uh, yeah, that was my console history. Nobody asked for that, but you're welcome. Uh, yeah, oh sorry, I got that one. 
I don't know if I can get the Royal after Platinum and the original uh, Persona 5. I love the game, but I don't know if I can go back after playing it five times through. No, I, I totally feel you, Sonic. Um, having uh, Serenity, if you've been, if you've came from Persona 5, Serenity, have you been watching through our VODs or did you watch the highlight montages? Because in December I made five videos for Persona 5 and uh, yeah, it... I wonder what I'm wondering what you watch because my point is and what I'm getting to here is Sonic says that he can't he's not sure if he can play the Royal or Royal because he's he's played so much of the original I, having just edited like hundreds of hours of Persona 5 footage I'm like you know by the time this comes out comes out it'll be nice to play it but I don't know man like I I I spent so much time in December editing Persona 5 footage I kind of I kind of feel you Sonic we will get it and I know it's going to be a blast but like yeah, you can definitely have too much of a game if you're not careful. <laughs> that can get a bit, uh, a bit depressing, honestly. You gotta do it in little chunks, I think, or at least come back to it after a while. Um, I always have backups for my save data for my games to spiral. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I probably should. I have backups for certain files for my PC, but I don't have any save file backups on PS4. I'm not that organized. Although when we get deep in a playthrough, guys, for example, when I recorded uh, Next Order, when we did our uh, recorded Let's or Let's Next Order Let's Play for YouTube, it got to the point where I actually started um, backing up the save file regularly because I was scared that the the game was going to corrupt or something, and then we'd lose not only our my save playthrough, but I'd also lose my my series as well, which would be so fucked up. So there has been a couple of times where I've actually put up. Uh, USB in the PlayStation 4 and backed up my data, but I've not done it too many times. Um, also lost my Nino Kuni gameplay, including all the DCS slog through it on no Serenity. One of my friends was telling me about the DLC for Nino Kuni 2, or is that Nino Kuni 1 you're talking about? Apparently, one of the DLCs for Nino Kuni 2 is uh, a big 100 floor tower similar to Dark Cloud. Do you guys know if that's true or not? I, I, I know it's true because uh, Ryan told me, but. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I thought that was quite unusual. Remember, remember in Dark Cloud, guys, there was the 100 floor tower that you could do. I think that's the DLC for this game. I've not got the DLC for this game, so I'm not sure, but, um, I'm old, uh, and thought the cloud was, uh, something that brought rain. <laughs> this was my PS4 Pro, I've only had 10 months, so it's going to the PlayStation Hospital, I see. <laughs> so you're gonna go and get it fixed and stuff. That's awesome. Mrs. Wolfie was speaking to me today about what she's going to do for Final Fantasy VII because I think she really wants to play through the remake but she doesn't have her own PS4 console. I think she had one and I think she gave it to her sister or they shared it or something but now now she doesn't stay with her sister so she, she won't have access to the PS4. So she could come in and play ours but we're going to be playing it, you know, probably for long ass live streams at, at a time. So I don't know what she's going to do. I thought about buying a, PS, a PS4 Pro because I think they're quite cheap right now because obviously the PS5's coming out at some point soon. I think one of my mates just picked one up. But yeah. My daughter enjoyed the highlight vids of Serenity. Yeah, the yeah, the DLC is like the Silver Gates quest. Okay, cool. I'm glad, I'm glad that your your daughter enjoyed the highlight vids. We put a lot of work into those and they were uh, the first three were fun to make and then the last two were a bit of a struggle. But it's because I was like I was kinda grinding them out a little bit, which was my own fault, but that's awesome. I'm off for a bit, be back in a few hours to skill tree. Nice, take it easy, skill tree. All right, sweet. But uh, yesterday, guys, we were um, we were potentially planning on coming back late in the evening to do a stream. But what happened was I got up round about I think it was ten a.m. yesterday. Left the house at about was it was it twelve? I think I left at twelve on the nose. My train was at uh, ten minutes to one. Got to the uh, platform, paid for the ticket to go through the barrier, which is the how it operates in Scotland. You can't go onto the platform unless you've already paid for your ticket. So, bought my ticket, bought my return, um, which wasn't too expensive, but it was like 22 quid, I think. And, uh, yeah, the, for those that don't know, I was getting the, the train to the dentist. Got on the train, right, sat down, and as I sit down, a gentleman on my left across the aisle of the train gets up and he walks to one of the conductors, or one of the kind of ticket operators that walk up and down the train, who was standing very close to me, and he says, excuse me, um, I've... I've just looked at the app and apparently this train that we're on right now, we're riding, has just been cancelled. And I was sitting there like, oh no. 
because this happens all the time in Scotland. It's a very common trend for the the, the trains to be cancelled very, very frequently and out of the blue. And so I'm sitting on this train, and I've got my dental appointment that I've I've already postponed once. I postponed it in uh, December, and uh, and I'd fees to pay. So I was kind of going to do my appointments today and pay my fees. And the ticket operator said, "Yeah, I've heard word, but we're we're still waiting on confirmation." So the train literally starts to move out of the platform, and as it as it moves out of the platform, the ticket operator goes to make a phone call, and he must phone like he must have phoned like HQ or something because he logged in with a number when he when he phoned, and then he was like, "Yep, okay, okay, it's terminating at the next stop." And I was just, dude, my heart sank. I was like, "Oh no, dude!" And he was like, "And what about the passengers?" Mm-hmm. Okay. Hangs up. I was like, "Oh no!" Five minutes later, there's like a tan iron announcement on the train, and it was like, "Yeah, this train's gonna terminate at the first stop, which was you know a good 15, 20 minutes away from where it left off." And then once I got to that platform, the trains in both directions had also been cancelled, so I was stuck at the first platform, which had took me about twenty minutes on the train, but it was th- it was like 30, 40 minutes away by bus. So I was just stuck there, and it was raining, and it was miserable, and I was cold, and I was just like, what is this crap? <laughs> I was so sad. <laughs> I didn't mind that there was like problems with the line and what was going on yesterday, but I was so sad that they let us get on the train. Apparently the incident, right, this is the weirdest part, guys. The incident that had been causing the problems occurred at 10 past 12 on the line, okay? But they let us get on the train 50 minutes later, and then once we were on the train, they closed the line. I was like, dude, how did, how is that even possible? Like, why would you let all the people get on the train? So all these people that bought a ticket from where my where I left off my city, they all got stranded in the middle of like nowhere, like twenty minutes down the line, which doesn't seem like a bad a big deal, but it's it's literally you know it's this city in the middle of the the Scottish kind of countryside up north, so it was kind of it was just kind of awkward, and I was like, fuck me. So I had to phone the dentist. It was lunchtime, so I couldn't get through to them for forty minutes. So I sat on the platform of this train station not knowing whether I should continue on my journey wait for the next train or not because what they told us once we got to the first platform obviously where the train terminated they said to us you know um, the next train's coming in an hour and 18 minutes so you're welcome to wait on it I was like great so I'll just wait here for my whole life <laughs> phoned the dentist they were like yeah no we can't reschedule your appointment today I'm really sorry and I was like great so I made a new dentist appointment for March I can fuck off and then yeah I had to end up getting the bus home but I did take that time to go into the local town and get a haircut, which was badly needed. So that's why I look like I'm 12 again. So I have no beard because I was going to the dentist, and I have no hair because I got a haircut. So things are looking a bit more tidier. But I, uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before I'm back to looking my normal self. Skill Tree said earlier that when he goes in for a haircut, he takes a picture of what he likes his hair looking like. That's a smart move. The the woman actually cutting my hair suggested that to me because I walked in and I was like, "Hi, can I um can I get my hair tidied up, please, and maybe just shorten, but keep it long?" She just looked at me. She was like, "What the fuck does that mean, Jack?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, hi, you know, just keep cutting, and I'll call you out when it's when it's bad." <laughs> but then I also had my bus to my bus to catch as well. I didn't want to miss that. I was gonna get stranded in the middle of nowhere. Anyways, it was a it was quite an exciting ordeal. But yeah, I recommend if you guys go in for a haircut, you stick a picture. It makes things a lot easier. But anyways, that sucks, Wolfie. Ridiculous. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a pain. It was alright, though. It was, it was just one of these things that, you know, it's not really anybody's fault, but then at the same time, there definitely could have been steps in place to make it a bit more streamlined. But anyways, just fancied having a bit of a rant about that to make myself feel better. I apologise. Train platforms in the winter, coldest environment known to man. Yeah, tell me about it. It was just wet, guys. It was wet and it was cold and it was windy. There was somebody drilling in a street somewhere close by and I'm just sitting on this platform thinking I could have been streaming some Nino Kuni that day. You know, we could have been streaming in the cosy comfort of my own home, relaxing. But instead, I went out on a journey. To get to the train station, I should also add, it it took me like a 35-40 minute walk to get there also. So once I, you know, I don't know. It was just a a long-winded effort for absolutely nothing other than a haircut. But when I got the bus back at 4pm, that's when I finally returned back to my city, Got off at the bus station. I did go end up going for food with Mrs. Wolfie, which was good. Came home, had a shower, cleaned up my flat a little bit, um, put on a bunch of edits for YouTube, and then I Skyped my friend from Australia, so that was good as well. Got a lot done. Went to my bed, listened to my audiobook, fell asleep. Eventually. Like 3am I fell asleep. 
they should have told you before you got on for sure yeah that's that was my general feel as well spiral that was my general feel as well okay so let's have a look at some things guys let's jump into Nino Kuni after my long-winded rant hope you guys didn't mind that uh we are here in Evermore let me show you guys on the map real quick uh local tell it can I do it from here so we're in Evermore uh we accomplished a lot in the last playthrough we played the game for about seven hours on Sunday we made our way all the way down to cast a uh, capstan upon hill we delivered the wood from Niles forest right at the start of the playthrough and then we then ran around collecting new citizens for Evermore, so we run about and I think we done like five or six kind of side quests, strengthened Evermore and got a bunch of citizens. We then went back to Capstan and we got our, uh, we delivered the wood from Niles Forest. They made us a boat and then we got our access to the boat. We went across the sea from Evermore, we went past the abyss to Hydropolis, which was the water city. Once we were there, we found out that there was dodgy shit going on with the Queen. We were sent on a massive expedition down to, um, well, we travelled past Mac uh, Macronos here, and we went to the Labyrinth, fought a boss for the Queen, and then returned to the Queen. When we returned, we found out that the Queen was actually being captured by the evil uh, Doloran, who is the snake guy. If any of you guys know some of the characters, but not their names, he's the snake guy that's causing all the issues. j Cram, what's up, man? Tier 3 sub, though. Oof! Is that him? Is that that real Jcram coming in hot with a tier 3 sub? Jcram, you're a beast, man. Seven months, Yamukter. Jay, what's up, man? It's great to hear from you. How's things? Thank you so much for tier 3 and out of your mind back here with Wolfpack. We're just going through a little brief rundown of what we've been up to in Nino Kuni. So, uh, yeah, welcome. How's things? <laughs> After Hydropolis, um, we, we, we encountered Dolaran. We fought against the... The kingmaker of this place, the Oathbreak, or whatever they're called, the big dragon, fought against that, freed the queen. Turned out that the queen had been keeping. I was able to hold on to my consciousness up until the third tail appeared. But then I felt this immense power. Deep throat. <laughs> you ch changed that up, have we? I saw you buying a new walk on sound effect the last time you were here. <laughs> and the, the middle, the middle Naruto, the middle Naruto voice was too quiet. I don't know what he said. I'm gonna turn my speakers up, but that was I. <laughs> was I remained conscious until the third tail. Anyways, <laughs> we then went into the abyss. Um, this is before we we fought the uh, the kingmaker. We went into the abyss, and this place was fucking huge. Apparently, I, I don't know if you would class it as a dungeon. I think you would. It was a big spiral aqua tower that moves down to the bottom where we fought the boss. The boss was fine, no problems at all. Um, freed the queen. Turned out the queen of Hydropolis was keeping the city in an endless 300 year loop to stop the place from destroying to like an aquatic volcano or something. And now that we've done all that, we return to Evermore, strengthened the kingdom again by collecting citizens. And now we are going across to the ocean again. And I think we're going across, across the crevice. We've got a new character um, who is this gentleman here, I'll show you. This guy with the, the blonde dude on the right hand side, his name is something beginning with an L. It's Leander. Leander's from Hydropolis, but he's now a main part of our party, and he's going to help us make our ship fly, apparently, and jump across the chasm of the ocean. Literally jump the chasm. What's up, Sushi? Running errands, but I'm here in spirit. No prob, Sushi. Welcome. All right, let's let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, I can top up here, which is nice. We will not save our progress. It's kind of silly, because I just used some health bots in this place, but in terms of our level and our power, there's a couple of things I want to do here. I would say that we're kind of on track to be kind of even with the game, we're playing on hard mode, so if we're not kind of leveled, the boss fights in particular and regular fights can be quite strenuous or challenging. But there's one thing I, I figured out yesterday, and I never actually acted upon it because I was busy um, wrapping up the stream, but I can actually upgrade my uh, my spells here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more volume because the game's quite quiet, I see. Uh, that was my favourite party lineup. It's really effective, says Serenity. Yeah, so far it's been quite good. Now... Just the same as with the Higgledies, I realised that you could level up your spells and I've been running about with level 1 spells this whole time and it makes no sense. So we're going to try and upgrade some of these and maybe even acquire some new ones. You can see here I can buy Pyre Pillar, which seems to me doing damage to uh, all four as it strikes. This makes me think of like a... This is probably like an AoE move, but I could be wrong. I think we just buy a bunch of these because they're fairly cheap. Um, So I'm going to build this... And uh, stick on Evan's booty. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up some of these spells right after. Uh, water Pistol, a powerful jet of water has blasted uh, unsuspecting enemies. Now the problem with buying some of these new spells is that I'd, I won't have tested them before I decide to level them up. Sunrise Ball of Light flies at foes, dealing damage as they strike. I mean, I think we should just grab most of these. Give them a trial, see what spells we like, and then come back and upgrade them at a later time. Because they're very... In terms of uh, monetary value and gold, they're fairly cheap. But obviously they do cost resources. I mean, Bonsai Coral, we only had one of those and now it's gone. So maybe we should be a bit careful here, but... Right. We'll buy all Evan's available spells. Which, admittedly, there's not too many here. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out and we're going to buy some spells for us, other people. Static Wall emits a shockwave whose power depends on the caster's melee strength. That sounds pretty good because, uh, honestly, Roland's melee is his strongest feat, I think. Next to his kind of agility and shit. Um, you can see here, because we've upgraded and done some research, the spell cost way up in the top, uh, top right for you guys um, is negative 20%. So we do get a bit of a... Uh, we get a bit of a discount here, which is alright. Batu, I'm going to upgrade you, but I'm not going to bother upgrading Tani, I don't think. For the time being, anyway. The caster conjures up rocks that can be hurled at foes. Uh, Ogre's finger. Stone pillars are summoned from the ground, striking enemies from below. That sounds like AoE. Uh, let's just buy Ogre's fingers, because Batu actually doesn't have that many spells that he can learn. So we'll just teach him what he can pick up. Maybe some of these are upgrades for the character. Maybe they're just, some of them are absolute dog shite. I, I don't know. Um, it looks like, uh, also oh, Leander here kind of shares everybody's spell list, doesn't he? Look, cause he's got some, he's got spells that, uh, Evan can use, but then we've just picked up Stone Slinger. Spark, I think these are, that's Tani's move as well, I think. So he's just kind of like a mixture, Ogre's Fingers we just bought. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually equip these and then I'm going to upgrade the spells that we've just equipped, I think. Or should we just buy, let's just upgrade our spells, fuck it. Um, Fireball level 1. Let's see how this works. Uh, Fireball we use quite a lot and it's fairly cheap to upgrade. Uh, I don't know, is there like a... Oh, it tells you where to get the items, that's pretty good. Cool. Does it tell you how much damage you gain from leveling it up? No. Well, we're on 40 power right now, let's just do it. What does that go up to? <laughs> Okay, so it's been improved, sure. It goes up to 43. So it's not insane points, but obviously it will help, I guess. Uh, we can't do this because we need a copper nugget to make the uh, pyre pillar stronger. In fact, I don't think we can upgrade any of these. Sunrise we can do. And we've got a lot of items for this, so we'll upgrade Sunrise. It looks like the bonus spike, or the, the spike in damage, doesn't seem too strong. Uh, we can do this one again if we want to. It still costs the same amount of mana, I think. Fuck it, let's level up. Sunrise might actually become our strongest spell at this point, I don't know. Because it's brand new, we've just leveled up twice. 45 damage, is that still more than... No, it's still less than Pyre Pillar. But maybe this hits multiple times, I don't know. Alright, so that's all I can improve for Evan. Which is a bit of a shame. Static Wall, I guess we could upgrade. Hell yeah. Has a power of 30. It's going to be like 32 or 33 here, I would imagine. Yeah, 33. We've got tons of these resources, so I'm just going to upgrade this again. Just make it a tiny, tiny bit stronger. Static Wall seems like a pretty defensive move, honestly. Um, So, we'll go across here. Let's me go to Batu. Uh, this is, we've only got one of those plants, so this one's quite an expensive level up, but we'll do it anyway. I don't know if Batu has all his spells equipped already, or if he only has like two, so this will give him a bit more uh, a bit more flexibility. This one we can actually do a couple of times, because we have tons of uh, tons and tons of resources for Batu here, so we'll give him another level up. Give him o Ogre's Fingers level 3, which I hope is decent. Uh, we could do technically another one if we wanted, but I'll hang on to some of our resources here. Sparkle Spike will give uh, Leander a level up. Make him a little bit... I, I would imagine the numbers on these spells look kind of minuscule, guys, but I think once you throw everybody's new power together, you're going to gain, like, an extra 10 stats here and there, which, if they're doing, like, three or four casts uh, a fight, maybe even more if it's a boss fight, then, you know, they might actually be decent. 
or decent damage here. We can afford this really easily. Even though this isn't equipped, I'm probably going to swap some of these spells up and a storm is whipped up, summoning down lightning around the caster. That sounds pretty good. Oh, I didn't actually own that. I had to buy it. Oops. Okay. Uh, sure, let's level this bitch up. Hey, Sue. Theoretically, this would have been a, a sensible thing to do before I started grinding, because obviously it would have just made a lot more sense. Oh, so I do have to buy them individually for each person as well. I thought I just had access to this, but I guess not. So if I teach this to one person, obviously I have to pay to teach it to someone else, which kind of makes sense if I'm being completely honest. Yo, Jcram, what's up, man? They can be leveled up quite a bit so they get stronger and it's definitely worth it. It's a serenity nice. Okay, sweet. I'll keep that in mind that I will try and do this a bit more often. I've only just realised I could uh, upgrade armour and, and weapons and stuff, which is completely fucking... I can't believe I missed that before. But No bad. Back at work today. It's wet and windy down. Um, had the dentist yesterday. Also, did you manage to make it to the dentist, Jcram? Because mine was a complete fucking failed attempt. Due to my boys at Scott fail. Um, can't upgrade you. I'm not going to give Ogre's Fingers to my guy right now. I don't think. I could buy it and give him access to it, but I would rather just upgrade. Let's just upgrade his thunder spells right now, and Leander can be our like our big thunder guy. We'll level this up for sure. Down here. Nice. I got you. How is uh, how is the return to work, Jay? Are you doing all right? I don't have to take the train. Yeah, I I had the option to drive yesterday, guys, but I thought you know what. There's two things I can do. I could drive down, um, you know, I could drive down for like an hour and potentially 15 minutes or less, depending on how cluttered the motorway is, or I could just sit on the train and get a nice relaxed kind of train journey where I can literally go to sleep if I want. You know, there's not a lot of pressure when you're on the train. What a fucking mistake that was. What a naive mistake to think that I would have a nice pleasant train journey in Scotland. Fucking ridiculous. Anyways, I've done, I've done enough shit, shit talking. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of mourning this morning. <laughs> I apologise. We're going to collect all of our money here. Thankfully, everything is within driving distance for me. That's pretty good. I mean, as I said, guys, I could have driven if I'd wanted to, but then, you know, I don't know. I would have been fine. I would have had to have parked, find a parking space, which would have been awkward, paid for the parking. The drive would have been a bit awkward depending again if the motorway is clear it's fine right not a problem anybody can do that but uh yeah I, I thought you know what i'll just pay for a nice pleasant return ticket on the train nah fam if only if only i i had known if only i had known right i think what i'm going to do here guys is rather than spend my money i'm going to save up and buy the square because the square is actually connected to a lot of these other buildings that require the, the squares to be built first i really want to build this institute of innovation not because i think it'll be super important to me but because I have a person that I want to put in it and that's kind of I don't know I'm not really prioritizing this in the correct manner but um yeah we'll save up some money we should have this in uh, in an hour or so we need some pennies for this but we can definitely uh, work on that soon it's going to be a big expense but I think we can wait on it we could obviously walk like nip around and do some uh, upgrades and stuff I think I've got a yeah, I've got an upgrade on here that I want to keep an eye on. This one's quite good. I think this will help us in fights where we can heal more. Which is nice because of the Kingmaker Oath. But um, other than that, I mean, all these buildings could be upgraded. I've got what looks like spells there. All these buildings to build. But I, I really want to get the square done and we'll work out from there. What is this? Level 3 research shit. Maybe I should have waited on this before I just went and bought all my spells. Um... I'm actually going to check that out and just see what's now on offer that I've just had those available to me, or made available. Also, Scott Rail is Garbo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're pretty fucking trash. <laughs> uh, Lifeline brings back incapacit uh, incapacitated allies and heals everyone's HP as well. That seems insane. I don't have the equipment for it. I don't have the minerals. What is this? Pressure drop. Summons a ball of energy that's low on damage but can stun force to stop. A big stun. Costs two mana. Does little damage but stuns. That could be okay actually. I'm trying to mitigate as much damage as I can when I fight. Now you could either end the fight really fast or, you know, random ass stuns thrown out by your AI characters may actually help. 
Okay, nice. Uh, Tani, you're chilling. We could give lifeline to Tani, but again, we need Ser uh, Seraphic Silk. What else we got? Nothing here. Leander, did you learn anything new? No. You're chilling. Okay, now what we have to do is actually just quickly equip all these. But what I'll do first is I'll actually just local teleport to the... Oh, we're going into the throne room, I guess, to activate the next part of the quest. Let's do that. I'm going to equip my spells before I talk to anybody. Yo, Paul, what's up, man? Welcome. How's things? Um, let me see here. It's no bad, just tired and been painting the shop. The painting is actually quite exhausting. I always think painting is kind of fun until you start it and then you're like, fuck me. But um, I hope that the, the return to work is uh, not as strenuous as it could be. Mrs. Wolfie was just... You should have heard the things she was saying yesterday before she went out to her work. Oh my god, she was cursing and swearing and she really likes her job, that's the thing. She really does actually, I know for a fact she likes her job, but she was, she, I think she was so comfy on her days off over like Christmas and stuff. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle for her to get out of her bed yesterday. She was not a happy bunny. <laughs> Can't believe they didn't offer you a refund, says Sonic. Oh, dude, Sonic, you have no idea. I'll get into that in a little minute. Let me just focus for a second. But I'll tell you my um, my woes are when I spoke to this gentleman at the ticket office. I've got a, a mini kind of story. It's not really that exciting, but I'll tell you about it. Uh, equipment and skills. Just give me one second to I adjust this properly. This menu kind of fucking confused me the last time. I really like flurry. I really like cut and thrust. I think we can maybe get rid of Kingspin, but Kingspin is so cheap. Is it finally time to get rid of Kings Kingspin? What about if I make this cut and cut and, uh, f what about if I make this one cut and thrust? That's my new AOE Fireball Jutsu. We've just leveled up, so we'll keep that on Circle. I've just picked up Pyre Pillar, which is really strong as well. I've also got these as well. Fuck me. A powerful jet of water has blasted unsuspecting enemies at 60 damage. We've also got Sunrise as well. Right, we should put Sunrise on for a sure. Uh, Kingspin is alright. Um, but it kind of does the same damage. It kind of does the same as Cut and Thrust. Oh, this is fucking awkward. Right, I'll tell you what. Square can be flurry. We'll change this. What are we going to make it? Sunrise? So I've got a stab, 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 stab. That's for like bosses for like quick damage. Don't know how good this is going to be. I could put on the Pyre spell, um, but it means I'm missing out on like... I feel like it kind of means we're... Let's change Cut and Thrust. I'm going to change this. We're going to try our new spells. Fuck it. We're going to put Pyre Pillar on there. And Fireball I'm going to equip later, but I want to try War Pistol because it actually does more damage. Slightly more expensive, but it does more damage. Let me put this on here. These are all new spells other than Flurry, so I'll try all them out and then I'll put back on the ones I like the best, okay? Um, over here, what we got? Flatliner is obviously the, the slidey one. Clarity of Purpose, a sword slash that focuses the mind and boosts physical attacks for a short time, so this is a buff. Um, Roxas actually said when he was playing, he found that the buffs were a lot stronger. Heavy ammo, unleashes a blast of dark energy. I love this, because, uh oh, there's a chainsaw coming. Okay, I think he's away. Right, um, let me see here. I want to put on some new stuff. I really like heavy ammo because this actually has the ability to like stun enemies sometimes, which is cool. Um, spinning slash that can cut surrounding foes and also lowers their physical physical attacks. That's pretty, pretty cool. I might actually remove his buff because he might not even use this. Um, so we'll give him static wall. And I'm going to take away Flatliner, and I'm going to give him Pressure Drop, which is the stun. Might be a mistake, I don't know. Some of these moves I might have to rebalance when I play as this guy. I've set him kind of up for like a supporting role right now, but maybe I'll adjust that. Okay, Winged Spear I found that did kind of the same as Mind of Magus, or Magus. But um, the user's in, uh, innate, ma oh no that's a buff. Is it Gorgon's Needle? I find like these two spells kind of did the same thing. Let's take off the shitty one. Winged Spear. 
I'm going to swap this. Siren Circle summons a magic circle that sends foes flying and gives their MP to the caster. Sounds pretty strong. Don't want to confuse this with my uh, my Higgledies though. Spark Shower does more damage. A storm has whipped up summoning their lightning. Let's let's get this. Um, let's get that. I could take away his buff as well and put on whips the purest, blackest appear and lashes the enemy repeatedly. The conjures up rock that can be hurled at foes. I mean, one of these is stronger and it's sundown. This is 45. This technically does the most, but what are they kind of giving on thunder? I kind of want to put on as much AoE as possible. This does 50. That does 50 for one mana. That's kind of his bread and butter then, isn't it? But I guess it's single target. That's why it's, it's more expensive. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. This is obviously AoE. I'm trying to keep an eye on the Higgledies as well. Look, you see there's like a buff coming from something. I'm going to give Stone Slugger to Batu, but I don't think he's even going to be in the party anymore, honestly. Dude, I'm going to just try this um, Water Balloon I think we can take off. Maybe swap that out. 40. We'll give him the Spark one, I think. Or Stone Slinger, give him a, a bit of a difference in elemental. I don't know, I don't even know if it fucking matters. Uh, and a spin, that's pretty good, I like that. Strongman stance, maybe not so good. We'll give him Ogre's Fingers. Sure. Don't know how good these are going to be on our team, but we'll see. Let me see, let me see, let me see this, let me see. I think a guy got hit by a train yesterday and that's why the trains, yeah. Apparently in Lindsay, Jcram, apparently in Lindsay. There was someone struck by a train, as the Tanoi announcement said repeatedly when I was standing on the platform. Uh, you don't get a refund with them unless you cause a really big fuss. It was so stupid, guys. It was so stupid. If there's an issue on their end and you've spent money, you should get a refund. We get a leaf ninja now. I'm going to um, read through the rest of these comments, but let me just address the whole fucking train ticket and nonsense and schnafu, right? I went up to the guy... So, for those that missed the start of the conversation, I got on the train yesterday, paid for a full return, got on the train for 20 minutes, it stopped at the first station and terminated, okay? There was no trains in either direction when I got to the first stop, so I was kind of stranded. I uh, was very polite, I waited around, I tried to suss out the best course of the action for the day. Um, I'll try and explain this as, as best I can, right? But basically, the next train that was coming to pick me up would have got me into my destination 40 minutes after my appointment, okay? And I phoned the dentist and I said, I'm not gonna be able to make that time anymore because of the canceled train. And I said that I wasn't gonna make it until after 3 p.m., okay? Which was, again, 40 minutes later. I said, can we reschedule? She says, I'll check. No more appointments on the system for that day, so I rescheduled to another day. So, what does this mean? I can't get to the dentist anymore, it's been canceled, okay? So my ticket to take me to my current destination, again, I'm not on the train at this point, I've been stuck at the first platform. I get off the train and I walk to the ticket office and I speak to the lady to let me through the barriers. I say, listen, I'm going to ask for a refund because I'm stuck here now because of the cancellation. No bother, pal, she lets me through. All right, it's not her problem, admittedly. So she just lets me through, I keep my ticket. I take both my tickets over to the, um, the ticket office, which is in its own closed office space, by the way. There's like a door shutting it away from the noise, okay? There's two people sitting behind this glass screen, okay? Two people. There's a man and a woman. I stand there for like 40 seconds while both of them type at their computers. They don't even look at me. They don't acknowledge me, which is fine. Maybe they're busy. That's all right. It's cool. The train's just been cancelled. There's maybe a lot of shit going on. That's all right. Eventually, the guy looks up from his computer and he just looks at me. He doesn't say, you know, over here, friend, or come here, pal, which is what Scotland, Scottish people normally say. Over here, pal. I'll take you here or, you know, customer number one or whatever. There was none of that. He just looked at me. So I approached and I was like, hi, I've just came in from the such and such train. Um, I was supposed to be going to this destination because I have a dentist appointment. However, now that the train's been cancelled, even if I wait for the next train, I can make it to my appointment and thus my appointment has been changed to another month. I was like, so my ticket, which I've paid for, bear in mind I've only been, on, the, the journey one way is an hour. I've been on the train 20 minutes, right? So I'm only like, you know, one third of the, the distance traveled to get to my destination and it's a return. So I was going to go all the way there, all the way back. I'm only like, you know, literally one sixth of my entire journey. 
and I said, okay, um, I need to go back, but the train's not coming to take me back to where I came, so I can't even use my return ticket. Here's both my tickets. I bought them literally 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago, I purchased these. I need a refund because they're no longer any use to me. And the guy takes my tickets and he looks at them. This guy, like, I'm really patient and I'm really empathetic for other people, you know. Normally, I try and take on board, like, you know, maybe the guy's busy. Maybe he's really stressed out or whatever. But this guy was not trying to help me. He was not trying to help me at all. Not trying to help me. His, he was literally trying to combat me. He thought that I was trying to be some sort of scam artist or something. He looked at the tickets, and then he looked at me, and then he looked at the tickets. And then he was like, can you repeat where you were going, please? So I told him, you know, I don't know if he was trying to check for holes in my story at this point. He was like, okay, where did you come from? I was like, right, I came from this place. And he was like, so why are you cancelling your ticket again? I was like, oh my god, I'm going to kill somebody. So I explained it again through this, like, glass you know, this glass fucking barrier. He kept going like this. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I'm like, oh. So I, I very calmly and politely explained my situation. He takes another 20 seconds to just stare at the tickets. You can see his brain trying to fucking figure out what the fuck's going on. And as, as he's looking, I'm giving him, you know, peace and quiet, but I'm also kind of saying, you know, I bought this ticket. It's, it's completely useless to me now. I can't get to where I need to go. So then he asks me. He doesn't say, yeah, we'll get that sorted, mate. He says... So how are you planning on getting home? I'm like, okay, maybe he's asking that because he's, again, if this is a scam, he's trying to find more loopholes. I was like, right, okay, you, you guys have told me, okay, there's just been like multiple Tannoy announcements saying that both trains in either direction are cancelled. So I can't take the train back, can I? He's like, why don't you wait on the next train? I was like, mate, the next train is an hour and 20 minutes away and I can literally get on the bus. He's like, so how are you getting home? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and get the bus. It's the only suitable course of action. The trains in both directions are cancelled. Then he says to me, and this was the best part. He's Again, he's, he's not giving me back my tickets at this point. He's hanging on to them. And he was like, okay, I, I think I understand. I was like, great. And he's like, so you came on this train? And I'm like, yes, I came in on that train. He's like, and was that train cancelled? I'm like, you are the fucking ticket office. Why are you asking me? Yes, the train's been ca like. <clears throat> I, he asked me if my train had been cancelled. I was like, dude, you are literally the the person that people come to for information on the railway lines. Like, why are you? Anyways, in the end, he gave me my tickets back, and he was like, "You'll need to do this online because we can't submit a refund here at the office." I was like, "Why did you know? Just tell me that first things first. He could have literally cut me off and opened with, "All right, friend, I understand what's going on. We can't give you a, a, a we can't give you a refund here, but you can do it online." I don't know why he didn't just say that to me. But anyways, he let me talk for like fifteen minutes, refused to give me refunds five times, and then eventually he was like, "Okay, here's how you get a refund." I was like, "Mind explosion." In the end, I thanked him and walked on my merry way. But fuck me, I did. I nearly had an aneurysm in that place. I've got a lot of time for people. I really do. I worked in, you know, fucking, I worked with customers for a long time. And, uh, oh my God, dude, I, I don't even know what he was doing. He, it was like, um, I strongly, strongly got the impression that the dude was just bored and he was trying to, like, argue a position of authority just for the sake of doing it. And I hate that. I hate people that waste other people's time. It pisses me off so much. You know, if he had just been straight with me from the beginning, I could have saved myself a big fucking long-winded battle with this fucking jackass but anyways rant over i hopefully i haven't actually applied for my tickets to be uh to get the refund but i'm pretty sure i've got a decent uh, a decent case i don't know how it works i don't know how they check or, or or how things how things go about it but the whole thing was ridiculous in the end when i got the bus back i was 40 minutes on the bus and it cost me <laughs> it cost me nine pound to get the bus back home i was like what the fuck anyways let me see here I've never lost my temper uh, either in public or with a stranger until I had to deal with the ticket window in Farnborough, uh, Farnborough Station. Totally understand why they're behind the window, yeah. I, I, like, I get, guys, I really understand that, like, some of these people, they must get fleeced all the time. They must get people coming in who are rude to them. They must get people who come in and are aggressive. Um, people trying to, like, again, scam them, trying to get free refunds and things like that. I, that must happen on a daily basis, so I get that they have to be a bit vigilant. They maybe have to be a bit sceptical, but, oh my god, dude, this guy, he couldn't hear what I was saying through the glass. He had a hearing aid, which didn't help matters, and then he contested me. 
he seemed to like he asked me a lot of the time like the same question like he asked me to repeat myself like four or five times and I was just like oh fuck me and then in the end he didn't give me what I needed so I was kind of sad but this reminds me I still have about 10 Digimon and Hacker's memory to optimise. Mrs. Wolfie found the hentai magazines, no, wait, not as, not as far as I'm aware. The skills customization in the game looks pretty legit, says uh, says Paul. Yeah, it is, it's pretty, it's pretty in depth. I've only just discovered I could level up, Paul. So that's what I've been doing right now. My skills, they're actually kind of weak sauce, honestly, but yeah. It goes deep, there's so much to the game. If I had to choose, uh, I had to choose between Nino Kuni 2 and Dragon's Quest 11, I chose the latter. Did I choose wrong? I was speaking, I posted in the uh, in the Discord last night, guys, asking if Dragon Quest XI, uh, Echoes of whatever it's called, I asked you guys um, very briefly if it was the right one, because right now it's quite cheap on Amazon, and I thought about asking Mrs. Wolfie to pick up for my birthday. I think it's like £19, but then God of War was £17, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I asked for God of War. I might pick up Dragon's Quest, though, it's fairly cheap right now. Dragon's Quest XI is great, Paul, speaking from experience, but I've never played ni uh, No No Kuni. So I guess I'm biased. <laughs> Don't know, Dragon's Quest is my next game, but this is my second favourite game and the second plat I ever got. Nice. I played Dragon's Quest 8. That's the one that Roxas, I think, mentioned. Roxas said that he played, I think it was 8 and 11, and he, he loves both of them, I think. I mainly choose 11 because of Smash Bros. Hmm. <laughs> I would complain about the service, asshat, wasting time with pointless crap. It's not, it's not even going to do, like, I don't think it would, the guy was polite, he was just a bit of a dumbass, honestly, that's what it came down to, and I don't re I don't think I can really file that as a complaint. He was just uh, slow in giving me the information I needed, but again, he wasn't doing it out of spite, I think he was just literally a slow guy. Um, and he was, again, he was kind of sceptical, which held things up a fair, a fair bit as well, but uh, anyways, that's my uh, my rant about the, the train and railway services. The thing that makes me sad, guys, is I've heard about other European countries and how um, how good this train service is. Like, apparently, my uncle lives in uh, in Switzerland. Apparently, and I, I, I could be wrong, so if anybody's from Switzerland, you can correct me, but apparently the trains are very, very, very good at being on time and with, like, having little problems. I think I hear about all these other European countries where the railway lines and public transports are like fucking on point, like military style, and uh, no. and I'm jealous. No. In order for our ships to jump, so here's Leander. Leander again, he's going to help us jump across the ocean, quite literally, in our boat. It's a bit daft, but yeah. Just reached 100 hours of Dragon's Quest 11. Sweet. Uh, ask him about improving your ship. No. Uh, what does he say? I would advise. No. Stop saying that. Stop making that noise. We need to first build a shipyard. Oh, okay. Uh, shit, let's do it. Fab, going to get the console back and play the hell out of it. It's a serenity, nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll play Dragon's Quest 11 at some point this year, guys. That'll be my first ever Dragon's Quest game, so you you guys will have to keep me right, but... Oh, wow, we're getting money so fast. Uh, I will accept all of this then, sure. Because I was talking while we were, I guess, in game time there, we were actually gathering resources. Um, Manage Kingdom. Where does the where does the ship shipyard actually get built? Is it close to? Oh yeah, here. Ship shape shipyard. How much is this? Very very cheap. Nice. That does not look like a ship shape shipyard. Do I need to be people in this, or does it just have to exist? I'm guessing. High speed uh, high speed hillsmanship. A technique that uses clever rudder, a control uh, control to help a ship move more quickly. That sounds great. Uh, even killed. Do we have any even killed members? I don't know. Basic stealth boat building. Cuts down the unnecessarily noise when sailing. Helps to evade enemies. That's pretty cool as well. Not bad. Uh, let me just see if we have any people for this. Uh, catch. An aptitude born from Capstan can help boost work in the shipyard. Hell yeah, let's get him in then. Nice, he's perfect. Catch. Obviously, he helped us build our ship before. Um, I wonder if I'll, I can do any of these. Yeah. Technique that. Yeah, dude, I want to go faster. Oh, what do I need? Uh, IQ of 170. So if I put one more person in here, I can do it. Who will we put in? Do we have any random citizens that I forgot about? Maybe. <laughs> Newbie. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We have a lot of. What do we need to take this to? Is it 170? 
Uh, I would like for my boat to go faster. Going faster is always better. 170. Yes, yeah, so I need 35. Which is uh, fairly cheap. 35, 35, 35. Anybody is good here. Let's let's move Tani. I moved Tani around quite a lot. Oh, no, wait, actually. I think she's doing research somewhere. Will that cancel the research? We could do something for science here. I need to know this, guys, really quickly. Um, so, Tani's helping me do this, and her IQ is needed to do that. If I move her out while the research is ongoing, will it let me do that? And I, I want to test this so I know if I can do it in the future. This might fucking end my research, which would be so troll, or it might just not let me move her. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> uh, right, well, in that case... Who do I want to move in here? Fitch, he's a weaponsmith. Is that gonna... Is he gonna lose his XP? We want to move somebody who's, like, just leveled up. Try and you'll do. You're working in the spellworks. Sure, we'll move you out in a minute. Cool. Fast ships. Nice of um, let me see, if you play 11 I recommend turning on enemies are a lot stronger quest at the very start because without it the game is insultingly easy and doesn't force you to use tactics, says Paul. Yeah, I think that this game, I think on regular mode was a bit, m m I don't know, maybe you guys played on this mode, on the, maybe you played this game on the base difficulty and it was fine and you enjoyed it just the same, but I feel like hard is actually quite challenging and I really like that in game, so, I don't know. Uh, right, let's go in here. Uh, oh, expand coffers. I can do this as well. <sighs> oh, that's tempting. Oh, this is all our money. I'm doing it. Oh, God. I was supposed to be saving. Shit. Uh, right, okay. Well, that was a thing that happened. Let's go to the throne room. I think expanding the coffers is beneficial, because now if we go on long-winded adventures, we'll stock up more. But uh, I did kind of just burn all of the money where we're supposed to save up for the square. Yikes. Uh, okay, Leander, what's up, bud? Catch. Here he comes. Hey there. All set, your majesty. The, the Leander showed us what we needed doing. Oh, that Leander showed us. And we went and did it quick as you like. You'll be leaping around the ocean like a billy-o in that thing now. I don't know what a billy-o is, but okay. Thank you. Thanks. So here we go. Jump in the boat. Your ship has been modified and now you're able to jump the Great Rift. Just sail to the right spot displayed in the picture and you'll fly over automatically. So we've got four different hot points. Okay. Before we set sail, it's a kingdom science. It's a means of manipulating the powers of nature like magic, but unlike it. it. Ruled by President Zip Victor, right, the inventor. He's some kind of genius, apparently, says Roland. Thanks to his uh, ingenuity, that what began as a small business has uh, grown into a great industrial nation almost overnight. I guess that's where we're going now. Now, before we finished all of the, the schnafu at the end of the last chapter, we actually got a, an insight into some new characters in this scene uh, where somebody was fucking around with a computer and something was going on. I think that's where we're going now. Another kingdom with problems? Something tells me we're about to walk into a fine mess. Stop being so miserable. Let's get going, shall we? I'm kind of excited to fight with our new guys because we've just upgraded them and stuff. Upgraded the gang. Right, we're going to Broadleaf. Local teleport. World map, please. Here goes. A part of me thinks we should do another battle at some point soon just to get our levels up for... I'd like to fight really easy battles. And there's one here. I wonder if we should just do it before we get in the boat. Honestly, the battles make me sad inside. But I feel like if I don't keep up the levels of our squads, the battles are going to continue to suck. I'd rather do easy ones and get free XP than struggle through them. I'm going to do this. Uh, level 11. I don't know how good our battle tactics or how good our battles are. What level are we? We did this in the last playthrough, but it's been a couple of days, so I'm kind of... Muster forces. Yeah, we could do this. No problem. I'm pretty sure we've already done this one where we defend, but maybe it's... Oh, it's Invader vs. Evermore 2, so I guess not. We've done the first one. <laughs> don't worry, that was a smart move. You're going to need a lot of money, says Sereni. Nice. Okay, good to know, good to know. Cool. Alright. So, here we go. Uh, inspect. Oh, Jesus. Why was this? Oh, is this because they come in waves, don't they? I was like, why are these guys only level 5? It told me that it was recommended to level 11. 
I guess it's... I don't even know. It's just mobilize. Fuck it. Forgive me, guys. I'm pretty shit at this move, by the way. Like, at this type of minigame. I suck. I know it's kind of hard to suck at as well, but this is kind of fucking weird sometimes. Flip it, heck. <laughs> Alright. So, I think we should have the same setup as before, right? Where we have, like... Yeah. Okay, we want to use... Swords against hammers. Uh, I don't want to leave the... I don't even know who's good against the arrow guys, I forget all the time. I thought it was swords, but maybe not. Why am I so slow? It feels like I'm really slow. Maybe I swapped out someone who was, like, beneficial. Like, so maybe I had a, a squad that made me faster or something. It feels like I'm slower than normal. We're just wrecking these guys, though. This is this feels a lot more fun than before, and I feel like this is what the battles are meant to feel like, where you just run through them. I've been playing super cautiously. Battles grown, yeah, I know. I'm, I don't know. I never really enjoyed this in part one and two, but it's getting a bit better now. At least we're just running over these guys. Wave ends in 27 seconds. I mean, technically, I think in order to be super efficient in here, do we even need to defeat these guys? The stars are appearing, but they're just replenishing. I, th I don't even... I think we're kind of going out of our way to make this harder. But maybe based on the more... Maybe the more soldiers we kill, the more XP we get. Could be completely wrong about that. I don't know. If you play games like Total War, where you wipe out squads, your generals actually level up based on how much guys you kill. Are the hammers good against these guys? I can't remember. You guys were telling me... Oh yeah, it's in the top right. So hammer beats sword. No wait, that can't be right. Sword beats hammer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I feel like it needs arrows. <laughs> hammer beats spear. So what's what beats bow and arrow then? Is that... Hammer beats spear, is that right? Sword beats hammer. Jack, Jesus. Why is this so hard? Hammer beats spear. Wait, I'm getting wrecked. Get out of there. I'm gonna drop a bomb on these guys. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I need to focus on actually defending the base. Okay. Swords, I guess? We'll recruit you. What the fuck are these guys? Shields? Hammer beat sh does hammer beat shields? Dude, I don't think I've actually came across them before. Shit, I need to keep an eye out. I'm, I'm terrible at looking at the minimap. I know the blue arrow means that like your guys are effective against them. But sometimes the blue arrow doesn't pop up. Sorry, I had a few customers in, says Jay. I've had a few runs in run-ins with Scott Rail when you put a high visibility vest on them and they think they rule the world. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, like, I've got a, I got a balance, guys, right? I feel like I'm kind of balanced because when I see other people giving the, the employees shit, I, I feel like I'm not likely to join in. But as soon as I myself start getting like singled out and fucked, then I quickly lose my temper. Um, there was, so see when, oh here, like, is this the boss? When I was standing on the platform, guys, when the train got to its, its destination, uh, there was a lot of, uh, can I do like a, a stun or something on this guy? Oh no. 
Oh my god, dude. Oh, you're wrecking my. Okay. Just kill it, please. Oh, the spears are good against these guys. Oh my god. I feel like I need to rebuild my stuff back up. Uh, do you fucking mind? Sorry, I'm getting kind of wrecked here. Just forgive me, chat. Yeah, I I don't know, man. I uh, when you know when the first when we were sitting on the train, guys, and the first announcement was made, when the, the train came into the station where we were all getting chucked out, right? There was uh, a couple of workers, like a couple of employees of ScotRail. And they were getting wrecked by the other people on the train. Like, there was like, Yo, Cody, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? They were getting destroyed. The, the workers were getting destroyed by, like, the other people on the train. And, uh, I, I, like, I, it would have been pointless for me to join in on the onslaught because, you know, they, they were already kind of getting their butts kicked. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Wait, how are we not done yet? Why are they still respawning if the timer's down? That makes no fucking sense. Maybe they were still on the map, I don't know. But anyways, yeah. It just felt like the vultures were already attacking the, the wounded antelope, you know? And the, the, kinda, the, the helpers of Scotrail weren't really doing anything wrong, right? They were just there on the train doing their job. But, oh, I don't know, man. Sometimes, I was kind of baffled. What I think was so troll, right, and this is the thing, guys, it was the fact that they knew, the thing that bothered me the most is that ScotRail knew about the problem on the line 50 minutes. They knew about it 50 minutes before, right? Maybe they didn't know 50 minutes before, but, like, um, maybe not exactly, because maybe the person didn't, um, I think someone was hit by a train, right, and they might not have been hit by a train at a platform. It may have been on the line somewhere, and so maybe, fair enough, that takes, like, extra time to to realize what's going on. Thanks guys. Thank you Cory and Sonic for playing uh for playing the sound clips. Much appreciated gang. But uh yeah, it was the fact they knew about it way before they stopped the trains. So again like the fact that they, they kind of let me on the train and buy my ticket and get on and then get to the place and then get stuck there was kind of... Oh, I don't know, that just kind of fucked me. I don't know. I feel as well, there was a guy that was going to the stop. You know the first stop that the train took us to where it stopped? The conductor was actually finishing his shift there and a part of me, a small part of me wondered, right? And this could be, this could be kind of like wrong, but there was a conductor on the train that was going to this destination where the, the train was going to terminate and I wondered I wondered if he allowed the train to get there because he just wanted to finish his shift in, the, in his right town and so he didn't stop the train and he made it look like he didn't get word in time so he allowed the train to get to because I heard him say to someone I finished my shift today when the train gets to this stop and I wondered if he just let the train get to where it needed to be so that he could just get off and then you know, finish his shift and go home. And I was like, hmm. Because again, like, 50 minutes before, he just let the train continue. And then once he was en route to his, you know, when he was, when the train left the station to get to the next stop, which was where it was stopping, that's when they made the phone call and said, right, we're going to be terminating here. And I was like, did he, did he just allow the train to get there so that he could get home? And, and I was like, oh, that's kind of, if that's the case, that's kind of gross. But, what chapter are we on? Uh, I think we're on chapter five. I think. <laughs> Let's drop some bombs here. Let's just get in, get him that booty. 
Uh, let's stun these guys. The spears? Could be oh, it's the hammers to be the shields. What's the hammer for, chat? Hey, whack, Jack. Have we got more to do? That was like really insanely easy. Yeah, there's more. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, Cody. I think we're on chapter 5 or 6. Maybe not. Maybe there's more. Thank you for the 100 bits, <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> playing, uh, playing one of Nye's fucking requests for... This is going to be an insane bombing run if I can hit this here. There we go, baby. We'll do that again. Oh, it's on cooldown. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Right, see here? Dude, where's my fucking bomb and Oh, I can't afford it because I just fucking... Motherfucker. Uh, okay, sure, let's go... Still buff. We did it. You're breathtaking. Thanks, Sonic. Thank you again for all the bits, dudes. One more, and this one is true to you, Wolfie. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, lol. I just got to chapter six myself. How are you liking the game? Corey, I'm thinking it's uh, it's good. It's it's quite good. Uh, it's very chill. We've been doing... See, today we've done no progress whatsoever. We've been literally grinding and, and talking shit. And it's like a really good game for that. So that's kind of nice. But, uh, right. Maybe, maybe you can... We're about to get on our boat and jump across the ocean, Corey. Have you done that? It's, uh, the game is very good. There's a lot I like about this game. There's some things I dislike, but for the most part, I like it a lot. Uh, our Evermore, I'll show you our Evermore later. Our Kingdom's level 2, I think we've got like 27 residents or something. We have been to Hydropolis, we've done the Abyss, all that good stuff. And now we have to choose what uh, which part of the world we're going to jump over. There's three different destinations here, I wonder what's the right one. So we're leaving Evermore. I'm guessing this one's the closest. Like, if I fast travel down to... I don't know where I'm going. Um... It's been quite a while. Titanic Flute is back, boys. I hope you're uh, you're chuffed with that. We're back to season two of our uh, sound alerts. There's no new ones in there, but it's definitely a change from Christmas at least. So we got some back. What level are you, purple person? There's a chest behind that guy. I don't know if I can get that just now or not. Should we try? Let's try it. We'll do some fighting with the new squad. I don't want to keep bringing this bringing up trains, but I feel uh, I feel robbed whenever I go to Sterling and the ticket barriers are broken. That happens sometimes, Jay. It's a bit troll. If you've ever been to Alawa train station, there's no ticket barriers. There's just no ticket barriers. So if you manage to somehow get on the train at Starland and nobody checks your ticket, you'll get a train, a train ride for free. Not that I would do that because that would be cheeky. That was alright. There's some decent damage. Yo, Cody! Jurassic Park, inbound. I've just got to where we jump over the crack in the ocean, Cody, that's us. That's literally what we're going to do right now. I don't know where to jump, though. Uh, it doesn't matter as far as I'm going to remember, it's Serenity, okay. Right, what are you and who are we fighting here? Can I just walk around you? Oh, well, that, that's that's fine. What we got? 1,500 uh, 1, guilders, that's not bad. What level are you, friend? 37. Hmm. I might be biting off more than we can chew. How much do we have? Party. 
we're level 37. I think we could handle this, no problem. Uh, let me just check my item really quickly. 24 heals, yeah, oh dude, we should be absolutely fine. Just gonna make sure that we have the best swords possible on Evan here. Okay. Alright, tactical tweaker. This guy is a humanoid, so if I go in here, we can set up for that. Let's kick the share of this guy. Did you guys see some of the new moves we have? I used a couple there. They were pretty strong. They don't stop. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. In. <laughs> hey Wolfie, how's it going? I got this game at Xmas. Hey Kai, what's up, man? How's things, Kai? It's nice to see you guys back in uh, back in action. Uh, let me just. I'll do the fire cannon for sure. What is this guy doing? He's kind of running around doing nothing. Oh, you're shooting an arrow at me. For 1600 fucking damage. Dude, I thought I dodged that, but apparently not. Now I know why this guy's so scary. That was 400 more HP than I have in total. We can't get hit by that. He looks like he's getting stunned quite a bit. No, don't do it again. I need to stop getting slapped by this guy. It looks like he can be interrupted quite a lot. Don't. Okay. I'm running out of mana, man. The new skills are expensive. Come here. No, no, don't do it. How are you supposed? How, how, how am I supposed to dodge that arrow? Am I supposed to block it? I can't roll past it. I'm gonna die here. We've just used three angel tears on a fucking mouse with a crossbow. That does very little damage. Dude. We gotta kill this thing fast. Here we go. This cannon is terrible, it keeps missing. <gasps> Please, just do something. Kill it, kill it with fire. Stop running away. Oh my god, I think we interrupted him there. He was gonna do it again. No! Noki Crystal. 1800. Obtained the Giant's Bowl. Okay. Obtained the Champion's Ring. Seems decent. Uh, how's it going? I just got this game Xmas and just got out of the canyon. Yeah, the canyon's a, a pretty tough spot. We, we're not too far past the canyon. We've done, in fact, that's kind of a lie. We've done a, a decent amount of stuff since the canyon, but we're not too far away from Ikai. It's been good so far. I managed to beat a level 55 water dragon yesterday. It took me a minute, but I got him, yeah. Sometimes the uh, the game will just slap you. Uh, that's kind of what happened a second ago. Let's have a look at our new equipment there. Luckily, we had a lot of revives, which was, uh, which was helpful. What do we get? So all the armor's fine, shoes are fine, champion's ring we just got, right? Where the fuck is that? Champion's ring's all the way down here, slightly strengthens all attacks, that sucks. We've got the dripping ring as well, strengthens melee attacks, that'd be good for Roland. Uh, let's put that on him. Uh, what else did we get there? It was a new bow and arrow, right? Oh. Sure. Seems like a good upgrade. Oh, we had a lot of upgrades actually. Holy fuck a rune. Wizards confusing. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. We got a bow and arrow for defeating that guy. Let me check this out. Giant's bow. 190. Fuck me. Huge damage when HP is low. High chance of confusing enemies. Okay. That's all equipped, just in case. 
Right, well, that was uh, certainly an escapade. I don't know why I tried to bother doing that, but anyways, uh, that was a fight. Right, let's go south. <laughs> so, just got my yellow kingmaker, nice. Yeah, he's he's decent. Lofty is a legend. Crikey! I think season 2 of Sound Alert is the best season, says Jay. I'll, I'll try and make season 3 soon, guys. It just takes time. And sometimes, I'll it's quite awkward because that... Oh, that was sick. Wow. Um, imagine that just didn't work and you just died there. Head for Broadleaf. Sometimes I will find a bunch of good sound alerts and I think, damn, this is really good. And then it's really awkward to find good quality sounds to fill up the rest of the season, if that makes sense. Or to, like... To fill up the rest of the boxes because I don't want to bring you guys like five cents because that would just get miserable and uh, it takes time a lot of the time I have to make my own because I'll find ones that I want but the, the people who upload them are just fucking idiots so it'll cut off or it'll be way too long or it'll be way too loud or something like that you know uh, so yeah it takes a bit of time to do the to make the sound sometimes stay back and use range to serenity yeah maybe I should have but then I felt like if I'd stayed back and used range, he was going to shoot me with his fiery arrows. It was only when I got in close that I was kind of stopping him from using his arrows. I don't know. Anything that knocks them off their feet. I kinda, I've kind of decided, guys, um, with Evan, I feel like some of his spells are really good, but they're really expensive. I kind of want to readjust that quickly because, well, first of all, the tactic tweaker needs readjusted also. I don't know how we'll fucking spread this out, but sure. Um, if I go back into Evan, I've been doing a lot of fucking around with Evan's skills today, guys, so I, I really do apologize. Uh, I feel like Pyre, Pyre Pillar is kind of the same as like, it feels kind of like the other abilities that we have. Um, Pyre Pillar does 50 damage and costs three, with his King Spin. Or this costs three as well, but there's 120. It seems to be a lot better. Um, I don't know though. I like both of these. I think I'm gonna get rid of Fire Pillar and take Cut and Thrust because it just seems like more value. I mean, it's like literally like 20, 100 and something percent. Let's take this. So we'll keep Water Pistol because I think that does the most damage out of a single target. Fire Pillar is obviously good against certain enemies who are weak to fire, but I haven't really fi figured that out yet. Um, dealing damage is his strike. I've not really figured out Sunrise either. We might get rid of that. Maybe we'll put f our fire spell in there or something. I don't know. A lot of these are expensive. Kind of want like a one mana spell. I might take off Sunrise. Put back on a uh, Kingspin. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try this setup and see how it works. Okay, we're gonna broadleaf. I think we're pretty close. I'm gonna try and not get level 39, these guys are. We should be able to outrun them as it is. Okie dokie. Where are we going here? Broadleaf's up there, so yeah, I should have went to the, the east. That would have made the most sense. I can't jump over that canyon, but I think I can go around the outside here, right? There's a little cave. Tucked away, hidden away. Maybe there's a door in there. One of the nine doors. I agree, Jcram. Have you worked out how to swap players during battle yet? Yes, Serenity, I have, yeah. A friend told me on the last stream that I can push up, I think, or down on the D-pad. And that allows me to swap mid-battle. That, that that's insanely helpful, you have no idea. I didn't know that before. I know that sounds really obvious to a lot of people, but it took me ages. These guys are now level 46, what the fuck? Or maybe he was uh, a one-off. Can I jump, is it this back and jump over? It looks like it, I think where the wind comes up, right? Can I, can I jump this? Hell yeah, dude. That's so cool. Nice. Little island here. I'm just going to have a check at this because there's probably items kicking about over here. Yeah, there's a chest up the top. Let's grab this. <gasps> How did I get in though? Oh. 
Wait. How does one make one's boat jump into that hole? Can I get off here? Is there, there must be an ability that lets you jump your boat higher than what we already jumped? Or am I just being silly? I want to get that chest, whatever it is. Come ashore as X. There's two chests up there. Can I get these just now, gang, or do I have to wait? Something to do with these rocks here. Maybe there's like a spell where you blow rocks up or something? Or can I come ashore here? I feel like that's where you're supposed to dock. Maybe flight? You got f uh, flight in the first game. There's some spells we don't have access to yet, and I think you may be right. Maybe something like that, Paul. Maybe I have to come back here. Okay, let's leave that for now. Tons of places to explore in this game, it's actually insane. Okay, there's a giant gear here, is this to... Yeah, this is the entrance, I think, Junkyard Mire. Interesting. What else have we got out here in the ocean? Do, 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 do. Pebbles. God. Jade Coral. Ooh. I'm guessing we might need a new vehicle to get to these hard spots. Yeah, you may be right, Corey. Alright, let's go. Dog that bitch. Ooh, the poison area. Alright, we'll pick this up. I can see the... Is that a Higgledy stone up there? No, it's a spring. These enemies are a lot tougher than the last area. You're fucking kidding me. Can I run across this? Okay, there's a path. A cheeky little hidden path over here. How do I get down to the chests? There's also a chest over there. 41! <laughs> Should I even be here? I don't know how arsehole this is gonna be. We could do our tactical slider to make this easier, but like... Dude, this could be... An awkward fight, I don't know. Let's try it. We're level 37, 38-ish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Uh, I want to do like this. Good value. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. Heal me. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Mm, I'm doing it. Fuck. Don't even care. Don't judge me. Man's gotta do it. What he's gotta do is survive on right chat. Uh, is this a ranged attack or is it. Oh, it is a ranged attack. Okay. Damn. Wait, was that the fucking awakening? Oh, you bastard. It's about to get spicy, yeah. Uh... She. Hmm. We need to go this way, right? Yeah, broadly so over there. Holy moly, chat. I don't know. Maybe we should have done some more grinding, but like, I feel like we grinded a lot when we were going into the water area, plus we went back into the abyss. These fights are going to be such a pain in the dick. Like, that, that wolf over there is level 52. 52. Hello? Okay, I'm going to peace out for a bit. I've got some things to do around the house, says Corey. Nice. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, Corey, take it easy, man. This thing just hit me for my entire health bar. How is one meant to... Like, hello? That was pretty cool. I like that. Do this from afar. Oh, hey. So it explodes upon impact. That's pretty good to know. Can I just fucking blast from like far away? There's like guys behind me kicking my ass. Holy shit, dude. Sometimes you'll just see like a fucking creature like fly across the screen in front of you that's trying to fuck you up. Like, see this guy? Where's the fucking need for that, mate? You're the last guy in the fight. I'm gonna angel tear again, I don't give a fuck. 
I don't give a fuck, Keisha. We're gonna need to fight against some of these dudes. Are you gonna rule on me again? Piggo, piggo! I need to get my Hagglebees activated, but I'm trying. Oh, he's weak to... Dude, I don't even know. Kill him. This is gross. This is the first time I've seen the combat. It looks very spicy, different from Dragon's Quest, which is turn-based. Stay back and use your Hagglebees, yeah. Hagglebees seem like the way to go. Are we even getting any decent XP from fighting these fuckers? I feel like we're getting minced. I don't know if this is the best place to train because I keep getting knocked out if I get hit twice, which is probably not great. Leander's kind of fucked as well. The good news is we did get the uh, the we've now got the the jump point, so we can come back here in a jiffy. I guess we just go out into the sea and train out in the sea where the enemies are more our level. But I need to heal first. I'm gonna go back to Evermore really quickly. Shit. I wonder if we could go and do some side quests and try and gain levels that way and benefit our town at the same time. But I feel like maybe the best place is also just to go into the water and train in the sea. First things first, I want to go in here. Click on the little stone to my right. Save the game. We can hop back to exactly where we were, so that's not a problem. I like that a lot. Okay, let's save. Punch this bad boy in here. Let's save over this slot here. Collect all of our money. Head back to the sea, I think. I could maybe even go to the shopkeeper as well. Just top up on some uh, some revives and stuff because I've just went ahead and fucking used like five of them in one go. You could go and take on tainted monsters, yeah. I guess so. Is there is there any benefit to the tainted monsters other than like the XP you get from defeating them and potential items? Come to do some shopping, eh? I'm here to do some shopping, eh? Uh, I need to upgrade this store at some point because I'm still restricted to kind of these shitty heals and they're running, they're starting to be really poor. Let's buy three more angel tears. What else can I do? I'll be seeing you again then. Right, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna manage the kingdom, collect all that. Holy shit! Okay, collect all that, collect the money. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Right, not bad. Can I um? Can I upgrade this store yet? I can. I'm gonna do this. I keep spending my money instead of saving it, but I think this is gonna give me access to the better heals, the, th the, the three-way heals. One would imagine that's how it works. Right, I'm gonna go back onto the map real quick here and just speak to this lady again. Come to do some shopping, eh? Stop saying that. Oh, it doesn't. Are you kidding me? Level two doesn't give me the better heals? What the fuck, man? Is this real life? Yeah, like, it's great that I can buy all this mad shit, but, like, where's the essentials, dude? Where's my better fucking... What else can I do for you? I'll tell you what else you can do I'll for me. Again, Import then. some fucking actual useful products, you mad cow. I've just went and spent 4k on your ass. Right, uh, research. Melee weapon development, sure. Wait, did I not? Wait, what? I thought that was supposed to take me to finished research. Are you done over here yet? Yeah, thanks. I think this will help a lot, guys, this research here. Kingmaker Blessing. It basically means that uh, Lofty, when he's around us in the fights, he should throw out more heals than normal. Kalmar, what's up, dude? He should throw out more heals than what he was currently uh, throwing out. Thank you for the sub, dude. Seven months, Kalmar, you've been with us. That's two subs today, guys. Thank you so much for all the love. Tier 3 from Jcram, and we've also had Kalmar coming in with his Prime Kalmar. What's up, man? Happy belated new year, good sir. How is uh, how's life been? Have you been recovering well from your uh, from your cold and, and stuff? Because I remember that you were ill coming up for like Christmas and New Year. What's new, man? Right, let's get uh, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. What I could maybe do is just check my quest log before I leave. Maybe we've got a monster we can kill. Uh, oh yeah, I thought, actually we were gonna go and, um, what, what is it that this guy wanted us to do? Boost the fish markets. Uh, Pontus actually wanted us to find a fish that was poisonous. I don't know where we're gonna get that from. We'll leave that for a minute. Uh, where is this taking us to? Visit the witch on Macronos. 
We could definitely do this. Uh, we can go and do uh, Hansel. That's what I was going to do at the end of uh, the stream last time and I forgot. So let's go do Hansel just now. We don't have any of those just yet. Okay, I'm going to set this up and we're going to Niles Forest. After that, we'll go and defeat the monster on the uh, the island. Slowly recovering, it's passing now, thankfully. Good. I'm glad. Nice one, Cal. Well, again, welcome. It's good to have you back in the streams. We're playing some Nino Kuni. You can weigh in with uh, any knowledge you may have about the game if you fancy it, dude. And uh, thank you again for using your Prime on us. I love it when you guys use Prime on on, uh, on the Wolfpack. It means a lot, so thank you. Let's go to the forest. You guys can throw your, your Primes anywhere you like, but it means a lot when you use them here, so thank you. Much love, my gang. Okay. Let's do this. Hansel. Hansel? Does anybody get that reference? That'd be really top tier if he's did. There was like a... There was like a sketch in the Looney Tunes. Or I think, yeah, I think it was the Looney, the Looney Tunes. And, uh... It was like a Bugs Bunny skit where, like, he went looking for Hansel and Gretel and every time he said he was looking for Hansel, that's how people reacted. It was really strange. I don't really get the joke. Hansel? Hansel. Hansel. Anyways. I know nothing about it. I've only ever seen the cover. I know you're a, a trophy slash achievement hunter, Kalmar. I don't know if this is the... This would be a long-ass game, but I think you would enjoy it. I imagine... Uh, Sereni, you said you platinum this game, right? One of your one one of your only two plats, I think you said earlier. How long did it take to plat this game? Is there any disgusting parts to the platinum trophy, like complete all of your kingdom and collect all the citizens and do all the level. I bet you those are trophies. That That's why I imagine that shit must have taken so long. Alright, nice and easy. And we get five three-leaf sorrows. That's actually excellent. And a great bonus there. Okay. That was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. We literally just had to pick them up. Let me uh, have a check real quick. We're going to defeat something, right? Visit the witch. Let's do this. Now, visiting a witch sounds scary, but I think we can... Uh, we should be able to handle it. Where are we going? Okay. So we have actually been to this island, which is helpful. The battles, man. Getting through them was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I can fucking imagine. I can imagine, dude. Sweaty. Was there a trophy for so many battles or something like that? Am I climbing across the coral here, or am I... Yeah, I think I am. Okay, we're gonna fight through here. This is okay, because this is XP that we, we need as well. Looks like there's a lot of fairies and winged beast tiers. Um, Let me just tweak the tactical tweaker. I don't know if we're gonna need that, so we'll put that in. Let's do this. Okay. Yo, Strife, what's up, man? How's things, Strife? Welcome. Watch your backs. It's nice to hear from you folks. How's things been? Yeah, you have to do all of them. Holy shit. Uh, Oof. There's a level. We getting stronger, fam. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Some of them only appear randomly. Sounds like Pixie Man. I'm not really planning anything at the moment. Usually do the PS Plus games of the month, but I've already done them all. <laughs> what a gangster. <laughs> what are the PS Plus games this month, guys? It's I think one of them I already have. That that attack phased through the enemy. That that fucking attack phased through the enemy and then fucking hit me. That's upsetting. Come here, you little shit. You're a water enemy, so water's not going to be that strong, but I will try it. It completely, absolutely and utterly missed. Fantastic. These guys are annoying because they knock you back. Like this. Any enemies who just fucking straight up crowd clone, like... You motherfucker. Straight up crowd control enemies make me sad. Uncharted Collection and Goat Simulator. <laughs> Fucking goat simulator. T 
10 out of 10. Is that a little house over there? We can go this way and jump up that. We're going to go this way though. Fight some of these dudes. We are, we are going to play Uncharted together at some point, guys. I've played um, in Uncharted 2, 3, and 4, and I thought they were fantastic games. But one day we'll play through Uncharted 2 together, for sure, because that, that was my favourite. Uncharted 4 was really good as well, though. I just never got to the very, very end. I got really close. I just did not mean to do that. This is painful, Jack. Very close to Final Fantasy XIV Platinum. Nice. Final Fantasy XIV. The MMO Platy, though. Holy crap, dude. That must have been an absolute effort. You madman, Strife. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Respect. Some some trophies are just like some platinum trophies are just fucking so much easier than others. Like the amount of dedication that you are required to platinum some games is fucking unreal. Like I just oh dude, mental. And then some games are like a lot more straightforward. Look at these dodges. I just need a little bit more mana. Right in the middle of this. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that was terrible volume. Aha! That was a fireball jutsu. There you go, Birdman. Birdman coming in. It's the king of Shirima. Nice. Oh no. Like the awfulness of the attack and Titan grind. I don't even know what what that like encompasses, but but yes. Give me the young bitch. Blighted wand of wit. Mm. Oh my! Is this where the witch lives by any chance? No, the marker's not even pointing to this. Maybe this is just. Oh, there is a shrine here though. We can enter the shrine. The fuck is that? Siren salad. Delightful. Right, Pork, I just need you to hang on a minute, mate. I'm just going to go into the shrine here. <laughs> Fight Bahamut. I'll be right back. Most of it you can AFK and still get some of the trophies. I see. Oh, man. One day we'll try Final Fantasy XIV. For the time being, I don't know, man. I'm, t I'm too scared. <laughs> what have we got in here? Level 32... What is that in the back? Is that a Higgledy stone? I think it is. <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. We're here to fight. Let's fight. Uh oh. A lot of slimes in this area. Young, young Delphine. Oh my god, why? Jesus. 800 damage or not. Maybe I need to give me something that gives me more mana. I feel like I'm just waiting on mana 24-7. And I'm, I think I have items that will help me for that. I wasn't a Higgledy Stone, it was a fucking... A heal. This is fine though, I guess. Oh, it's a door. There's a door here. Ah, <gasps> I see. It's spooky. We will not save. There is a... Is it just the door and nothing else? I touched the butt. Um, no. We won't do this. I don't know if we're powerful enough to do that just now. I tend to stick away from those when in actual fact we could honestly probably handle it. We could probably handle it. And it would be decent XP. Doors are great for grinding, yeah. I'm thinking that. Let me just have a look and see what else is in this place before. 
Some items lying around. I guess we just do this for the XP. Most of it you can AFK. Um, if you do it, I'm on the Exodus server. Nice. Primal data center Exodus server I am on. Sweet. Looking at this guy, looking sharp, what a pure and epic legend. j Paul, what's happening, man? You're up early today, Jay. What's What's good with you? Unless you're up late, super late. Are you up late playing video games, J Bob? Or are you uh, are you awake early early in the morning? What's happening? How's things, man? <laughs> look at this guy, looking sharp. I look like I fell out of the hospital. Oh no! There we go. Please no. There we go. Sweet. Sweet as moonshine. We came all this way for coarse lumber. Great. Hey, J Bob turns up and we pick up lumber. Con coincidence? Just woke up, I heard the weird noise, so I had to go investigate. Oh, I see. Did we get to know what the weird noise was, or? <laughs> what is this? We've got a big ass slime. Level 33? I think we can. Although the last fucking slime, I th the last kind of big boss I fought kicked my ass. Um, the slider as well, I want the tweaker. We put more points into this. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, this is probably a water monster as well, right? We have water resistance on right now, which is good. Okay. Lego. I'm ready. Also waiting for season two of The Witcher. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Toss a coin to your Witcher. Alright, water's gonna be shit in this guy. I'm gonna use this. Hey, hey, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna activate this. Because this move is insane. Roland's getting in that ass. Okay. Oh! He's about to hurt me a, a lot. Fourteen hundred damage. Really? Fuck me, dude. He's seven levels below me. I know he's a boss, but like, how can you combat? 1400 damage. 1419. It's there on the screen. Fucking Christ. Right, I gotta get out before he fucking kills me again. We're just gonna have to whittle him down slowly. Kinda makes me sad that we have to do this though. We're hitting him with a cannon at least. Fucking the team's gonna get fucking winged here if we're not careful. I need that heal. Jesus. Use it, please. I'm counting on you. I have two healing higgledies. I feel like that needs to change. There's 1400 fucking damage, man. That one is so OP. Okay, I'm always down. Oh, he's fucking obviously immune to all that shit. Hits me for a billion damage. Excellent. Is this a heal? I think this is a heal. I need to change off one of my healing higgledies because this is having two of these is detrimental to fights like this. Okay, so there we go. Oh no! We have to end this fast. We have to end this super fast. I forgot these guys do the slime bonus thing. Please kill it fast. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, we awaken, that's good. I think we're done here. Fucking hell, man. 
That fight could get disgustingly out of control very quickly, I think. Obtained the Iceberg Blaster. Sure. And we get 4k, which is going to cover all of the revives we used in this fight. Okay. Success, I guess. But, holy shit. And there is some items as well. Silver Nugget's good. I think we need that for a quest. Or at least uh, an upgrade of some kind. Hey, Andy, what's up, man? Uh, it was nothing. It sounded like scratching and knocking uh, at the front. A scratching and knocking. Sounds mildly ominous, j -Bob, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad it was nothing in the end. What the fuck? Uh, we mean as well heal our guy while we're here. I can well all discuss how... Uh, can we all discuss how AE is shite? Uh, AE is a... Oh, eight episodes is a shite amount of episodes for The Witcher. I think, uh, I think they were... Obviously, high budget, high production. They probably didn't have the budget to make a big season. And they probably also thought because it was a Netflix original, it probably wasn't going to bring in that much more revenue than it already brought in. So they could have made it like a 24 episode season, but I don't think that would have been financially responsible at all. But I would have liked more episodes. I was left wanting more. But maybe that was their, maybe that was their tactic. Maybe that's what they wanted to happen. You know, if they'd made it a big long show, people get bored, start watching, I don't know. I'm on it four and it's pretty boring. I thought it was really good. I, I think it, it done it done not bad for being what it is. Don't be there when he lands his powered moves. No, we, we got it, we got it. Are we going to try this? Let's try it. Uh, sure. This might kick my ass. I'm going to try and nip through this as fast as I can. To do this with uh, less revives is probably a mistake, but we'll just try and we'll try and go fast, okay? Uh, we'll try and collect barbs here. Okay, I'm not gonna bother going for that in case it's just money. So as far as I'm aware, when doing the doors, if we're if we're not grinding right, let's say we're trying to just complete this doorway right now, because that's my objective. I'm not really that bothered. If I get XP on the way, great. But if I want to just beat this place fast, I just want to climb the levels as quickly as possible, is that correct? Get to the last floor, find the statue. Unless the statue is not always on the last floor. Like, I think I want to neglect these guys and just go straight through the door. Is that right? I was surprised uh, on how hooked I got, says Andy. Yeah, I thought they did well. I went into The Witcher um, having played a lot of The Witcher 3. And I was not expecting the show to be very good, but it actually surprised me in how decent it was. Here's the statue here. I need this. I don't know if I want to do the statue now, though. Do I leave that for the time being? Where are we going? Can I, the, is that the door? There's a candle. There's a chest, though. I can't get into that chest. There's a doorway underneath. Oh, dude, is this the right way? I don't know if this is the right way. Monstrously overcrowded. Shrine... What does this say? Five orbs. I only have four, so I can't do that. Get through quickly, yeah. Okay, working on it. Let's go this way. Shit. Is this a circle? It's a fucking dead end. Let's go boys, time to leave. We're gonna escape here. We can, if, we're, if we have to go down that narrow place, we can go via the shrine and, and decrease the level, so this isn't too bad. We do have to go down this slope. Right, well we have five, we have ten orbs now. Trying to get some XP in the way past here. We're nearly level 39, which would be really nice. There we go. Perfect. Nice. You need to meet the boss with as, with as low danger level as possible. Yeah. I think we're about to get level up right here. 
but there is a shrine that we run past in this corridor. I think we get to it before we level. If I do it now, this should be fine, right? Five orbs, decrease it by one. Nice. That was good timing, I think. I don't know. Maybe it was beneficial to let it hit level two, but then that would have just took me back to the start. I, I, I actually don't know how that works. It's something I need to figure out on the way. What we got? I don't know if I go to the bottom here. I'm going to run this way. There's the door. Grab this. I'm going to try and avoid a fight as quickly as possible. Next floor. Hey everyone, Jack, did you check out uh, Has Been Hotel? I did not, Riley. No, I never got a chance. But thank you for uh, thank you for the host, Riley. I've just realised that came through. How's things? There's another statue in here as well. Next time I get paid, I'm either going to pick up Star Wars Fallen Order or Kakarot. Nice. Lord Treasurer. Trophy achieved. There we go. That must be for opening like 100 chests or some shit. Okay, I think this is the boss, right? There's a higgledy right here. Why? Why are you? Eight orbs obtained. Oh, he just gave me eight orbs for the for the banner. Uh, oh, but the it might be a higher level, right? I think I just go in like this and I hang on to my orbs. I don't know. Normally, if there's a empty room like this, an empty floor with the door and the orb thing, does that normally mean that this is the boss, right? It pauses the clock. Okay, okay. So that's like a literal respite level. Picked up Witcher 3 for 15 bucks a strife. Nice. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. Witcher 3 is mad value. Wait, is this the door? Was the door actually right next to me? What the fuck is the chances of that? That was kind of lucky, right? We spawned on the door. Maybe that was like a treasure level or something, I don't know. It said that there was no significant things happening in the level, so... Uh, can't wait for Kakarot, this is Kalmar. There's five orbs here. Or five vases, I'm not going to open that. Let's go. Uh, I think we're going up the stairs here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fall back. I'll do my best. This is a dead end. So we're going up, up, up on the way. We were kind of talking about the, the Dragon Ball Z game that's coming out recently. There's another statue. I don't know, guys. It looks kind of cool. I'll definitely keep an eye on it, for sure. There's the door. Do I want to decrease the level now, or do I just go? I think I hold on to my orbs, right? Are any of these items worth picking up while I'm here? Sapphire. Technically, I could pick up all these items and then just fuck about, but, like, there's a chest here. Shit like that. Okay. Same Cal, a DBZ game made by Cyber Connect. That's pretty dope, not gonna lie. Right, I don't know if I power down the place before I move on or not. Let's just do it. Ten orbs is fine. Pretty sure the last one was fifteen. Maybe I could have collected more orbs and then done that, it would have been a, made a bit more sense. This is uh, the biggest dungeon we've done by far in terms of the doors. We tried one once in the, in the woods and uh, I couldn't, it was just not a good idea being in it at that time. Checking behind me, no door in the back, right? We can go up or down, let's go up. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, Valley of Plenty. <laughs> I think that song is just as popular as the show. There's a lot of people <laughs> that quote that shit often. Watch your backs. 
Uh, this place is large. I'm just gonna run here. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm gonna open some of these coffers here and just try and get orbs. Because I don't know how much the, the next one's gonna be. Chest here. We're at 30%. We're alright. That's the door. I think I just saw it. We made a lot of lucky decisions running through here. I'm hoping they do all of the DBZ and filler so it's really long. And they add super as a paid DLC. Nice. Alright, not bad. Move on to the next floor. I think this is us, right? Is this the boss? Why is there a Pikmin following you? Uh, what do you mean by Pikmin? Errands have escalate, escalated. Probably won't be back till 4 or 5-ish. Don't worry about it, Sushi. You're all good, man. So this is your... The, I see the floors paused here, right? The, the danger level. 30 orbs to do this. But I don't think it matters. It's only if the level goes up they power up, right? It's not the um, it's not the actual percentage. I think this is us just fighting the boss now. Errands have escalated. Probably won't be back till 4 or 5 ish, says Sushi. Hope you're all having a good stream, and I hope to see you all sooner rather than later. No problem, Sushi. You do you, man. We'll be uh, here hanging out for when you get a moment of peace. But I uh, take it easy. It's a hell of an earworm. You guys ready? What the fuck is this thing? Can I do my slider to beat this? I don't know if he's meant to be like a wild beast or... He's definitely not a slimy. He's either a nobility, nature or a wild... a wildness. I don't know... What this motherfucker's supposed to be. Does it tell me when I get close to him or do we just have to go in? He's on two legs, does that not make him a... It's a bug. It's a Sonic. You don't know what a Pikmin is. The old GameCube. They still do them now. But I think that was the original. Are you talking about this little guy here? You said a Pikmin's following us. Jack, have you played Return to Jurassic Park DLC? I haven't, Strife. No, I haven't. I haven't played any evolution in quite a while. Can someone on PC put a pic of Pikmin in the Discord? <laughs> um, I am going to go on a limb and guess this guy is a... Wildness. Don't know what kind of damage he's gonna do, but it's probably not water. Dark damage, maybe? It's hard to tell, honestly. Okay. Here we go. I am counting on you all. He is a solid guy, okay. Brawl Anticore. And he does a lot of damage by looks things. Right, we gotta do this fight. This slow. Jesus. Uh, heal here. Did that hit him? Some of this. That does so much damage. This is gonna be a hard fight. Okay. Let's give food to our guys as well. Right, ice cream boosts resistance to confusion, fills you up, improves magical defense. I don't think that's what we need against this guy. Increases wind damage. <laughs> I think we can handle one little girl. What's up now? Nice things, welcome. Twitch has me logged out and I was too lazy to log in. Nah, you get you. Don't worry about it. Welcome. How's how's things? Dude, I don't even know, man. Like, is this guy even using magic damage? Boost wind damage? I don't even think Leander does any wind damage. I should have bought more food. I said I was going to, and never haven't. We'll resist confusion, I guess. This fight is going to be a total arsehole, I can tell. This should be good, I think. Oh, there we go. Hit him while he's doing that shit. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. 
I just stepped out of all my heals. Four hundred's not bad. Is this the jump? Is this the jump shit? No, he's doing his slappy slap. Oh, he jumped out of that. That's a shame. <laughs> my own spell kept me fucking confused. I couldn't see anything. He's doing his power move. We don't want to get hit by that shit. I do want to heal though. I'm gonna power this up and see if it does anything. I think I just missed. Oh, the beat did that. I don't even know what's happening. He's half HP. I think I give more mana out here. Let's see. This should give us some uh, flexibility. Don't! You fuck! Okay, we're fine. Sorry. What is this noise? If I can hit him with it. Okay, that's that's fireball jutsu, right? Set him with this from a range. There's the cannon going off. That's good. Get him! Don't you dare kill me! I think we're all right here. This is looking okay. I need a just a tiny bit of mana. Okay, I can't see. The heggle these hard carried us. They they hard carried us. We got it. Nice. Oof. Good. Struggling to adjust to normal. Nice low. Honeybeer, what's up, man? How's things? Welcome to the stream, sir. A warm, warm welcome to you. Are you just starting work for the day, honey? What's up? How's things? And Nye, obviously, it's good to have you back as well. How's things? Um, queen Nye has returned. Wait, when did Nye become a queen? That makes me nervous. When did, when did that become a thing? I don't, I don't know if that's it. We should demote that ASAP before things get out of control. Kappa. Hey, everyone. Normal life. Wow, nice. I'm heckin' tired. <laughs> I'm heckin' tired. <laughs> yes, I am. Work time. Good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but I'm glad that you're in an employment position. I Honey bear, I love you. How's things? I love you. Welcome, gang. We just defeated the boss. I was scared, but we got him. Which is important. Feels good, man. Alright. Chest in the corner. I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna get our door orb, and this is one of our nine doors down, which feels good, man. I missed the pizza stream? When the pizza stream happened. Is that, oh, was that when you became a queen? When the pizza stream happened? We did do a pizza stream, yeah. Shout the to draw. We had a stream one day where I was deciding what kind of soup I was gonna eat, and then we got a donation to, uh, to order a pizza. Well, actually, I think what happened was I was trying to get you guys to convince me to not order a pizza. And as soon as I said that, you guys bought me a pizza. So that was the pizza stream. So yeah, that, that was one of those. Um, I missed the pizza stream? Yeah, unfortunately, I think. Don't talk about pizza, guys. I was lying in my bed last night at 11 p.m. And I said to Mrs. Wolfie, I was like, Shoot, do, do you want to order a pizza? Should we order a pizza? She was like, no. I was like, okay. So we didn't. But that's a good thing, because pizza's expensive. No, no, no. Always get pizza. <laughs> it's hard to resist, guys. It's, it's true. It's hard to resist, but we managed it last night. It was a Monday night, guys. If I'd, if I'd spent like 20 bucks on a pizza, it just wouldn't have made any, you know, there would have been no rhyme nor reason to that other than being fat, which can be a lot of fun. It can be in, being fat is, it can be a lot of fun, but, uh, you know, uh, we made, we made the right call. I ended up having a bagel with ham and cheese toasted, which was really good. I had a yogurt as well and some mini cookie bites, which were also swell. Not quite pizza status, you know, but they did the job, you know. It's like, would you rather have, I don't know, Shakira scratching your back or Shania Twain? You know, they're both good, but one's definitely better. But anyways, I won't tell you which one we settled for. Let me, uh, what am I going to do here? I was going to save, I think. Did we do that now? Let's, let's get out of the dungeon first. What if I die? Boofed. We'll fight these guys here. So how full is the tin now? Oh god, dude, the thing is the tin is a sacred being. It can't actually be filled up, luckily. God forbid. Um I just saw the awakening crystal, I need that. We don't we don't talk about the tin, because I know that's you guys trying to You guys are trying to test the limits of the tin. I know what you're like, but luckily we haven't needed the tin in quite some time actually. The tin's normally behaving itself. 
but it does come out to play sometimes. From from time to time, it occasionally it makes a guest appearance, you know. But uh, for the time being, we we are right, we are right. between Roxas and I. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I can't deny some of these claims, but yeah, stupidly expensive, like twenty for one. Yeah, it's kind of kind of arsoly. Not gonna lie. I have spaghetti bolognese for dinner. This is Sonic. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's actually lunchtime. It's actually lunchtime. I'm going to make soup. I need to eat a proper regular schedule because I keep getting headaches at night because I don't eat enough food during the day. And, uh, oh, well, it's not that I don't eat enough food, but I'm not eating it at, like, a, a, on a regular kind of basis at good, appropriate times. Let's, uh, let's save our game here. We're going to the witch, guys, if anybody needs a... No, I don't. I certainly do not want to return to Evermore. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Right, let's make some soup. Now, I was looking up my calories. Apparently, tomato soup is way healthier than chicken soup. What do you guys think I should eat? I think we have both. We have all, we also have uh, mulligatawny soup as well, which I've never had. But we have a tin of that. I told Mrs. Wolfie to order it as a meme once, and uh, she actually did. So now we've got a can, a can of mulligatawny just sitting in the in the cupboard. Tomato is my fave. Everyone always discounts my Aussie tin, says Sonic. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I just had a whole ass steak. Is that like the bottom of the steak, or was it just a, a whole ass being like a like an adjective, like a descriptive term? It was, was you had like an, an a steak that was was an ass? Was it was it a bad steak, or was it the good kind of ass? I think I know what you mean. Now I'm only winding you up. Tomato is my fave. Tomato, tomato. You guys are saying tomato. Thought my arrival was supposed to be your alarm clock for lunch. I've been here for ages now, Paul. I'm sorry. We're working on it. I didn't realize it was ten to one. I thought it was like 10 a.m., but that's kind of when we started, so I guess it doesn't make any sense. Rump. Okay. Rump. So you had a rump and then some steak after. Excellent. It was the side... The side of my plate? It was like the side of my plate. The size of my plate? Is that a size? This is difficult. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mulligatoni is okay, but spicy. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's what I thought when I picked it up. Pear tomato soup with grilled cheese. You guys are all saying so tomato soup. Tomato soup with hot buttered toast. I have no bread, guys. The delivery, the groceries that arrived today. I'm gonna go and put on tomato soup. Grilled cheese sandwich dipped in tomato. Oh yeah, I tried. Heck, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> right. Oh shit. I am gonna go and stick some soup in the micro, guys. It's gonna take three minutes. Um, in that time, I will be AFK, but I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the subs today, guys. The the resubs, the subs, and all the hosts. And all the uh, the bits earlier as well. All right, I'll be back in a sec, and we'll uh, we'll get to this witch bitch, and maybe even do some main quest. And be a beat. Listen, gang, gang, listen, I don't want you to be mad, but I lied. Okay, I, I fucking lied. <sighs> right. Dude, my kitchen's like a supermarket in terms of soups, but I don't actually have tomato soup, right? I got three soups. There's no tomato left. I think we like tomato so much we ate it all. I thought there was tomato. I really did, but there's none. So we have three options. Here we go. Option number one, lentil. Heinz, by the way, Heinz, if you want to sponsor the Wolfpack, just hit me up, right? Lentil. 
That's like, uh, you guys know what Leno soup is. I don't need to go into detail for that, right? Chicken soup. There you go. Chicken soup. Option number two, or, you know, the fabled, never eaten it before, the mulligatawny. What do you guys think? What, what, what are we doing? We've got Leno. Uh, let me have a look at the calories, actually. Mulligatawny, 234 calories. Chicken, 212 calories. Leno. <laughs> Wait, Le Leno? They don't even put the calories on Leno. That's a bad sign. They don't They don't even give a fuck. Wait, hold on. Am I just being dumbass? No, they legit don't even put the calories. I mean, there's nutrition. Can I just... Dude, why though? One of your five a day apparently is Leno. Is this just an old... Warming heart since 1910. I'm sorry. Don't don't call me it. Don't be like this, chap. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought there was tomato. Okay, so apparently chicken soup is more healthier Mulligatoni is fattening apparently 234 calories in a can Ugh. I don't even know how to check the calories on this one Leno's just like he's the fucking sneaky bitch I would be if I was watching someone Leno would be the one I'd be scared of Mulligatoni the Leno isn't so so good from Heinz I've had the Leno before it's alright it's not bad not my favourite but it's alright Um, let me see here don't let him google it wait what Google what? He he feel wait wait he feel too young a child. Wait, what are we talking about here? I'm soaking. Oh, clean shaven Jack makes me uncomfortable. Wow, dude, that that borderline hurts my feelings. Well, okay, yeah, no, it makes me uncomfortable too. But uh, it had to be done, guys. It was either I went in with a big messy beard to the dentist and things would have been ox. I, I don't know. But then I never even got to the dentist, so it was all for naught anyway. T uh, better with tomato or chicken. Leno gives you. Gives you the stream farts, says Serenity. Greetings, says Chazarok. Chazarok, what are we having? Are we having chicken soup, lentil soup, or mulligatawny? I've had votes for each. Get the spicy soup, mulligatawny. I've got two votes for mulligatawny. Andy Fausto's chicken. I don't have any tomato, Andrew. That was the start of the discussion. Andrew votes for chicken. Lentil is getting a down vote from Serenity. <laughs> just, just a don't do that. I don't know. Grow the beard out. We could legit be brothers. It's gone, guys. The beard will take another month or two to come back. And even then, it's an absolute mess. I look like I'm growing a piece of tumbleweed on my face. I'll, I won't shave before I go to the dentist, says Nye. Great. Guys, we've got three votes for Mulligatoni. It's fucking happening. I've never eaten this before in my life. It's the highest calories, but we don't give a single fuck.
Hey, hey, hey. Chat, I swear to God, if I taste this soup and it tastes like piss, you guys are to blame. Fucking you. You there, in the back. Ah, uh, you. Higgledy piggledy. Right, nearly, nearly done guys, that's a microwave pop. Right, team. My body is ready to receive the mulligatawny. First initial impression, it does actually smell a bit spicy. It smells a bit peppery, a bit spicy and marooey, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Are you all ready for this? I don't know if I am. Right, okay. Here we go. Let me explain and describe the fragrances of the mulligatawny to the chat. It smells like it smells like tomatoey kind of penny smell here. Can you guys see it? Do you guys want to see the the mulligatawny? It actually kind of looks like death from here. It doesn't look that appealing. Maybe I shouldn't have showed you guys that. Maybe that just put you all off. All right, it's actually warm though. It's warming up my hands, <laughs> which is nice. Um, if it's cream of chicken, go mulligatawny. Says Serenity. It was just regular chicken soup. I don't know cream of chicken soup, regular chicken soup. I don't know what the difference is. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a pleb. Chazarok says, just watch the vid on how Clash of Clans is unfortunately the most influential game of the past decade. Wow. There you go. Clash of Clans must be making sick bank. Comes back a uh, right fat bastard after one soup. I mean, maybe. You never know. You, know. you never can be certain. Let's all talk about how excited we are for the new Barney and Friends adventure and the displacement dimension. I don't even... What Barney as in Barney the the dinosaur J Bob? What what, what, who, what Barney are we talking about here? Should I know? Barney the multiverse is canon now. I'm so confused. I don't I don't know. Okay, I actually need to work. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Honey bear, no, not like this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, all canon now. I swear you don't cook it long enough unless you microwave it. I did microwave it. Yeah, I did. It went in for three minutes. Barney has gone from overly childish to bloodthirsty. Rex Hellbent on Revenge. I'm confused. Looks yummy. Sounds ingenious, Jay. Looks are deceiving. Right. I'm going to taste it. I'm going in. It's It's got like rice and stuff in it. It's got like rice and... I'm, I'm just... Just wait, chat. Just wait. Calm, calm. Everybody calm down. It is spicy. I need more. Stop. Just wait. It's actually alright. It's fine. Yeah, it tastes alright. It feels like, um, it kind of just tastes like a curry. That's honestly what it tastes like. Like some sort of tikka masala. I think that was a bit of chicken. It's got chicken in it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can taste like the, uh, like uh, I can taste the chili beans. It tastes good. It's actually good. I found like, some good fucking food that look. <laughs> it's actually tasty. All right, gang. Your new quest, go out and try some mulligatawny soup. That's actually dope. We might have just found the new meta. It feels like it's gonna actually be super, like I think a bowl of soup like this would be super good in the winter, which it, you know, luckily it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see myself eating this shit in the summer. That's for sure. <laughs> Man. So, uh, my only thing I'm missing though is some bread, guys. I'm missing some bread. Feels bad, man. But we'll have bread tomorrow, which is hype. Tomorrow, for lunch, we're going to be having ham rolls. 
Yeah, who's excited for ham rolls? You excited? I knew it. Ham rolls tomorrow. What else have we got coming on the deliveries? We've got dinners, obviously. I've got some Smarties, you know, like the chocolate sweets. I've got Smarties coming. Uh, some yogurts. I've got a Miller Corner with me here today. I've got a peach Miller Corner. It's not my chocolate balls today, Paul. I think this will show through on the green screen, hopefully. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Nice. I've got a Miller, a peachy, peachy Miller Corner. Check that shit out. Peach and apricot. Delightful. That's going to cool me down. We have no chocolate. We're not doing chocolate right now. Not for lunch. Maybe after dinner. If we're feeling spicy. Don't underestimate a really good ham sandwich. Oh, dude. I am so stoked. I get like uh, like little baby baguettes. I think they're called batons. Or batons. 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 I don't fucking know. But um, little baby French sticks. Slap some ham on that bad boy. Butter that up. Perhaps a, chi a slice of cheese. If we're really wanting to go the extra mile. Throw in some crisps, or chips, as they're called. Crisps. It's actually quite good. Today we learned that we like mulligatawny soup, chat. I don't think there's any pot noodles in my cupboard. Maybe I should have ordered more of those. I'm kind of going off pot noodles a little bit though. Every single time I have one, I eat less and less of it. I think I'm going off pot noodles. Hmm. Pot noodles are not very filling either, I don't think. They taste good, but I think they're high in salt and that's kind of it. Hmm. I told you guys about the canoe instructor once that, that flamed me for suggesting that I bring pot noodles, right? He was like, what, what? We were doing Duke of Edinburgh, which is like an expedition camping award scheme that you can do like through schools and stuff in the UK. And uh, we had this instructor that was teaching us how to basically direct and sail Canadian canoes. So he was teaching us all the strokes that you do with the oars and the paddles and stuff. And he was like, right, what are you going to take on your, like for food in your expedition? Because you just have limited space and whatnot. And, uh, and somebody suggested pot noodles and he, he just shot them this look of absolute disgust. I thought he was just gonna get like blow the guy's head off. Friend, it says my lady parts are equivalent. Someone talk foodie to me. <laughs> I uh, all I'm saying is we do plenty of food talking here. We do plenty of food talking here and on the channel, and it's not always the best thing, especially when I'm hungry. It drives me nuts. We spent even just last stream. We spent like I want to say at least two hours talking about food. And we've already talked about food a bunch today. Skill tree, what's up man? Welcome back. Skill tree, have you ever um have you ever had the absolute pleasure of tasting mulligatawny soup? It's quite spicy, but it's good. You've not really missed much in terms of the uh <laughs> admittedly in terms of the Nino Kuni. <laughs> We did actually get one of our doors though, which is kind of hype. I think I can show that right now, actually. Uh, quests. We should have two now, uh, if I go over here. Yeah, two out of nine doors for millennia here. Interesting. We got a lot of XP for finishing this quest. I wonder if we should make this a priority. Not a priority, but you know. Still haven't found any of these things. Interesting. But yeah. Alright. Can't say that I have or have ever heard of it. I generally don't like spicy stuff, but to each their own. I am a 6 out of 9 doors. Alright, you're killing it. We only just did our second one there. I'm ticking off the list to get to like Kingdom Level 4. Holy shit. You must be way ahead of me. Alright, we're nearly finished guys. I'm sorry for holding up the, the games right now. Give me a minute. Oh, 
for me at the River Jordan. I don't know what the next bit of the song is. I just keep singing that bit over and over. Snort it. Now, I'm not snorting the mulligatawny fiery soup, okay? I'm not snorting the go- Get her out of here. Mods, mods, get her out. Snort gang, no, chat, we can't become the snort gang. We can't, we can't. Okay, I'm gonna eat my yogurt, you guys calm the fuck down, okay? Snorting, the snorting of the, mulli the mulligatawny soup is going in the tin, okay? That's as bad as drugs, kids. Don't, don't do that. You'll die. It'll go straight into your brain, you'll die. I'm telling you. That's a class A drug here, in the UK, in Scotland. Andy Fu will side with me. No, he won't. He absolutely will not. I've got his. I've got the copy of Medieval that he wants a shot of, and if he wants to see that, he's not agreeing with you. Free Willy. No, no, stop. You can't just shout Free Willy out of non. -con you can't non context shout Free Willy in the chat, J Bob. Wait, what? Says Andy. Just ignore her, Andy. She's being silly. Now he says when we next play D and D, she's gonna shank you. She's gonna shank your nan. Torn between Lord Wolfie and Queen Nye. Mom and Dad, please don't fight. Oh my. So many parallels here. This is ridiculous. Telecom. What? What's happening right now? Chat. What? What's happening? Free Willy Telecom? Hello? Chat? There's a... We went from Mulligatomy... Mulligatawny soup to snorting soup to some whales, famous whales. Does anybody want to get Moby Dick in here? He would tie into so many of the parallels right now as well. Fucking Moby. I told him to snort the soup, but he pussed. But you sang the song in Free Willy. Oh, is that what, <laughs> is that what Free Willy is? Oh, is that, <laughs> is that song from Free Willy? The Hold Me at the River Drawn? <laughs> Does, does, does Willie himself sing that? I remember the trailer for Free Willie was on like every VHS, VHS, VHS tape I had when I was younger. And the guy read it like this. It would play the trailer and then the little kid would go, Go Willie, go! And then it would do that bit where the whale leaps over the fucking pier and escapes into the sea. Which is obviously the fucking, the classic scene or the final scene in the movie or whatever. And, uh and then the little narrator would come on after it would cut to this uh, a picture of the ocean and a free willy would flash up and he'd go free willy like that did they make a free willy too when willy came back unfreed himself <laughs> and then needed to escape again that'd be fucking ironic holy shit right we can't keep talking about whales okay we can't keep talking about whales we can use whales whales Right, let's go. We're actually in the ocean now, so maybe we'll see Free Willy, Moby Dick, or Tilikum while we're out and our out and about. Well, we won't see. Uh, we won't see Tilikum, That's for sure. He has his own issues. Freedom sucked. Free food, please. <laughs> Free Willy too in cinemas near you. <laughs> he returned. He was into being dominated, so he came back. He was that was his fetish. He liked being in captivity. In fact, his fetish was actually escaping as a whale. He just loved the thrill of uh, being trapped and then escaping. So then they made a whole fucking series. N coming to Netflix soon. Free Willy. The Mental Whale. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that thing where I laugh at my own jokes and they're not funny. Free Willy. The Mad Bastard. I would watch that show. We could all watch that together as a wolf pack on Netflix. I said long ago, guys, we were going to do cinema night. We've never, ever done it. I'm so sorry. Do you guys want to do that? Should we do cinema night one night where we watch a movie together in Discord? It sounds like fucking chaos, but it could also be quite enjoyable, I think. Okay, the crypt. I think that's where the witch is. We're going to go there last. There are three movies, I think. Wait, there's three Free Willy movies? How many times... How many times can one free one's willy? <laughs> oh, there's so many plays, plays at work here. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. Somebody's gonna clip that. Don't clip that chat, you fucking weirdos. Right, no. 
That's all of our fetishes, says Nai. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Hold me at the river, Willie. Free my Jordan. I don't know. What's the next bit of the song, guys? We need to learn it so that I can sing more bits. Wait, didn't they just add Free Willy on Netflix? I don't know. Are they allowed to just add a whale like that? Just add one's whale. Oh, golds. I'm in. Don't have Netflix, though. Says Skill Tree. Hmm. Maybe we could find another way to do it. I don't know. I've never broadcasted a movie for us all to watch. I can just imagine the chaos, though, where, like, somebody joins halfway through the movie with, like, a really fucking clunky microphone. And then, like, their mum's in the background hoovering, somebody screaming, they're trying to free their willy or something. Like, you know, who knows what could happen in a Discord full of people while we're trying to watch a movie. I can just imagine. We'd need to have some sort of rules and regulations. Like, it would have to be fucking push to talk only or some shit. Clipping and densifies. Hey, no kink shame, it's a skill tree. Listen, chat, don't you... Uh, when I... I'm not up for kink shaming. But sometimes we gotta, you know, I gotta put a, a damp towel on these conversations, otherwise the fires start. You guys know how the fire, you guys know the fires when they're starting. Some of you guys throw gasoline on the oil field, it's true, alright? I'm trying to smother the flames before the chat intensifies into a blazing inferno, which there is no escape from, okay? So don't come at me with your BS, because see when people start screaming about dicks and hentai? This is the only guy standing between you and a wholesome chat, alright? This guy here. So you best fucking behave yourselves. Right. I'm going over here, I'm gonna collect items, I'm gonna find the witch. Apparently she's in the back of the cave. All the way down there. This cave is fucking enormous, hello? Let me go this way. Um, basically every game and chat room with voice, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, if you're tall, don't stand up or sit in the front. <laughs> Sorry for uh, freeing Willie then flipping, but I gotta go shovel, lol, peace, J-Bob. Enjoy the freedom of one's Willie. You, uh, you have a great day, sir. I hope the shoveling goes well. Thank you for hanging out with us. A pleasure as always. You can free your Willie in the chat anytime you like. Free Willie is actually Moby Dick. Dun dun dun. Oh my god, fucking plot twists, hello. What the hell is that at the back, guys? You see that? What is that? There's something on fire. There's something special in this cave. There's a lolly on fire at the back. I have to fight through these guys. Ah, uh, what's up? Pull me at the river, Willie. Old one's Jordan. Pork, can you stop it? No, no, nai. Put that away. Okay, stop that. Take seats in back row. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Alright, nice. Did you play Monopoly the other night? We did play Monopoly, yes. We did, uh, Cal. We done a lot of things that night. We played Monopoly. We played Cards Against Humanity. We also played Secret Hitler all on stream. It was quite fun. It, in fact, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I've clipped a bunch of those moments, guys. So when I make my next highlight video of all the streams where we kind of throw together some funny moments, um, I will, I've highlighted a bunch of those streams. So I'll try and include as much as I can without it being like too long, okay? Is this, a, is this like a, a haggle there? Is this something... The lost soul floats there silently, staring with forlorn hope in your direction. The forlorn watchman from Oblivion. What is this? Do I, need a, I definitely need a spell or something, right? <gasps> Do I need to go to the witch and then come back for this? Is this a quest item? Hmm? Who knows? It's a spirit you talk to if you have the spell. Oh, it just gives you lore tidbits. Got you. Well, that answers that question then. Sweet. I'm almost two meter tall. Uh, six, five in tarred units, says skill tree. Six foot five. Legend, you might be the biggest member of the Wolfpack. Skill tree, you gotta be tall. I mean, that's borderline a giraffe, to be honest. You should, uh, you should count yourself lucky. 
Where are we going here? Is this the way we came in? Oh, it's the way we came in. Fuck me. Oh, Wolfpack game night. Let me know when the next one is. I will join on my GF2, um, if that's okay. We were, um, what happened was, coming up to Christmas, uh, one of our community members, Roxas, who is a beloved homie, um, he reached out and bought me a tabletop simulator on Steam. And he was like, right, let's play some games. So we organized a party very quickly. I posted in the Discord to see if anybody wanted to join. And then we reached out and invited some of the other gang that we normally play games with. And uh, yeah, we played for about three hours. We started off with Monopoly. That was chaotic as fuck. Um, that was that was causing problems. We then moved on to... Oh, we did, uh, we did bowling for a tiny second. We did bowling for a tiny second. That was probably more chaotic than Monopoly was. Then we played Cards Against Humanity for a few rounds. That was fun. Jcram instantly won it, so we had to move on. And then we played Secret Hitler, which I had no idea how to play, but it actually turned out to be like super fun. That was definitely the most fun I had that night. Uh, not sure how much it is in feet, but I know I'm 182 centimeters Sonic. <laughs> I don't know how someone's even supposed to measure their own height, guys. I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to measure my, my own height. I think I'm six foot on the nose. But it's, I, I don't know. I think you need to, you kind of need someone to do it for you to do it reliably, right? Unless you're like doing that old trick where you get a pencil and put your, your head next to the door. Did anybody do that in their own house? Did they ever like stand next to a wall and then get like a little pencil mark made above them? I think we would have done that, but my mum was kind of crazy about touching walls and stuff. I don't think she would have been cool. I think my dad done it for my sister, where he like carved in a door frame or something, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to see here. I'm kind of cheating, being Dutch and all. Are Dutch notoriously tall citizens? Is that how that works? I, I don't even know if that's a thing. Tabletop sim. Uh, I have that somewhere as well as a spare key for next time. Oh, cool. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's go. We love every bit of it. I'm five, uh, five foot two, which is all, which is all salt and attitude. <laughs> Excellent. That's uh, a large, a large degree of my humanity and uh, stature goes into sodium. So we're a good match. Oh shucks. Put yourself against the wall, nose first, eyeballs, and eyeball it with a pencil. Then measure the floor. This sounds complicated, guys. Fairly decent estimate in any case. Dutch are the tallest people in the world on average. Well, there you go. Nice. Let every guy here is 1.8. Girls average about 1.7. Crazy. You guys are all tall mofos. Yeah, I never really, um... Oh god, this is the witch. She's a monster. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm grab this rope. Hi. Okay, we have to fight her to get past her. Let's do the tweaker. Uh, we're gonna need to adjust this. Pew, pew, pew. Right. <gasps> Crikey! Six sensor. Hell yeah, dude. One of these. If I actually use my other units, Tani and Batu, I could swap them in here, but I did like I honestly can't be asked. This is the gang for me. Leander, Roland and Evan. Okay. Let's go. I uh, said let's go. I clicked no there. Oops. I know people who exceed two meters. Damn. By the way, it made my Final 14 character look like Yennefer. Oofed. How are you supposed to comment, concentrate on the on the game when uh, when she's looking like Yennefer? Did you do Yennefer based on the games or Yennefer based on the show? She's kind of similar though. I feel like Triss was very different in the show than she is in The Witcher 3. Like, super different. But I don't know if that cast was based on like the original kind of novels and shit. I don't, I don't know. Okay, right, this is going to be quite an awkward fight, I think. Don't you dare. Okay. Let's do that. Uh... How am I supposed to enjoy this game when I get hit once and it one bangs me? Hello? 
What the fuck? I'm gonna get destroyed. That was close. What a fucking nightmare. I really hope this bitch is squishy because we are doomed otherwise. Dude, why would it recommend this quest as being like level 34? Do I just not- do I play as somebody who's more tanky? Like... Oh, we stunned her. Get care when she stunned quick! I go, these go! Right, maybe we just get up in our face. Maybe we just get- That didn't work. Okay. So, so far she's hit me three times and every time I've used one of my five revives. We're doomed. We're fucking doomed. She's at half HP though. Do I just play as Roland? Do I let the AI control Evan? I've only got her down to half HP. This is so fucked. I have magic resistance, I think, on one dish. This is so fucking shit. Uh, magic defense. I could put that on Roland and just use Roland. That might be the only play. Let's do this. Away from me, you fuck! Don't you dare! That did that miss? Or Roland just got hit by a fucking buckle? Don't you do it? Which is after Roland now? No, you you're there. We go. Don't do it. Maybe I don't have enough magic resist for these fights. I don't know. Yikes. That was pretty gross. Um, let me see here. I'm uh, 1 meter... Uh, is that 1 meter 80? 180 ish. It says nigh. Big things come in small packages nigh. Like my mother's pet teacup chihuahua. Tiny dog, but would tear your face off harder than a big dog. Nigh, I thought you were tall. I thought Nye, Nye, did you not say you were tall before? I think Nye's quite tall. That's just a, I think that's what we talked about before. A little bit of both, but more based off the show. It's a strife. Okay. Is this Dark Souls? I don't know. We got wrecked. Maybe your gear is not on par? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Get good. A game with for a simple child, says Galmar. Pro tip, keep your health above zero and avoid dying. Also, try not to get hit since she hurts. I told you the tainted hit is like a freight train. I wasn't exaggerating. She fucking slaps. Maybe look at your armor and accessories. Evan is pretty squishy. Always plays, played as Roland, but I still died a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's probably just a balance of like magic resist not being high enough versus like I could have also attuned my defenses and my little tactical slider to take less. I think she, she was doing light damage, but I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Got him. I am not tiny, I am 180, yeah. No fucking worries. I am taller than half the guys I know, this is nice. There you go. But your uh, your pet, your teacup sized pet chihuahua, or your mum's pet, pet teacup sized pet chihuahua sounds like quite the, uh, quite the character, Sonic. I don't know. Oh, dude, if I get guys, if I had to, I like a lot of animals, right? I think if I got a dog, I'd have to get a cool dog. <laughs> Remember this discussion? We've talked about this before. I think I would have to get a cool dog. Like, if I'm gonna get a dog, why would I get? A, why would I get a, like a tiny dog? What would I do with a tiny dog? You know? 
Is that just me? Sometimes I see, see people walking their dogs in the park and they just look like... They look like hamsters. <laughs> Exclamation mark, small dogs. <clears throat> right, I'm just gonna fucking nip back to Hydropolis ASAP. Hope I didn't offend you with that comment, says, na <laughs> says Sonic. No, says Night, nah, you're fine. Is that soup I've spilled on my desk? No, it's not, thank God. There's a chest in the center of this place and I don't know how to get to it. How does one get down there? I am in a really ruined position right now. I shouldn't be messing around with this. I want to get that chest though. I don't know if I'm coming back here. There's also stuff up high, but I don't know if I can get up there either. Leave me alone, you freak. Did I go down? Down and along? No, dude, I'm out of here. I'm out. See you later. Uh, let's go to Hydropolis. Hmm. I'm just a big package, just now. Nice. I'm glad my BF is an absolute unit, so I don't feel like a giant. A giant. Yeah. There you go. Equally matched, perfectly suited. Seems like a good time. I think uh, if you've got someone to uh, make you look proportionate, then that's perfect. Not that that's a complete necessity, but this, this definitely helps. It's kind of cool. Let me see here. Good day to you. Enjoy your stay. I would like to stay at the inn, please. 20 gold is a pretty good deal to sleep in a bed for a night and feel some warmth. These inns seem like they're uh, a good deal. Have we got any new citizens here that I can talk to before I do this quest? No? Negative. I am going to need to stop at the inn here though and buy some healing potions. Large dog. Oh, how cute. Small dog, stay away from me, you little sh- Yeah. I know, guys, I will- Once the thing I will say, I'm pretty sure the bigger the dog you have, the more expensive your medical bills are. So maybe people get small dogs because they're a lot less hassle, you know. If I'm an 80 year old woman and I want a pet companion dog, you're not going to get a fucking husky, are you? I mean, you might. I'm not know that that's impossible, but you know, you probably get a small dog that's easy for you to control and look after and feed, and you know, a bigger dog equals more food and bigger excess food, and then you know, again, medical bills and stuff. Maybe it's got more energy, so it's wild and harder to control. I kind of get all those things. I don't know. I feel like the wildly accepted definition of feminine says now, which is hard when I can kiss my BF's forehead effortless <laughs> effortlessly. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. There we go. Take that. Where am I going? Hell yeah. I'll take that. Please tell me these guys sell big healing. Hello? Dude, I need body paint like the people of fucking Hydropolis, man. That's so dope. This is what I need. These. I'm gonna buy a lot of these. How much is that? 2k. We've got 42 grand. I will top up on these big time. There we go. Uh, Angel tier. I need a few of these because I just fucking spent like a billion. Six. I'll buy some more of these as well. We definitely need better access to these goods in our town. I could also sell some items as well because it's been a while since I checked out my gear. Um, Just need to check a guide be back in a sec, says Cal. I want a husky, says Strife. Yeah, huskies would be cool. Huskies are cool, I'm pretty sure. Tactical tweaker, I'm going to adjust you again a little bit, mate. Just leave it like that, fuck it. Just get some bonuses here. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yes, equipment and skills. So we'll make sure we've got the best stuff. Yeah, this is all sorted. Oh, we've got this though. Maybe we want to give that over to our boy. If I go to Leander here, I think we can give him Axenix and I like this would give him less magic resist but a lot more resistance. Boost damage done by swords is not very good. Boost uh, damage boost when ailment in effect. Hmm, is it worth? Maybe not actually. 
He loses resistance to magic, but he gains a bunch of... I, I think we just leave him as he is, actually. Can we give you a better... What's this? Melee boosted at max MP, improves magical defense. That's actually insane. 23 magic resistance, hello? Slightly increases wind and light damage, that's good. We'll give him that. Drip guard pendant. Our pendants are kind of shite, honestly. What we got here? Uh, boost resistance to poison and strengthens all attacks. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, let me go across to... I'm going to adjust all your weapons. Should have done that ages ago. And you're fine also. Roland, my friend. Oh. Those are cool. What does he have right now? Boost dark resistance, boost damage on my swords a little. Nah, dude, fuck it. He's gone tanky. Um, War attacks and melee damage. I'm going to give you this. Melee boosted at max MP. Although, if I give this to the AI, I don't think they're going to fully utilise it, because they'll always be using spells, right? I'm pretty sure the AI is probably designed to use magic when it's at full MP. But it still gives them good resistance, fuck it. And then, can we give you a better pendant? Physical damage, plus 17 resistance, wow. Improves physical defence. Versus what we have on right now. Boost water and resistance to put Dude, fuck, I'm, I'm giving Roland some fat, dank resistance right now. He is going to be one tanky boy. Alright. Let's sell a bunch of shit here. To this lady. Try and make some money back here. You are not, you are not the shopkeeper. Jesus, Jack. <laughs> the woman in the shop is just like... I'm, I'm like pulling all my fucking equipment out of my coat here. Like, just throw it out. Take all this. She's like, uh... Mate, what are you doing? sell. Right, um, I'm on the sell bit, yeah, okay, cool. Puzzling Axe of Champions, why is this not equipped on anyone, hello? Why is he, oh, Danny, I maybe need to pick that up, shit. Right, we're going down the bottom, we're getting rid of all this crap. Um, cool roaring sword, first, blah, 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 I think this is fine. Pretty sure all the best swords are equipped, so I can probably get rid of some more of these. I'll not get rid of the spears just in case. Heggy Piggy Longsword. Higgledy Balls heal HP a little. Slight damage versus dragons. It's kind of similar to Pokemon in that Fairy Beats Dragon, actually. That's kind of cool. Right, there's Grand. Uh, okay, extra shit. What we got here? Fuck me, there's so much stuff. I should, can I just sort this in terms of first, that's what it's, yeah, it's already sorted. Oh my god, I've got so many bows. Goodbye. The fucking bow and arrows. Okay. Sorry guys, I know this is particularly boring, I'm, I, I apologise, I'm just, uh, Getting rid of some crap at the moment. Trying to stay somewhat afloat in terms of our uh, money items here. These are all trash as well. Punisher's ring is expensive though. I, should, I probably shouldn't get rid of that. Oh my god. Don't want to get rid of that yet. Okay. See you. Right, I'm not going to bother, like, equipping weapons and stuff on Batu, because honestly, unless I am forced to play Batu, I'm probably not going to... Hello. I'm probably not going to actually use him that much. Wolf dogs are pretty cool as well, so strife. Husky, better than German Shepherd, better than every other dog. Nothing wrong with tall ladies. Amazons, for example, are always rather appealing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are you fetishing me, Sonic? I'll crush you. No. Casually closes the tin. <laughs> I have XP boost necklaces on the whole party. 
but we'll switch to three, four, and five necklace ring for late game just because of the def media, um, magic defense values says skill tree. Gotcha. Jack's not hiding offline on PS while streaming. Don't worry, I'm not that chaotic. I mean, you guys can send me a message. I don't think it'll come through on the stream. I don't think it will. I think I've turned all those off, but I could be wrong. Yo, Aqui Gamer, what's up? How's things? Has anyone wanted, uh, warned you not to sell your stinky old shoes? Um, somebody... <laughs> There was there was comments earlier on in the playthrough telling me not to sell my old weapons, but the way I kind of interpreted that was, you know, don't sell all your swords because you will have some people who use swords as well that you pick up later, and obviously you want to fill them up with like items quite quick. So I don't sell all my excess stuff, but I sell like the bottom rungs of the ladders, so like bottom shitty vests, bottom like swords, shields, axes, or whatever. And um, that's what I've been kind of doing. I'm going to quickly go into my Higgledies as well here, and I'm going to swap out one of my heals. Probably this one. Let's swap him for someone. I don't know who's better. He does more damage, but has more... I think this one's better. Haddock the Fishy. I think he's also new as well. I'm going to swap him in. I think he's level 1. We might have to go back to Evermore just now anyway to like cash in on all the workers that we've just picked up because we picked up I think two there Pontus we could go check Pontus right now as well and see if we actually have the fish he needs he needs a poisonous fish but I don't know if we actually have that um sort by type I guess uh would it be in here I wonder if they would put all the f devilish fish Oh, could that be it? I only have one of them. If it's wrong, I'm going to be so sad. Let's go back and speak to this guy because I might actually be able to hand in this quest right now. Can I fast travel to that dude? Can I go to the square? I think I can, right? No, not Siren's Rest, you fuck. I want to go to the square. Thanks. Let me see here. Apologies, guys. Uh, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Chat. Meet my GF. Yo, am I saying am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it Aqua is it Aqua Gamer? Aqua Gamer? Am I I'm really bad with names, so please forgive me, but welcome to the chat. My boyfriend is addicted to this game too. <gasps> and he is watching you too. No surprise. How's <laughs> things with you? Welcome to welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Totally not playing it but watching it. I'll continue writing in a bit. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, it's okay. I'm just gonna call you Aqua. I hope that's okay. You can Please, if it gets annoying or I'm saying something incorrectly, call me out. I am not shy, so just tell me that I'm wrong. I, li I like how uh, <laughs> I like how Aquia joins, and then um, Skill Trees immediately just sprung to attention. He's like, "Yep, no, nope, don't worry, do my work, being productive, being sensible, all that good stuff." <sighs> nice. I posted cursed image at dump in general. Should I be worried? Challenge one: bring me a venomous fish. I think I have one of these, right? Is that this? A frightful fish with demonic demeanor that scares off all but cooks. It's a level 3 item and I only have one, so if this is wrong, it's going to be wasted. Does he take it if it's wrong? Snake-like fish, high price, found in crystal waters, a joy, makes it suitable for any dish. Uh, one that hides. I don't know if that's wrong. I feel we have angered the gods. Yeah, we make a great pillar. She keeps me motivated and stops me from goofing off too much. Nice. As every, as any uh, helpful and awesome female will do. That's awesome. Mrs. Wolfie's very good at keeping me in line as well. So that's awesome. Welcome again, Aquia. Um, let me see here. I'm going to do this and just hope the fuck it works. You go, man. One poisonous fish. Surely you do not believe this creature to be venomous. No, of course not. I am pleased to hear it. Now you better return uh, to your challenge. Bring me it. Did he eat that? Is that, go is that fish gone now? No, I got it back. Okay, cool. Well, we don't have a fucking... <sighs> I guess I don't have a poisonous fish. Feels fucking bad, man. I am not bored at all at work. <laughs> yeah, at work right now, I'm guessing. Are you, are you at a desk-based job Aquia so that you can kind of chill and watch streams while you're working or are you just on a lunch break? 
I don't know. I encourage my... Wait, I encourage my idiot. Oh, okay, okay. That's all right now. I bet, I bet you, you balance just perfectly. Let me have a look at these horrendous pictures that you're talking about. What am I looking at? General cats. Should I, should I open this? Is this going to be a, a huge something or other flying about? Okay, I can't do this one. I can't do this one. The first one made me laugh. Okay, the Akali and dressed up as or Patrick dressed up as Akali was uh Okay, no, I can't. That's that's a dangerous rabbit hole. We're not going into league talk right now. Even if they are memes. Right, I need to buy some of these. Hydropolitan stew lasts for ten minutes, strengthens magic attacks, fills you up to burst in. I'm gonna buy some of these. Fuck it, let's go. Hydroplin stew acquired. Um, boost one resistance, confusion, water resistance. We are going to a sci-fi town, right? Now sci-fi, if I had to align an element with sci-fi, maybe I would say lightning for electronics, right? So if I can get anything that gives me like thunder resistance or something, which I obviously can't in this place. Improves magical defense, we'll buy this. Uh, what is this? Increases water damage, magic defenses, Kraken's catch. Oh, that's 3k! What? Yeah, we'll we'll buy one of these. I should probably cook it at home as well. Let's increase water damage as well, just in case we come across any fire homies. What will it be today? That's Please fine. Dude, I just I just literally bought that guy's house for him. I, I just spent so much money on that. Right. Okay. Let's get out of here. We're going back to our place. We're going to Evermore. They're all Patrick. Please open it. Kinda. Um, if my boss catches me, I'll probably get in trouble. But I keep it on in the background most of the time as a radio. Yeah, I know a lot of people that do that. A lot of the, a lot of the people who pop in and visit us during the day are at work and they're kind of, they'll have the stream on chilling in the background or <clears throat> in their headphones or whatever. Let's go ever more. Uh, Fifty-two point seven mil influence. The kingdom's getting there. So sale treat nice. It's a giant di Please, Jack, look at the cursed. <laughs> yeah, stuff's expensive, but you can look at a lot of stuff yourself. Give it the right prerequisites. Um, cook them once, then buy them as many as you want at a discount. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I should probably get in the habit of doing that. I'll save myself a lot of money. I'm totally ignoring fishing on Final Fantasy XIV's so strife. Right, let me uh, let me collect our cash here. How much money we got? Oh, fuck, we're full of the gunners. Uh -huh. Shit. That doesn't sound like I was doing that efficiently. I think though, on the plus side, we can now make the square, which is a uh, which is kind of exciting. Let's go ahead and do that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Can I build you? Oh my god, touch me! There we go. I work in IT, so uh, this is nice, so I can watch whenever I want. Nice, Sue. Hell yeah, dude! Get that influence, son. Okay, this is what I want to build. I want to build an institute of uh, something or other. What did it say? Institute of Innovation. And I've got a personnel directly responsible for this place, so I'm going to put her in. Um, is this going to lose her XP if I put her in here? Uh, remove the citizen from the current facility and assign them here. No, she keeps her XP. That's great. Okay, I've got Pai Chi here, and Fido. There's a couple of our citizens actually need leveled up, so let me just grab that really, really quickly, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kingdom Management is probably quite boring for a lot of people, so I apologise. But I actually really like this part of the game. Um, wait, hold on, there's a better way of doing this, right? Can I just click on the... I can do it like this, right? Level up. Hey there. Alright, Chingus, congrats. Oh, you're not even Chingus, you're Mono. Oops. Tobias. Yeah. There we go, nice. Hanzo I need to put in somewhere as well. Where's that? The Kingmaker's Cathedral. Ooh. We can certainly slide him into those DMs. Fido. I just... I just fucked up, dude. Why? Jack, why? Young main. I'm back in Poke MMO. Ooh. 
I am purposefully leaving Poke MMO for the time being, but I am looking forward to getting back to it. <laughs> well done, Fido. Congrats, man. Yeah, I, I really want to get back into it, but I gotta, yeah. I gotta find a good spot for it, I think. But I'm looking, looking forward to jumping back in at some point. We've still got a whole region to play, at least one, so that's kind of exciting. Okay, Nerimus, where are you going? Okay, I know that building, that's close to the top, so he's to do with music. I think that's up here somewhere. I'm so bad at that. Yes, listens to music. Let's build this. We'll put him in here. So he'll be allocated to the right place, which is cool. Symphonium, personnel, perfect pitch, boom, there he is. So only one person can go in there right now. Cool. Citizens, who else have we got? got a couple of people who are not allocated yet. We've got Hansel. He's going to the cathedral. So if I, oh fucking hell Jack, why are you like this? What went wrong Jack? What went wrong? When did you start becoming a huge fucking dumbass? Right, Kingmaker Cathedral. I want to take Tani out of here, and I want to put in Hansel, because he's supposed to be there. We could also remove Leander as well at this point. Not sure. Tani can go back in the mines, where she wants to be. Maybe I could do some research while I'm here. Kingmaker's boon. Give more blue balls. So funny. Can't actually afford that right now anyway. Okay, so back in the mining camp. This is where Tani belongs. I think that's a lot of our citizens in the right place. There's maybe one or two that are fucking all over the place. In fact, you know down here in the shipbuilding we've got yeah, these guys. Complete. Uh I by the way, I followed your channel now. Nice, thank you, Aqua. <clears throat> it's been great having you here. I can work with music or something on in the background and my a, uh, my ADHD will only get more active and would keep me from working. Okay, yeah. Uh, I kind of follow. There's, I'm, I'm totally, totally weird, guys, because sometimes I work well with music on and sometimes I just can't. So when I was in high school, there were so many of my friends that would say, oh, I, ca I can't. I th do you know what? I get that some people can do this, and I know that some people. You know, how some people listen to classical music, and it calms them down, and they can focus better with like a faint music on. A lot of my mates in high school were like, "Oh, I can't study if I don't have music on," and I always thought they were just being like edgy. You know, oh god, because they wouldn't listen to class. They wouldn't listen to like stimulating music. They'd be listening to like fucking, I don't know, heavy metal or rock or some shit, right? And I was like, "There's no way you can." take information into your brain while somebody's doing a guitar solo, right? But, to contradict myself here, in later life, I have actually found that sometimes having like music on in the background does help me at times, but not often. It's like a weird kind of ratio. I would say like maybe like 20% of the time it works, but normally I need quiet if I want to try and focus on something. Like if I'm trying to actually learn something hardcore, normally I need like total peace and quiet. Like, a lot of people at my school used to, or at university specifically, right, people would go to the library to, like, study. I just could never understand why anybody would want to do that. Like, because there's so many distractions, there's so much noise, you struggle to get space, or at least I did in my university, because there wasn't a lot of space in the library. It was very, very popular. But, like, I, I was, I always thought to myself, like, why would you... Maybe it's the same thing, I'm, I'm kind of starting to answer my own question. I always thought that I would just study better in the peace and quiet of my own bedroom, right? But then maybe people are too scared to study in their own bedroom because then they get easily distracted. If they go to somewhere to study, then specific, then maybe just, I don't know, then they're kind of, they force themselves to do it. I definitely know of people who have an office outside of their house that they go to to work in, even if they're self-employed. And the reason they do it is because that's where they go to do their work. And once they leave the office, they leave it all behind. It's like a mental thing, you know? Right, I'm going to my job. When I'm there, I do my work. When I leave, I'm leaving it behind, you know? that's There's a lot of mental involved there as well, and I think that could be, be beneficial. I could totally understand that. Um, But yeah, I'm not somebody who can, like, have tons of music on. Only sometimes. It's really bizarre. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, fishing is one of the two trophies I need to get the Platinum to strife. I'll uh, save starting Unova until we uh, reform the Paxis, Cal. Okay, nice. 
I don't know when we're going to play it, Cal, so if you really, really want to go for it, just obviously do your thing, man. But we will play it, hopefully, at some point this year. Off to bed, uh, off to bed lads and lasses. Have a great stream, Wolfie, and have a great rest of your day as well. All the best, buddy. Sonic, thanks for hanging out, man. You've been a pleasure. I'm glad that we finally got a kind of decent-ish starting time so that you could actually come and hang out. I hope you had a good day off today. I love building stuff like this in games. It's a nice change of pace after grinding so much to get through the story, says Strife. Yeah, it does. It's a nice balance, for sure. I can't work without music or something on in the background. My HD will only get more addictive and keep me from working. Ah, sorry. Now it makes sense, Aquia. So it was the complete opposite. I'm sorry, I misunderstood that. Um, You're fine, you're fine. So you, you, have, to, you have to have something on before to like help you focus is that how that works again i totally i totally get that that's a thing for some people it's interesting how like so many people have like different ways of working i guess the brain's just super super unique right but yeah i used to do all my essay essays while watching a tv show yeah no nah, dude i i honestly feel like if i had tv on i would get like a fraction of the work done like my whole brain has to be in the zone Otherwise, the stuff I would produce is shit. Like, if I if I went through university, handing in work where I give I gave my essay and assignments all of my brain. Like, if I gave it like a hundred percent of my brain power and nothing else, didn't get distracted, just focused. Then what? How, like, how bad would my grades have been? Because I I got I was always an average student. Some I've I've said this before. I was always like a B student. Like sometimes I would get A's, sometimes I would get C's, but I was mostly in the middle. I was never super academically and like super good, but I never done super bad either. I was always kind of in the middle of the road, right? If I had like did all of my assignments while having like a TV show on in the background, my grades would have been so much worse. I I don't I don't get that. I just it's so baffling to me. Like I don't know how that could help you. Maybe some people get distracted by this the sheer silence of like just sitting alone by yourself. I don't know. To again to kind of con contradict myself, when I go to bed at night, I do find that like listening to uh, music or watching a video helps me fall asleep. So how does that logic work by my own standards? It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. I've only just started Canto, so I'll be ages, says Cal. Okay. I did an essay on Jurassic Park movies and actually predicted Jurassic World, says Strife. Wait, really? Oh, what, like the uh, like the reboot? When they did the new ones? Rain thunderstorms? Yeah. I need white noise, else tiny sounds wake me. Oh yeah, I remember this now, yeah. I actually went through a phase of like making, like posting videos on my YouTube channel ages ago, and it was like, piano, anime piano music to background rain. I did one for Final Fantasy X, I did one for, I did a couple for about Inuyasha, if anybody's seen that anime, and then I did a Kenshin one as well. I never made that many, I did like four, I think, and it was literally just the piano music with the background rain. There's like a fucking website you can type in that's background rain, and it just literally plays like rain noises. It's actually very nice, it's very soothing. Wolfie ASMR when? Mrs. Wolfie uh, is pretty big on ASMR, but uh, I've never, I've never found my trigger sound, guys. Rainy mood, that's the one. Thank, thanks, Skill Tree. That's exactly the website I'm talking about. Yeah, I've never found my trigger for ASMR, guys. I've tried. I totally acknowledge that it is a real thing. I just can't, uh, I just can't get it to work for me. It's just, I'm not very good. Mrs. Wolfie tells me that everybody has a trigger sound, you know, something that sets them off, but I don't know. I don't know what mine is yet. <laughs> what are channel points? Kind of like, um, I guess the way it, it's supposed to be is that, you know, it, so ASMR, for, for people that get it, it's really good. And for people that don't get it, it seems really weird, you know? I think, um, sometimes I think ASMR gets a bad name because there's a lot of people who kind of like, they make videos under the guise of ASMR, but then it's a lot of it is just like, you know, a lot of feminine, it's a lot of, I feel like a lot of it, not all of it obviously, because that would be completely incorrect, but like, there's a large portion of ASMR, which I feel is just, um, women using their femininity, shall we say, to make videos which are popular, and that's fine, you know? But I think that because of that, some people who don't get ASMR see that and they think, oh, isn't ASMR just the thing where booby people make videos and, you know, eat crisps into the microphone and stuff? But I actually, ignore, like, I, as I said, I think that, what I mean by triggers and how I think ASMR works is that everybody is supposed to have a sound that specifically to them makes them feel shivery. Again, I don't feel, I don't think I've ever experienced this, but Mrs. Wolfie's 
like, you know, she's supposedly got this. And everybody else that I listen to, other people on the internet, like podcasters and stuff who I really respect, talk about it and how it works for them. So I know it's, you know, I know it's a thing. But some people, everybody's got like a, like a, a trigger or a channel. Um, and it's like, you know, you've got one specific sound and it's supposed to make you feel really like comfortable and potentially shivery. And it's good for helping people fall asleep and things like that. Like it's meant to be super relaxing, you know. Um, it could be like a scratching noise or like a like a kind of scrunchy noise or I don't know somebody combing someone's hair or like crackling or something like that you know just little tingly noises I don't know you can use channel points to use emotes even when you're not a sub I got a uh, one month gifted or highlight your messages says skill tree delightful thanks thank you for that uh, public service announcement skill tree <laughs> Rain sounds are nice, but I don't get the ASMR thing. It's just nice. I don't know. I think it's maybe something that one day it just has to click for you, and then you're like, oh, now I get it. Um, I just be myself while streaming since my PC is crap. I stream on Mixer with my Xbox is uh, Aquia. Cool, nice. What do you stream? Are you? Do you do? I think uh, Skill Tree. You were saying earlier. I think you were streaming through your PC. Skill Tree. You said you were in Stardew Valley. But um, I don't know about Aqua here. My, my PC is okay, but I feel like it's dying. Yeah, I feel like he's on the way out. Let's, uh, do I want to do any more? I think we've done all of our sets. He's in the wrong place. I'll take him out. Uh, let me go over here. I think this is where he's supposed to go. No, shit. Oh, Newbie's supposed to be in. Oh, he's already in here. Wait a minute. I just took him out. Where is he? Oh, he's spell works. Oh. Whoops. Oh my god. Please, Jack. Please. Just one day. Personnel. Assign. Boom. There we go. At least everybody's in a spot now, I think. I think that's my whole set. Yeah, 39 and 39. Perfect. So we're going to take loads of money. Take all of our stores again. And I think we're going to head out. We could put on some research as well, actually, before we leave. Potentially consider leveling up stuff. I don't know. We could cook a bunch of meals. We said we were going to have a look at that. Let me just visit the, uh, the chef here. Could maybe even level up before I start doing stuff. Floyd is the only one here. I can't afford it. Okay, that's fine. And he doesn't even have any research. I'll put on some Higgledy research before I leave. FF10 is Yuna, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Yuna's from Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X 2. She is uh, one, if not the predominant character in that series. She certainly is in the second game, I would argue, but... Uh, okay, so we can make this. Steak dinner looks pretty good. Oh, we need level 8 for some of that shit. Yeah, why not? There we go. Oh, that unlocked another one. Oh, because Floyd leveled up. Ah. Fish supper sounds delightful. Let's go. There we go. Looks kind of gross though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Take your time. Thanks Floyd. Yeah. Floyd has a really nice voice. Take your time. Alright governor. Right. Can I do... I need to go into the management. What am I doing? Research. Nature's tongue, spirit medium. Oof. Oh, the speak to the departed. Well, this is the thing, right? It's quite expensive, but okay. Research has begun. That kind of knocked off my heck of the game, actually, now that I think about it. I'm actually just going to go over to the heck of these. Um, and see if I can upgrade the one that I've just equipped, because I just put a water one on. And I need to make him better. 
Uh, or I could maybe even cook up better ones, actually. How strong are these guys? Do I want to bother making these? Some of these guys are actually really strong, like TikTok. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Fuck. Hey, Cherry, what's up, man? That's it, I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Cherry Dragon, what's up, man? Welcome. How's things, Cherry? Happy New Year. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I mean, I play mainly different games as Aquia. Skilltree says, yeah, I've been playing streaming Stardew on PC lately, but I'll probably switch it up to something else starting tomorrow. Most recent ones are Stardew Valley Skyrim and Need for Speed Heat. Nice. Is Need for Speed Heat the new one? Because I saw videos of that and it actually looks okay. I like Need for Speed games in general. The last one I played was just called Need for Speed. It was the reboot one. Thought about streaming Final Fantasy X with the Albed letters to Strife. Hell yeah. Nice. We had a lot of fun streaming Final Fantasy X. It was a good time. Yeah, Final Fantasy ports on PC are terrible, says Strife. I mean, Final Fantasy X and X2 we played on PC and both of them were actually okay. Final Fantasy XIII I have played on PC and it was shockingly bad. I've also saw Final Fantasy... I always forget this one. The one with that's got Van. Mrs. Wolfie bought that on PC once and the port for that game was also pretty bad. It was also pretty bad. But X ten and X2 ten HD remaster on PC on Steam was actually really clean and it ran like a dream on my computer even when we were streaming it. So I can vouch for Yuna and Cole being okay. If your PC is semi-decent, I think. I want to stream cooking sim for my friends. They laughed. I screamed. <laughs> um, oh boy, I see an anime list. This is Aquia. Uh, so is the last newest season. Um, is awesome. Yeah, I've got... Um, there's a guy who comes to the chat often called XS. He's he's a big Sword Art Online guy. And I think he's seen all the, the modern seasons. I've only seen season 1 and 2. Uh, I don't think I've seen past that, I think. Getting the Platinum in 10 is a freaking nightmare. I can imagine Strife, yeah. I don't know how... I've, let's check, actually. I think we can check. I wonder if it's going to ask me to log in. No, I don't think it should. Oh, we didn't play Final Fantasy X on... We didn't play Final Fantasy X on PS4. We played it on PC. Yeah, Happy New Year too, mate. Nice. Just chilling. Good, good. Final Fantasy XIII was with Lightning. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Lightning and Hope, Vanille, Saz... Uh, Snow, all those homies. Of all three Final Fantasy XIII games for Xbox 360, luckily I can play those on my Xbox One. Cool. Yeah, I think XIII Trilogy wasn't meant for PC. Yeah, he was a. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle, honestly, when I, because I downloaded it once on P on Steam when it was on sale, because I thought, oh, I'll, I'll play through XIII. It didn't run very smoothly. Maybe it's been patched since, but I I doubt it. You know, I don't I don't know. Um, do I even want to bother buying these guys? Like, I, I don't know. They're all level one. Maybe I should just wait and build better pigodies. I need to go into research to see. Research. Hmm. I honestly don't know. I think I'm just going to level up the ones I have. Thanks, Aunt Martha, for that. She just reminds me of the witch from uh, the Looney Tunes. Okay, we put on Haddock Fishy. Let's uh, let's nurture him. We'll put him up a couple of levels here. We'll get him up to level 3 at least, so he's at least even with the others. In fact, we'll keep him for a while. Let's get him to level 4. Boom. There we go. I don't know if he's particularly strong, but we'll take him anyway. I could be wasting resources making these, but the Higgle, these... Ugh. I I am sure if you have a really efficient build with those, they're really useful, but I honestly don't know how much of a fuck I give. Uh, right. Let's go to quests. I want to take off this quest that I have on right now because it is annoying me. Can I just uh, unactivate that? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we are only going to do our main quest now. Everything seems good. I'm going to manage the kingdom once more, clear out the coffers before I leave because that's free money. 
it's quite addictive. Like you gotta stop yourself from cleaning that out too often because it got, it's pointless to do so. I think. Now it makes sense when we're about to leave, obviously, because it can now fill up. But let's go. We're gonna need a spot to to hang out and level up in. We did a bit of grinding while we were collecting units there. A part of me wonders if there's cities we could go back to and collect more people as well. Just before we push in to, um, to the valley and go to the main quest. What level are we now? We're level 40, so we have actually leveled up. Why don't we go to the, the canyon or the base? I never explored any of the rolling hills. You see all this over here, guys? I never explored any of that. Should I have? Should I have been there? Done some stuff? Hmm, there's a door over here next to Goldpaw as well that I haven't done. I'm going to quickly go up to the Sky Pirates Ridge base. See if there's any people who are citizens. Uh, Lightning is my favourite, says Aquia. Yeah, Lightning's a boss. She had moody moments, but she she was a good, strong character, I think. She was kind of like Cloud, honestly, from Final Fantasy VII. I feel like she just kind of was a, f a female version of Cloud. A lot of people didn't like Lainan, but I thought she was alright. There's no new people here, so this was a complete fucking waste of time. Alright, I guess we just leave. Feels bad. I think 13 was better. 13, or oh, better than 13 too, Jerry. The monster taming was far too easy and getting skills was tedious. The grind was real, so to speak. Yeah, the grind was terrible on all three, says Strife. Well, the character grind was okay in 13 too, says Jerry. Getting the monster skills to make them actually helpful was grindy as hell. I need to replay 13 and 13 too. Yeah, we'll play through 13 at some point, guys. I don't know about the rest of the trilogy, but we could check them out for sure. I've never played m past 13. Got right to the end and never finished it, so I never actually saw the ending. But we could definitely get that done at some point. I would be down. I don't know what version we'd play it on, because I have it on PS3, but I've never sorted up. I, I don't know where my PlayStation 3 is. I think it's in a cupboard somewhere, and it might actually explode on impact. Maybe if the computer's good enough, it could actually run the bad Final Fantasy 13 port that I was talking about. I don't know. We could just plug in a controller and go ham. Do I want to explore up these hills, or do we just not give a fuck? I say we just... Yeah, I say we just don't give a fuck. Let's go over here. We're going to do some uh, grinding in the ocean. Ocean man. Started downloading my next plat game, says Cal. What's that going to be, Cal? What is next on the horizon? Alright. I think we should... We could actually stay out here, not on the ocean, and fight these monsters, I think. Just checking there's no other paths here. We should be strong enough. Oh, level 50 fucking 3. What a disaster. These guys are only level 42 though. I think we can stay here. I'll save my game and we'll we're gonna we're gonna do some fighting over and over, guys. This is gonna get really tedious for like the next like 15, 20 minutes. But um it's kinda necessary. Hey Ollie, what's up, buddy? Welcome, young sir. How's things, Ollie? You alright? Ouch, I am uh, one trophy away from the Platinum 13, never bothered to get all the equipment. Oh, dude, Cherry, that sounds like such an effort, mate. It's so sad to get one trophy away from the plat, but like, I don't know, that's a lot of effort. Do you need to, is there stuff you can miss and then just not get again? Because that would, that would kind of drive me nuts, I think. I don't know. Let's go. What's my tactical tweaker looking like? I don't know what these, these guys are supposed to be. Are they supposed to be humans? I can't see until I'm in the combat with them. It just takes too long, yeah. What is he? It's really hard to see. He's brown. I think he's one of the rock monsters. Wait, where's my mana bar? Why can't I see my mana bar? Do you guys see this? Is this like... Is, is this because of the fog or...? What's going on? Is there an explanation as to why I don't have a HP bar in mana? I'm I'm close to hate I'm close to dying because my HP my screen's getting dark. What the hell? 
This is so bizarre. Hey, fellas, how are you? 14 will be my next Platinum Sister Strife. Yakuza Kiwami, says Cal. Okay, okay, nice Yakuza. I've heard a lot of good good stuff about the Yakuza games. There is a way to fuck up, yes. It's, oh, no, dude. So, Cherry, when you were collecting all the items, did you uh, did you miss a couple when you were playing through and then realise you can go back for it? That would be so sad. The easiest FF to plat was Final Fantasy VII, says Strife. 100% Final Fantasy games require planning ahead before you even start, as well as checklists for not missing anything, yeah. When we played through Final Fantasy X-2 on stream, there was a couple of the gang that were, uh, that were playing... I thought, dude, can I... Can I just ignore these? Why are these guys all super fucking strong? I think we we'll have to go and fight in the ocean, I'm sorry. I don't think it's worth our while to fight these guys. Smoke, 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 feet. Nah, thank you for the Thomas the Dank engine for 300 bits. I uh, want this guy to leave me alone. Roland, you're trying to kill us here, mate. What are you on? Sorry, I, I, I just need to get past this. Oh, you can come down here. Oh. Sorry, right, I'm focusing on the chat, I'm focusing on the bits. Nah, thank you for the Thomas the Dank Engine, again. Thank you for spending uh, the bits and for uh, causing mayhem in my stream, as always. I got I, I got a little bit panicky there, sorry, I lost complete concentration on what was going on, but... Night, my dudes, I need to lay down. Nah, take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Have some rests. Hope work goes well if you're back soon. Or if you're probably already back at work, right? See ya. Let me see here. Yeah, sorry, my the mid discussion I was having when we played Final Fantasy X 2 on stream, there was some people playing alongside us, but they were playing to complete it 100%. And I don't think there's a there's something about that game where it's like the progress bar is hidden or something, so you can't really tell. Or it said it, it said I think Vince was doing it and he got to like 99%, but he missed like one thing and he didn't know what it was. That sounds absolutely mind boggling. Better off playing through games once casually and doing the perfect run on a separate attempt. Yeah, I think that's what that's what I would do. And I think that's what a lot of people would do also. Right, my boat is going faster now because we took an upgrade, which is nice. I'm on the same boat with Final Fantasy XIII Platinum. That treasure hunter trophy says Ollie. Oh. Did you talk to Baki and Vinyl uh, and, and Fang's old home, says Ollie? Here goes nothing. I didn't mess it up, uh, it just required so goddamn much money to buy certain items that I couldn't be bothered grinding for Gil. It took forever, literally, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. That's unfortunate. That was really unfortunate thing. Dude, why have I got no fucking mana? I just slapped the shit out of this thing. There we go. Squidward, would you please die, mate? Shit. Wow. That was stressful. Yeah, I'm working, tossing up a sickie tomorrow though. Oh, okay. Is that why you, I wondered why you were able to stay up so late now. Are you not going in? Are you actually sick or are you just trying to hang out with the boys? What's, what's going on here? Don't, don't answer that question, your boss may be watching. He may be a fan of the stream, or she may be a fan of the stream, I should say. I did Ollie, back three is fun. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I want to get in a cross over there and get value in with my hack and slash move. See this? Nice.
Cool. Part of me wants to play Final Fantasy XII, um, and part of me doesn't. Final Fantasy XII. That's one of my favourites of all time. Um, my first ever, I'll, I'll admit the Zodiac Age version is a lot tougher than the PS2 version we got outside of Japan, says Ollie. Is that the one where you can make yourself go really fast and stuff? Like you can speed up the game and kind of run through it quite quickly, I think. That's cool. You're level 44, mate. I'm not really interested in fighting you. The ice. Ah, oh, dragons. My ship's too fast. I'm trying to turn turn around. Do, 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 do. I've never actually been this far north before. Where's the map? Oh, this is exciting. We're getting into the snowy the snowy realms of the game, guys. Snowy realms are normally hard parts of the games. They always put the snowy realms at the end for the, the hard parts. Ollie try grinding adamantoise and tortoise for platinum ingots just to be able to buy dark matter. I messed up on my initial playthrough because the jobs I chose locked some tiles out and so I couldn't complete the license board. Oh no, Ollie, that sucks, man. I don't know what any of that means, but I can imagine. I get the. I understand locking one out of something and not being able to get it later on. That sucks. I know I'm not gonna bother fighting the long, uh, the long guy. Those guys aren't worth the effort to get the dark matter. Uh, or miss. I guess they never miss. Oh no, dude, I'm dying. I heard him shout use it, but I don't know, I didn't see the the AM he dropped. I need like a, I need more passive healing in my comp. I need either a character who's gonna heal me constantly, or I need like, I need to get, oh, fuck you're 46. I need to get potatoes that are gonna heal me more regularly on the flip flop. No, not gonna bother, oh sorry I got that one. And yeah, the level 60 plus territory, oh okay. This is the one where you can speed up, yeah, really helps the dust, yeah, chaining. Did I say that correctly, Ollie? Dust, yeah. You run around in the desert and you collect the character, I think. I've watched Mrs. Wolfie play it. Zodiac Age. Piggle, piggle! Yeah, bass. <laughs> Dusty is charming. It's a good way to level grind early on in the game. Nice! Good times. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <whistles> Come to me, little monsters of the ocean. Fight me. We must get stronger. We has to get strong. Maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have went back and done one of the doorways that we never finished. Watch your backs. I don't know if I want to commit, like I don't know how much I want to commit to that, basically. Ow. He's just going to CC chain me for life. Okay, no. He decided to let me live, that was, that was polite. about to die. Tranquilium nugget. Dang. I'm not looking for platinum in Final Fantasy X-2. Not looking forward to platinum in X-2, yeah. I know Vince has done it a couple of times, or maybe just once, I don't know. But, eh... Uh, I don't know who else. Ollie, you like tend to have quite a fair bit, right? I believe. 
I don't know. Seems like a quite a scary process, guys. I would hate to do a lot of the stuff for for that game and then realize that I was like a tiny bit off getting the like getting it all done. Uh, like I know there's the don't you have to dodge all the lightning strikes to get like one of the weapons? Imagine you did shit like that, completed it all back to front inside out, and then you realize you missed like one fucking thing. Never spoke to one fucking person when you were supposed to or something. That would, that would shatter my mental and make me hate a game. Sphere break to get the lady luck dress sphere is tough, but it's so worth it. Says Ollie. Nah, no, I don't. Yeah, don't remind me of that. <laughs> I was uh, sitting in Discord once with my friend Ian, who's also known as Noobster. You guys may know him. He comes in the chat sometimes. I remember listening to Ian a couple of times. There was like one night where he was there for like four hours and he'd be quiet and then you'd just hear, oh for fuck's sake, like out of nowhere. He would just sh scream into the call and it was because he was doing the lightning strikes and he'd get really far and then he would, uh... oh, I just died, are you fucking serious? And then he would get, fuck it, he'd get so close to the end and then he would just fail right at the end. Maybe if I'm fighting sludge monsters, I should do my tactical tweaker and it might make this easier. Okay. Blitzball is really easy. I like. I really, really liked Blitzball in Final Fantasy X. I loved it. At first, it was quite awkward, and I didn't really understand the controls. But, um... Oh, dude, in the end, I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved it. I, I got to the point, though, like, we got so strong. I think when you get, like, two players, we got, um, brother in, and we got someone else, and it just completely destroyed how... It just destroyed the competition. So it became, like... It went from being, like too hard and impossible to win to like just smashing every single game and that made me kind of sad i liked when it was a bit more neck and neck and the league was actually like competitive but once you get like a couple of the good players you just absolutely smash we also got the jack shot as well because you guys said to me jack you want to get the jack shot don't fuck it up we loaded it up and done it until we got it and i did fuck up a lot but we got it eventually and, uh, and that made the game a lot easier as well. But I really like playing Blitzball. I don't know how entertaining it would have been for you guys to watch. But I used to love it. We, we played Blitzball a lot when we played through 10. I don't have trouble with lightning dodging. Just need to take breaks and don't over anticipate the strikes, says Ollie. Dude, I'm just going to fight this thing. Have you ever rage quitted a game? Anyone? Name a game. Uh, there was a lot of games I... I oh, well, I, I guess I kind of rage quitted Ace Combat. We, we never finished that on stream. Does that count? I never finished Ace Combat. That's like the only game we never finished. I don't think. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Please don't kill me. Jesus, fuck me in the ass. Don't do that, Jesus. That was a mistake. Right, um... Is this guy, like, healing? No, he's not. Please. Ah! Die. Take damage. Did that go off? I don't know. I feel like I need a Higgle there that's going to give me MP or, or health or something, because this is... Fuck. I need that. Don't jump away. That's such a cockbag thing to do.
I keep using that as my ability and I don't know if it's the right play. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Dark Souls is level 1 challenge. Harry Potter on PS1 trying to get the wizard's cards in the Gringotts vault, says Ollie. <laughs> Is that to do with the minecart, Ollie? Is there like a there's like a minecart mini game on one of the Harry Potter games? Is that the first one? That might have been a rage quit for me as well. I think I would have like are we talking about rage quit guys? As in like you turn it off and then you go back to it later on when you calm down, or rage quit as in like you you turn off the game there and then and then you never go back? Like what what are we what kind of rage quit are we talking about here? Normally I go back to games, but not always. I would not have finished. I would not have finished Final Fantasy X two if I wasn't playing it with you guys. I'll say that much. Uh, that's wrong. Actually, I don't. Why? Why did I just do that with the tactical tweaker? I want it like that. I think for grinding in this area. I'm also going to save my game here. Yo, Ryan, what's up, man? I rage quit League for most uh, of a season. Uh, best few months ever. No, you don't, Ryan. You don't rage quit. You're a, you're a sensible guy. You don't rage quit ever. That's not a thing that Ryan does. Recently fighter Z, but not mid-match. I'm not that kind of ass. Yeah, nah, I feel you. Sometimes it gets enough. Or it gets too much. Skill tree, League of Legends multiple times, but I'm well over that now and barely play it anymore anyway. Yeah, avoiding League is probably for the best, honestly. I used to have big trouble fighting uh, Kazuya in Tekken 2. He was too fast. First time I beat him, I was spamming Jack's uh, two right kick attack. <laughs> Jack and, and Tekken Jack is the big massive bulky slow guy, right? Hits like a fucking truck. The original Tomb Raider says Serenity, stupid Lara Croft and her inability to jump properly, Jesus Christ. I know that I know that pain massively, Serenity. I feel you. Um so I am I'm a big fan of Lara Croft. Uh I the the PS1 games I kinda played a little bit. Um I played the the PS1 Lara Croft game, which is what you're referring to, right? You're talking about the old games where she can't you run towards an edge and you're smashing the jump button and she just literally runs off the edge and then you fall down and you, you have to climb all the way back up. Dude, I'm telling you, the last revelation, right at the beginning, when you're doing the tutorial of the game, when you're young Lara, there's a fucking pool. There's a a cliff and a rope. You have to jump, swing on the rope, jump across, and you make it on. When I was younger, dude, if you miss the rope, you fall into a pool, which is very forgiving, right, because you don't take damage, but you then have to climb up and crawl through the tunnel and come all the way fucking round and up to get back up to the top to try it again. So you, you literally have to do, like, it, it takes, like, literally five minutes, but it's like, if you do it multiple times, it's painstakingly annoying. Oh, dude, Lara Croft's, I was... Oh. I think if I played through that game now, I would have a lot less difficulty. I'm pretty sure a lot of it was just me being a young person with like poor hand-eye coordination. Absolutely would admit that. But oh my god, yes, I feel the pain. I feel the pain of that. The first game I seriously rage quit for half a month was Bloodborne. My first Souls game, I got wrecked by Father Gascoigne 23 times. <laughs> I wonder if you were actually keeping track, Jerry. Just like a another chalk marking on the wall after he kills you. Add it to the tally. <laughs> I don't include Cry of Fear because that wasn't really rage quit. More of a scared to go on. I broke my controllers my first time in Dark Souls. I broke controllers when I was younger, guys, when I played PS2. I've not broken a PS3 controller before. But I've bounced a, a couple of PS2 controllers off the wall in an anger. So silly. Yeah, the minecart jack, you need to get all the coins and gems to get the wizard's cards. And yeah, the great wall, Kalmar. Ollie, 2013 Tomb Raider, I got stuck for six hours in a late game area. This is, you're talking about the, the, the kind of, the reboots, Cherry, right? 2013? Was that, was that when the first reboot Lara Croft came out? That must have, dude, th those games were really good. I fucking loved those. We'll play those one day, hopefully. I still haven't played the latest one. But you guys said it was average compared to some of the others. I just finished Tomb Raider 1-2 on my Vita, still the best ones. Kakarot, I will most likely platinum to Strife. Nice, nice. Kept track of it. Yeah, the TR1 and 2 are my favourites. Tomb Raider 1 and 2 says, Ollie, you, uh, 3, you can get lost way too easily. The last revelation had some very tricky puzzles and chronicles. 
it was all right. I I'm pretty sure the ending to that game was pretty bad as well. I've watched a, a video once, maybe you've maybe seen it, Ollie. There's a guy who like takes you through Tomb Raider from start to finish in like order. And he talks about like the reception and what happened during development and he talks you through the whole thing. It's a very good video. And it kind of fills you in on like when when a studio was taken over by another person or when they went in a different direction and things like that. And uh, it was very educational as well as entertaining and it kept showing you like when they tried to do new stuff and when the fans were pleased with the game and when they tried to go back and do something new or they had new technology that they tried to like implement. It was actually a really good video. You guys might have seen it. I still won't even need to beat. Uh, I still need to even beat Shadow the Tomb Raider. Yeah, I think that's the one I haven't played. That's the latest one, right? Shadow. So there was Tomb Raider, and then there was Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I played on Xbox. Actually, played played the first one on PC. Rise of the Tomb Raider I played on Xbox because I got it with my Xbox when I bought an Xbox One. I bounced the Wii controller off the ceiling and a wall, but not from rage. Fucking Wii Sports. <laughs> I spent from 12 midnight to 6 in the morning trying to figure it out, says Cherry. Yeah, the first reboot you got captured and hung on the ceiling. You had to swing off, but it didn't work for me. Oh, no. I did. There was one moment, guys, where I actually got kind of stuck and frustrated in, a, in the Tomb Raider reboots, but I can't remember if it was the first or second one. I don't know if it was Tomb Raider or Rise of the Tomb Raider, but there was a moment where there was like a one of the, the kind of action-y kind of moments. You know where it's like the scheduled kind of... It's almost like you're playing the cutscene. It's like one of those, you know, it's it's not a quick time, I don't think. But like, you know when you're, if you imagine like Drake's Uncharted or whatever, and you're like climbing up stuff as it's collapsing around you, and you're not really on a timer, but if you do it, it kind of feels like you're playing a movie. It's actually quite cool. feels quite satisfying sometimes. There was a bit where I was Lara, and you had to slide down, and you had to jump over this bit, or you had to climb up and make a jump somewhere. And, and every time she just like fell down and onto a spike and died and it happened like eight times in a row and I was like dude I had no problems with the game up to that point I never had any issues but there was this one bit where she just kept like I think I was like supposed to jump up into the right to like grab onto a ledge but she would like fall down over and over again onto the spike and I was like dude what is going on like what am I supposed to do here and every time you die you get more and more frustrated <laughs> that, that definitely happened to me so, I don't know, it's probably not the same bit we're talking about, but it might be. I, I don't know, Sherry. I've been through six PS4 controllers, they just break on the analog sticks and the button goes. I think if you play an intense game that requires a certain button to be pressed a lot, you can break controllers naturally, for sure, Kalmar. I remember when my mates used to come around and we'd play Call of Duty, I'd have my good controller, or we'd take turns at using the bad controller, and somebody would always get the analog stick that naturally, like, fit, it naturally was stuck forward, like it would be forward just a bit. So the characters would always like slowly crawl and move about like even if you were you had to like pull back on it Or it would like slowly dip your aim down or something Yeah, yeah the transition from core design to crystal dynamics many are still salty over that says Ollie What do you think Ollie? Do you like the new reboots? The like the kind of modernized versions of Tomb Raider. Do you like those? I'm glad I'm not the only one to have that problem Cal says Strife I re revisited Crash Bandicoot and realised that the older I get, the worse I am at gaming. I can't play the games from my youth anymore. <laughs> oh, I've spoken about Crash Bandicoot before. When I was younger, I couldn't get past the wall. You know, the Great Wall level. I, I couldn't get past the Great Wall. Is that what you guys were talking about earlier? Because you guys were talking about the Great Wall. I couldn't get past that when I was younger. But I did get past it when I was older. But that Crash Bandicoot's a fucking hard game. Like the first original. That shit's tough. Angel of Darkness did have potential, but it was a victim of rush development and being released uh, as an incomplete game. It's annoying how tempered, temperamental the controllers are. I remember playing Crash 2 around at a friend's house and I was part of the speedrunning community at that point. So I was speeding through it, dodging hazards like mad. My friend says, you're giving me a heart attack over here, Ollie. Please slow down. <laughs> That's awesome. I have never, ever entered speedrunning, guys. I've never tried it. I've never liked a game. I've never liked one game so much that I would want to speedrun it. I just don't, I, I like, I love, don't get me wrong, right, I love watching speedrunning, and I know that the speedrunning, you know, SGDQ and all that stuff, they raise a lot of money for charities and all that good stuff, and speedrunning is very entertaining to watch, and it's really good to watch people be amazing at, you know, like, know all the tricks and they just play like it's nothing, they get past hazards like it's nothing, but I don't know how people manage to get into that, I, I just don't know. I don't know what game I would speedrun if I had to speedrun something. I, I don't know what it would be. 
I, I just I can't understand. I don't know why you would do that to yourself. It's it just seems like a black hole of death. And obviously, the more challenging games are the more like credible speedruns. Like if somebody speedruns Dark Souls or something that's really difficult, like Crash Bandicoot One, you see people play through it and just completely dominate the game back to front, inside out. That that's impressive. That's what people want to see. But like, how long does that take to get good at that shit? Like, how long? I had the analog stick stuck forward in Battlefield Bad Company Two, and there's so many damn good snipers. That was a hell. Says Cherry. I loved Bad Company Two. I played that shit for hours. Bad, Battlefield Bad Company 2 was one of the best ones. It was so good. I think I break mine playing Siege and Fire Z. Reboots are okay, but I missed the, the classic gameplay of the PS1 era. Doesn't sound bad, Skill Tree, if you talk about the right type of impaling, says Cherry. The perpetual impaling of Lara Croft by Mr. Wolfie. Yeah, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of it. She just died like eight times. I, I did so well in that game. Like, I, I defeated bears. I defeated mercenaries with machine guns, overcame obstacles, parachuted off waterfalls, the whole nine, but that one spike just fucking slapped me. That spike made me its bitch, and I couldn't get away from it, I couldn't escape. The time trail on the Great Wall was brutal, yeah. Yeah. I think past the Great Wall is the river level, right, where you, you run up river, and there's the leaves that move in the water that spin round as they move, right? I definitely got to that. So I must have got past the Great Wall. I think that was after it. When I replayed Crash Bandicoot when I was older, I got to... I beat the Papu boss that you fight in the tiny little hut. Beat him easy peasy. Um, I might have even beat the next boss, who I think was like Cortex or... Maybe... Was Cortex in Crash 1? I think he was, right? I, I, I honestly can't remember. But I'm pretty sure I beat the next boss too. And then I stopped. Did you guys ever play the PS1 game A Bug's Life? That shit was hard, but I was obsessed with that game. I got pretty far in that, but I never finished it. God bless A Bug's Life, man. Holy shit, we should do a playthrough of A Bug's Life, see if we can finish it. The furthest I ever got was the trash can level where everything rolled about inside the trash can. Never even fucking made it to like the exciting part of the game. But that shit was insane. I love watching the 120 star runs of Mario Kart 64 and the old Tony Hawk games, Kalmar. It, literally, I was about to say, some of my favourite speedruns to watch are Tony Hawk's. Yeah. Those guys make it look so fucking easy. They make it look so easy. It's unreal. But it's not. It's hard. <laughs> if anyone who wants to play Dark Souls Remastered, I can help out. It's strife. I'll pick that. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, one day we'll do some Dark Souls as well, guys. I'm not sure when that day will come, but I'm down for that. It'll be a nightmare, I'm sure. I have an old meme I saw about Lara Croft, Lara Croft missing jumps and posted it in the Discord. <laughs> Did you play Monsters, Inc. Scare Island? I played it, but it wasn't mine, Ollie. I played it at a... Uh, this is really bizarre. There was like a, a kind of restaurant that had like a play area and it had like PlayStation consoles in the play area and that's where I played Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. I remember you used to run a bit of Sully and collect it in jars, right? There was like the... You used to like... Yeah... I played that, but it wasn't my game. I only got to play it a little bit, but I did play it. I'm going to have a quick bathroom break, guys. I'm going to take my ball through, and uh, I'll be right back in a second. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for uh, the two subs and the host and all the bits, because you guys have been playing a lot of bits as well today, so much appreciated. I'll be back in a minute. We're going to continue on with our grind, and hopefully we can actually progress our main story, all right? Beer beat. Thank you. 
Let's do this. Get ready, boys. Let's do this, Leroy. What are we talking about? What did I miss? <sighs> Tomb Raider 3 is a brutally tough game. You start in swan dive from where you first stand. Lara breaks her neck. <laughs> and then further down are spikes, just in case. <laughs> Not with many snipers, I was a good sniper back then myself. Snipe choppers and moving cars, but yeah, I lost that skill. That's alright, Cherry. I think that happens to the best of us, mate. I used to fancy myself a decent FPS player, but gone are those fucking days. I think one thing is you lose the skill because you don't practice, but then also I'm pretty sure the, the internet as a whole and like gamers as a whole have leveled up because there's all these youngsters that are starting off with games from a younger age now, and I think... <laughs> They come up as like fresh fucking genius talent and then they just fucking wreck you and it's hard to have fun when you're getting wrecked. I'm a, I'm a wrong guys. It's the, the most fun I've ever had in multiplayer games is, <coughs> excuse me, it's when you're dominating. You don't have to always dominate to have fun obviously but it feels the best and it's harder to dominate these days when there's so many good players. Just my personal opinion but yeah, you gotta get good. Let me see here. Um, did you all play... Best PS1 kids game was Toy Story 2. I'm pretty sure I played Toy Story 2. That's the one I must be... I was going to ask, is that the one with Al's toy, toy Barn? But that was in Toy Story 2. That was the... I'm going to mention the treehouse. You guys are like Jack, don't, don't bring up the treehouse. There was the... Uh, what else was there? There was the the construction yard level where you had to climb up the construction yard, and then there was the uh, the back alley waterways when it was raining. I played a lot of that game. I think I got right to the end, which was the airport level. When when you have to get on the plane, I think that's the end of the game. Maybe I used cheats to get to that though. I don't actually think I naturally was good enough to get to that bit. Please die. Good fight. Um, it's like four minutes to complete on those runs. Lego Racers was great. I think my brother played Lego Racers. Serenity says, looking back over the years, um, sorry, looking back over old games makes me grateful for uh, the present status in gaming. Nostalgia is nice, but it's a relief not to be sweating over such steep learning curves. <laughs> Yeah, I have mixed opinions. I think that games these days are definitely made to be easier, which can be a little bit numbing sometimes. Like, it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's like the, every game comes with training wheels. But then I know exactly, you know, there's a lot of people who will sit back and be like, oh, all games, when, it was, when games were hard, best days. But I don't think people remember how frustrating some games actually could be. You know when autosave, for example, didn't exist? When autosave didn't exist, or, um, you know, like again, like save points, checkpoints, continuations. A lot of games used to just operate via like extra life systems. So once you were out of your lives, you would just lose the game. You'd have to start again. Crash Bandicoot, A Bug's Life, examples of these kind of games. But uh, yeah, no, I, I feel you, I feel you. And that one's Serenity. Some, some games were too hard and it became like unplayable. For sure. Please kill it. It's almost dead. Nice. Yeah, that's why I don't play GTA 5 or Red Dead to strife. Wait, you don't play but do you mean like the do you mean like the online strife? Because I'm pretty sure GTA 5 and you could play GTA 5 and Red Dead like and enjoy the single player, right? And of course, Muppet Monster Adventures. Memory cards. God, the good old days. When you would uh, go to your mate's house, take your memory card to show him your new save or to help him get past an area. Then you come home, forget your memory card that's in the pocket of your, of your trousers and then it goes through the washing machine. Yeah? Happened to anybody else? That, that was definitely not me. Just me. Come on, man. Who, how, how many of you guys put memory cards accidentally through the washing machine?
you would like you would take your memory card having realized where it's been your mum would fish out and be like oh is this supposed to be in here no mum it's absolutely not supposed to be in there okay you take it back looking at it praying you blow it gently and slot it back into the PlayStation 1. Luckily it still works, but it's never quite the same. Can you come down from there you fucking annoying prick? Did I just miss that? There we go, give me them levels, boy. I have literally cried with frustration at times this already. Oh yeah, dude, gritted teeth. I used to I used to grip my teeth and curl my toes and, and scream through closed teeth, you know, just like furious anger and hatred. Um, I remember my brother used to play the Simpsons hit and run game, and uh, oh boy, there was some uh, angry moments during that shit. I never touched the Simpsons hit and run. Luckily, I think I played it a little bit, but I never played it that much. It would be so easy. You just walk in. Like, if he's getting really angry, you walk in. Haha, <laughs> you're shit. <laughs> Shut up, get out! Leave me alone! Pretty sure that's borderline bullying, but it was funny at the time. Yeah, online, yeah. Occasionally I will hop on Red Dead Online. I remember being burgled. I was more upset they took my memory card than the PS2, to so Serenity. Oh man, that, is, that sucks. That sucks so bad. I think losing your, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but losing your save file in games is actually like the worst thing. It's the worst thing. <laughs> Never had it with a memory card, but had it with a 20 euro bill. Oh Watch dude, 20 euro bill. Nothing. <laughs> not to, not to mi <laughs> minimalize your loss, but like, dude. I, if I could have paid a 20 dollar bill to get my memory card back, back out of the washing machine, dude, that would have been no hesitation, no sweat. <laughs> never, they have never left the houses, Cal. Nice. That's a good thing, guys. I'm glad. I'm happy for your uh, lack of misery. But, uh, yeah. Memory cards in the washing machine is a terrible, terrible moment to be in. But I dried that in the here and can still use it. Lack of misery, he says. <laughs> Guys, I'm just saying, alright. What is what is 20, 20 euros versus hundreds of hours of saved efforts and you know everything you've accomplished. All of your memories. Come on man. I can make a whole shopping list full of misery. I don't know man. Try to think what else did it. I, I don't think I ever dropped a console. I remember the Xbox in particular used to have an issue where if you lift it up with with the disc switch still in it, it would like fuck the disc. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I never had an Xbox, but my mates apparently if like if you moved the Xbox with the disc in it, it would like completely destroy the disc. Is that does that ring a bell with anyone? I don't know how many people had Xboxes and how many people had PlayStations, but. I think that was a thing that used to happen. Oh, there's a chest here. There's a, there's been a chest here this whole time. I can't get it. I guess you can't get out here. There's a checkpoint up there. Can I claim that? I think I need to be able to jump up there. Kids today, they don't know they're born. Yeah, I had that happen with the 360. I wasn't enticed with the Xbox One. Uh, or the x -Bone. I seriously disliked the way the controller felt in my hands as a PlayStation gamer. Yeah, no, I, f I feel you. I was the same, Cherry. My mates used to try and get me to get an Xbox to play Call of Duty with them, but I, it just felt so wrong. It felt so weird, you know? But then I'm pretty sure they felt the same, you know? Like, to those guys. I don't know why I'm using water moves on the fucking tentacle monster. Oh. I'm like, 
die here. There we go and knock that motherfucker out. Kill it with fire. Nice. An iron nugget. I think we need those. I wasn't enticed. Oh, sorry, I read that one by Cherry. My bad, guys. Uh, you get another way of travel with Broadleaf. That'll give you access to basically everywhere. And it's faster too, it's a skill tree. Okay, excellent. Good to know. I'm hoping to go in there soon. I just need a couple more levels. Just The grind here is getting easier, though. All these fights are getting a lot easier. Speaking of God, going to try and get some guys together for some co-op if you're down. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm down, Andy. I would love to play. I've been... It's like, seriously, I've been enjoying playing cooperative... There's like a base for those that don't understand, even if you're not a Call of Duty fan, I'll explain. There's like a mod you can play right now in the new Call of Duty with your friends where you're basically playing against AI bots, but there's like missions attached to them, and they're actually been a lot of fun. Like, I've, it's like Call of Duty, but without the kind of frustration. And it's challenging as well, so you just need to kind of work together and keep moving, and I've really been enjoying it. I'm probably going to be a bit behind where you guys were the other day though, Andy. I'm going to have felt fallen behind a little bit. Anyways, the skill tree. Going to take a quick shower, BRB. Nice. Midday shower, I like it. For me, it was a controller. Felt like I had held it, I held it diagonally. Yeah, I always felt like um, I couldn't really get my hands comfortably around the sticks of the Xbox. Like, it sat kind of heavily and a bit more kind of fatter and chunkier in my hands. And that felt off for me. Hello, friends. I am back. Had a little chat with my mum. Say hello to mum. Mum Ollie. For us, Ollie, if you want. Sweet. I don't think I have added you on PSN, Cherry, do I? I don't know. Rayman3120. If anyone needs to add me on PSN, it's Ollie. Um, the XP you get on Spec Ops is broken. Yeah, it seems pretty strong, Ryan. Dude, what is this? Look how many people are in this fight. Hello? Dude, if I can get some AoE off in this... Fucking value. I keep saying that. You guys are gonna be weirded out. Jack, stop, stop being an idiot. Oh hey! Next away necklace. Nice. Ow. Okay, I need to kill this guy first. There we go, that was easy. Let's drop the fucking nuke on this boy. The last couple of nights guys I've been watching this guy play Shogun Total War. I was talking about it a little bit, but it was kind of my own experience of playing. But I've been watching this guy who is Dutch from the Netherlands, and he's he's really good at the fucking games. And it's like, if you've ever watched somebody play something to a high level on like a hard difficulty, it's actually quite satisfying, I think. And uh, I've been watching this guy play this really like he's playing the same clan that I always play, but he's playing on legendary mode when I only ever play on like normal or hard that I push, and he's just dominating. And every night I've been kind of just watching that. It's a really old series. It's been out for like years on YouTube. And that's been my, my relaxation time. Uh, at night. It's been pretty cool. He's just like literally dominating the game. Should have uh, Morton the Worm from Medieval as my avatar. Still need to play Medieval, says Kalmar. It's good, Cal. And you can complete it pretty fast as well. We did it in two very, very short streams. It's a uh, very, very kind of sh short and punctual, not in a bad way. But I, I love playing Medi with, with you guys. It was, it was really chill. Catch that, mate. Where did my little uh, potato? Ah, sorry. That's probably allowed when I do that. I never ever charge properly. You guys are saying that if I like do a water spell next to somebody, I can charge it or some shit. I'm gonna get some hits off you. Nice. There's some fucking damage right there, boy. Later. Gonna head off for a bit. See y'all later. Take it easy, Cal. Thanks for hanging out, man. Much love. Those were the ones I bought when. Uh, sorry, let me see here. Uh, you have Altair uh, on your profile, correct? Those were the only ones available when I bought the Lightning and Tifa ones. 
I love how quite a few of the Wolfpack have had Final Fantasy characters in the old Dissidia art style. Yeah, dude, that's, that's me. I think I have Cloud. I have Cloud and Tifa. I used to wear Tifa, but then I changed it to Cloud and then I forgot to change it back. But yeah, we're rocking the, the PSN. The Final Fantasy represent on the PSN. Friend request sent. Was that called Stellar Squid? Quite possibly. I don't really know. I don't really pay attention to much of the, the names. Oh no, dude. I fucked up. I really need to take my HP more seriously when going into these fights. Because I'm just burning valuable resources here. Means Kalmar, uh, means Kalmar Strife, if you would like to add me. See it. So much damage. So much damage. Feels good, man. Alright. Do we want to keep going? How close are we to our next level up? About halfway. Alright guys, I'll do a few more battles until we get to our next level and then we'll head into the next area. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much grinding this game wants you to do in order to progress. It's maybe just because we're on hard mode. But this, this new area is like... It's looking pretty feisty. I should probably travel back to Evermore and pick up my money as well, actually, now that I think about it. Let's do that and then come back. I like that idea a lot. Because we've probably got a full coffer to pick up. Maybe you're grinding in the wrong area. This is the, the closest area. Well, I mean, there's definitely places we could go. Like some of the towers you guys were saying is good for grinding. But this area that I'm in is right next to the area that I'm about to enter. And it seems like the best. The enemy, the area we're going to go into, the enemies are like, you know, 45 and above. Sometimes 40, sometimes they're 50. Um, and these enemies are 41, which means I can defeat them kind of fast. We'll also get a decent XP, I think. Is it Kalmar with the AC guy on it, right? Dunno. Kalmar, what's your, oh, what's your avatar on PSN, Kalmar? Is it... Is it Assassin's Creed? I'll tell you right now. I'll answer for you guys. Once my PlayStation loads. I don't normally do this. Corey. Kalmar. I don't even know if Kalmar. Do I even have you, Kalmar? I definitely do. Hmm. Um, where are we gonna go, boys? Do I wanna buy some heels? Let's buy some heels. He's got a little musical thing next to him. Come to do some shopping, eh? Come to do some shopping, eh? Hells yeah, motherfucker. There we go. What else can I do for I'll be seeing you again oh. then? What else can I do for you? Well that's not that's against the TOS, Helena, or whatever her name is. Um, do we have any more research ongoing right now? Melee weapon development, range development, efficient weapon development, skill unlocking secrets, weapons. Oh, extra weapon skills. Sure. Care to do some shopping, eh? Right, let's do some research in this bitch. We'll do range level 2. I don't think I'm going to ever be able to make items for a long time that are stronger than the ones I have though. Hmm, I don't know. We've just unlocked level 3 in the spell area, which is good. Let's do this. I think now we can buy the spell that lets us open the chests. Which would be a huge deal. Spring lock, that's what we want. It's 10k. Very expensive. <laughs> Just lightening uh... up the stream with a little uh, bit of the Titanic there, Jay, yeah? My guy. Dropping a little cheeky. Yeah. 
Sorry to everybody who's never heard these before. Um, they come in waves. So, uh, yeah, apologies. But, um, yeah. There's a lot of new people here over the last few days. And it's uh, lovely to have these. Jcram sometimes spams lots and lots of sound alerts at once. Just uh, letting you know. Trophy level 38. Calmar with the Assassin's Creed guy. Mm -hmm. It's hard mode. Play normal mode. Dif uh, difficulty didn't take much grinding. Reckon hard was definitely the way to go, says Sereni, as the bishop said to the escort. Nice. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. Prepare yourselves. Right. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks, Jay. Thanks for all the bits, man. Long, long I really hope Long Long Man is not copyright. I can't remember. Did that is that an issue I had before? I can't I, I really hope not. There's a door we could do that's very close to here. I'm kind of tempted to go out and do it just now. It's down here somewhere. There's you know a... what, dude? I super agree with what's being said. That is that is a, something I agree with. Right there. Yes. The one and only Jcram. Hey, Bewinged, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Bewinged. How's things? I think there's a door in here. I think. Maybe. Possibly. You know what, dude? I super agree with what's being said. That's that is a, something I agree with, right there. Yes. Thank you for the bits, guys. Really pleased that you're spamming the same ones over and over again. My neighbor is going to wonder why I'm watching. <laughs> Welcome to a wolfy stream, uh, Serenity. This is what it's going to be like sometimes. All right, you just got to... Sometimes these things happen, okay? You got to make peace with it early, I think. Long, long... You have to understand, we go through seasons of sound, affair, uh, sound alerts slash effects where I rotate them. And some of the beloved ones that haven't been here for months come back in, uh, into the fray. And so everybody feels the need to, you know, get out of their system and, and stuff. Thank you for all the bits today, guys. It helps out a ton. It helps out with the monthly expenses big time, so I appreciate that. Tell him it's internet madness. Just uh, throw, him a, throw him a link. Ask him if he wants to join. We'll sub him. It's just some wolf man and his kids are messing around, says Ollie. <laughs> oh, I saw I covered that one by you know a little what, bee. dude? I super agree with what's being said. That's, that is a, something I agree with. Right there, yes. I'll take it. I, I'll take it away. Do you guys want to have? Am I gonna have to do hashtag free fucking what's his face? I will, dude. I locked it away once. I'll I'll lock it away again. I will fucking do it. Where are the heckledies up there? Please tell me this is where the door is. Did I come to the wrong place? Maybe there's not a door in this part. Maybe it's somewhere else. That's why I always use headphones for these streams. That's how I am able to watch this while at work right now. But my grandpa put all his gaming knowledge, his whole heart, into assembling this deck. This card is useless. <laughs> oh, man. Mental. These are mental. Oh, can we get this now? Seabirds. Uh, what did it say? I skipped over it. How many bits was that? I don't have to write them down anymore, luckily, but that was a lot. I see we're not done. Seabirds that can have a snooze while they're on the wing.
sleep well on the wing. Slumbering goal, we got it. Nice. We are perfectly normal. J-Cram is mental. Okay, I'm done. Back to work. Ciao, y'all. <laughs> Take it easy, Jay. Thanks a lot, man. Much much appreciated for all the uh, the better runs. You're a beast. There we go. We got a new Hegelde here. Okay, nice. All right. I've just realized I've probably got a lot of pebbles to trade in, and I've also probably got a lot of uh, sweets as well to eat. Let's go back to the playground at the start. I love Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Yu but the whole heart of the cards is BS. It's strife. <laughs> what do you mean it's BS? I've lived my whole life thinking it was real. You guys can't say that. You can't tell me that. How are you? Ten pebbles. Here you go. Let's get a couple of these. Right. CJ Cram. I guess that's just how they describe the cheating and shuffling the decks. <laughs> Guys, they didn't cheat when they used the heart in the cards, dude. You try to tell me you never done heart in the cards when you split when you were younger and won every duel? Is that not how it works? Treacle Toffee. Uh, unapologetically better boost the user's defense by one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put these all in heaven. Magical attack by one. Um, range attack by one. Fuck it. HP by 5, nice. That's so strong. Sweet. Uh, let's go back to the main map here. There's a cave close by, I need to find it. Yo, Valkyrie, what's up, man? Welcome. Yugi was definitely running at least 7 Dark Magicians. <laughs> yeah, Yugi was definitely running at least 7 <laughs> Dark Magicians in his deck. <laughs> He probably was, yeah, he was just telling all his mates. It's heart in the cards, guys, it's heart in the cards. In actual fact, he was just cheating the whole time. Classic Yugi. Uh, I am going to take more mana. I think that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, I I, I feel bad, because sometimes Yugi was misled by how strong his grandpa's deck actually was. I'm pretty sure it was kind of shit most of the time. Uh. Right, where is this? I think it's kind of close to Goldpaw, somewhere next to here. There's a cave. Let's go to Higgledy Way. Hey, Valkyrie. Yo, Wally. Doing great, man. How about you? The reason I said uh, why I said Heart in the Cards is BS is because the puzzle brought extreme luck. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. I get you guys. That looks like... Can I get down here? Fuck. Do I need a boat to sail up this? Is that what the game's telling me here? Or do I just need to walk around and down? What the fuck, bitch? Do I need to bring my boat all the way up here to get into that cave? Is that what the game's telling me? That's not the cave I'm looking for, though. Wasn't there, like, a door marked on the... Oh, wait, I think it's Jumble Woods. Is that it there? Oh, no, because that's where I've just teleported from. There's a path leading up to here. Maybe that's what it is. I can't remember, man. <laughs> I wish... Do you know what? See if you find the door, it should leave it marked on your map. That would be so much nicer. Yugi, I am the RNG Kappa. <laughs> gacha game developers hate him. <laughs> Dude, there's a fucking chest up there as well. Oh god, don't mention them. Pharaoh, here's how I did it. I read the script and signed on to the voice of the protagonist because heroes always win. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh. I was talking to my, my friend about Yu-Gi-Oh and how season one is completely fucking troll. Like the the like season one does not follow. I don't even know about season two or the rest, but I know that season one definitely just makes shit shit up as it goes to make things interesting. 
Uh, I always bring up the, the the bit when Yugi crashes the moon into the field, or he crashes the castle down on top of the other guy's monsters to kill them all. It's just like Yugi, no, that's that's just not. That's that's pretty much illegal, Yugi. I don't know what you're doing, mate. Right, I'm gonna go this way. I think there's. Oh, fuck, I'm actually lost. There's something here. There's a secret. Secret. Can I go up here? Is this the direction of where we're supposed to go? Oh, there it is over there. Look, you see that cave? We need to get over there. How the fuck does one... I'm on the wrong side, I'm gonna... Fuck. Attack the moon. Yeah, dude. It's pretty troll. Or like, uh... Maybe this is actually a card or something. I don't know, but... Like, when, when he fights Mako, who has all the fish cards, right, all the sea monsters, he, like, hides them under the water. So they can't be attacked when it's, like, Yugi's turn. It's, like... That just, it just makes no sense. Um, Dude, what the fuck, man? I'm actually getting so tilted about this fucking shithole place. How'd I get up here, man? Is that even where I'm so... Oh, dude, wait, Eric, Eric Grove's where I'm trying to get to, which is all the way over there. But what is that, though? There's a cave over there. Oh, wait, the toadstools. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, everybody relax. Everybody relax. We might be, we might still be onto something here. There's a chest over there. I don't know how to get to that shit. Okay. How does one... Oh, we go from the grove and it takes you all the way along there. Okay, we can get a couple of things at once. Sweet. Anything in there? Do, do, do. A bridge is usually better. Yeah, a bridge is so funny. Draw! Monster Cardo! This raises my life points to infinity. Well, my attack points exceed infinity. <laughs> That's not how infinity works! <laughs> Grow the mushies. Yeah, you're right, Serena. Yeah, you were right. I did have to grow the mushies. I got a bit panicky there. I'm sorry. There was a there was a bit of hidden flame came out to play there. I'm sorry, guys. I was just a bit annoyed. Okay, I think we've been in here, but I could be wrong. I'm hoping there's a door in here, and if not, it's in the other forest along the way. But we might never have actually been in here at all. Uh, there is some squid monsters in here. I'm not sure. Let's let's just have a wreck around anyway. We're getting tilted over a children's card game because nothing, and I mean nothing, is more intense than a children's card game. These things take lives, man. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? All right. The Grim Chillers in the Scape Reel are uh, ever so docile. I doubt they harm a fly, be gentle. All right. Sure. Okay, can All I... Right. Hello? All right. Fuck off, mate. I'm trying to get past. I guess right. I... All right. All right. All right. Well, I was in the wrong place. Feels bad, man. That's true, Ollie. That and Monopoly. Monopoly does ruin friendships. I could already feel, guys, when we started playing Monopoly on Tabletop Simulator, the tension that immediately began to rise as soon as we started. Uh, let's go to Goldpaw. I want to go to the world map at Goldpaw. Uh, Monopoly does ruin friendships and break relationships. I played a 1v1 of Monopoly with Mrs. Wolfie once and she flipped the board in my face at the end. Legit flipped the table in, in a rage. It was so funny. She landed on one of my... <laughs> I was dominating her, dude. Like, she had not a chance, dude. I, was, I wasn't going easy on her. I was like, right, come on, man. Mrs. Wolfie, just fucking get good, right? So I'm playing full-on regular Monopoly mode. And uh, she she landed on one of my hotels at the end, and it was like, right, well, you're now due me like at least a thousand pounds or whatever. And she just kind of like grasped the money from her pile and just like threw it in my face, called me a motherfucker, and then like kicked the board over. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that was fun. That was the end of the game. Just so you know, that was uh, that was that was the unofficial end of the game. It was uh, it was pretty entertaining. Tabletop sim. 
Yeah, it's basically like a online game that has people who like people have made games and you can download them for free and play. You have to kind of pick everything up with your mouse. It's funny. Yu-Gi-Oh GX is ridiculous. Also, Yu-Gi-Oh GX Generation. I don't know the next bit. But uh, I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Mrs. Wolfie did. They have military protecting card deliveries and even for car uh, higher card game mercenaries. Imagine your job being paid to beat kids at a children's card game. Lol. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge is top notch. I didn't know they actually did that in GX though. Dude, where in the f where in the name of fuck is this goddamn door? It better be here. I've watched all the arcs and GX is by far the most like the real thing, says Paul. Yes, you may have my daughter's hand in marriage after you beat me in a children's card game. We found it. Thank God, dude. Right, we've not done this door, so we'll do it now. Here we go. Right, no, we'll not save. I think we're going to smash this place. Let's go. Invisible guns for the win. Want to pass the exam? You better win the next match. It's time to do 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 And before level 60 boss, yeah, you, you could be right, skill tree. I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, disregard that as a potential option. But we have been in this place before. I just kind of briefly looked in and then looked back out. Multiproof spring mantle. Delightful. Right. How does one... It's, I can't I can't tell where the end of the uh, the alleys are and where there's like a like a dead end. This might be an awkward dungeon to run. Lots of trees and shit hiding all the things. I don't know how cheeky they are when they when they hide the doors in the levels. Do they tuck them right in or? I don't know how observant I need to be when exploring. It's quite hard to see the game as well um, on 30 FPS when I'm spinning the camera. My eyes can't keep up. Uh, what? I can't believe four kids denied us of Bastion stripping naked and running through the Duel Academy. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Cherry's like, uh, I run that one by us again. For real, that's what happens in the Japanese version. Really? That's so troll. What is this? It's a huge mushroom. That's what she said. Oh, hey, a chest. That's what she said. Dude, I'm getting wrecked in this level. The game wants me to lose after I, I was shit talking it earlier. You get research layer that shows you the general direction of the statues, cheats and doors that slows the danger meter. Oh, really? Where have I not... Oh, I don't have a map right now either. That's hella awkward. I don't know where I've been. Why have I only got two orbs as well? I thought I've had... I thought I would have had lots of orbs by now. Dude, no. This is hard. Where's my door, man? What the fuck is this? I'm definitely retracing my steps. This is awful. Door? Hello? Please? Dude, I... Door! We found it. All is not lost. Did I grab these orbs from the side? No, we'll get them in the next area. Fuck me. That was tough. Obviously, they would do that. It's not really four kids, eh? I know it's hilarious to see things that are cut, like there was so much uh, bizarreness in Digimon Adventure 1, I can't see the episode where Devimon first appears the same way again. Oh no, what did he do? I don't even know if I want to know. No orbs in the pots. I guess we gotta fight some monsters. My back's getting really stiff. Door? Oh. Hey Sinbad, what are you doing? Does he give me orbs for free? Sinbad. Um, I hate to ask. 20 orbs and I'll give... Wait, what? 20? What? No, dude. Huh. He's stuck in the shadow realm like us. He can't find the door either. Danger level 2. Activated. Right, I think we save our, uh, our orbs for the time being. 
The experience of a lifetime. Did these guys get really powerful or not? Nah? Okay. That was pretty good. Oh, I can't do that. I've got a really itchy nose. Okay, so what does the danger level do? It raises the difficulty of the enemies and the boss. So you want to try and get through the area as quick as possible. But this one is really shit, dude. Like, this one is so pish. It's quite hard to see, like, we've never beat a danger level 2 and we've done two towers so far. We've whizzed through them all. But this one's, like, like really difficult to kind of see where, like, corners are. And then the fact you don't get your map is kind of asshole-y. You need to try and get down to like, difficulty level 1 from a statue if possible. Where did- we came from here, right? I haven't even seen the, uh, I haven't even seen the door in this level yet. <laughs> Oh my god, no, why? This is where I started. I started out here. This is where Mowgli lives. There must have been a way that I never saw. 420. Oh, is it up there? No, tell me no. Blazing? Danger level 5. There's actually an achievement for that. <laughs> Fuck. Right, I'm going this way. This is a, this is just a wall. So it must have been through next to Simbad. Simbad, why? Why are you like this? You fucked us, Simbad. Badly. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually, I'm actually so confused. Where's the goddamn door? Like what? It doesn't exist. Back, you can go up next to Simbad. Wait, really? Simbad, you filthy motherfucker! I went, I went up there, but I, di I didn't see it. Oh, is it up here? <gasps> Simbad, no! You troll, Simbad! Why didn't you point up and tell us? Okay, I think we can go down a level. Please? Five orbs, yes. Hell, dude, that was kind of busted. But it took me all the way back to the start. That completely took the danger out of the moment. I think because we got there in time, right? If that had hit level 2 or level 3, we'd still be on level 2, I think. Alright, I think we've got time to collect this shit. We'll probably need 10 or 15 orbs in order to defeat these guys. Oh, the pressure danger's going up. No, we got it. We got it. Not, not even a drop of sweat, guys. We can handle this. Look at these plebeian monsters. We will hang on to as much uh, orbs as we can pick up on the way though. Just in case, you know, just in case. In case Simbad turns up and hides it. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This makes me think of a snake and it's scary. Right, I could, I could probably go that way, but I don't really want to. I want to go this way and find the door first time. Please don't be a dead end, I will cry. Don't you do it to me, game. Oh, I can't open that chest yet, but I'm so close. We're doing the research, we're doing the research. We just can't get it now. Did you guys hear that? That was my tummy rumbling. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I need to go down the snake tree. Damn it. What are you looking at, you fucking ugly bit? I mean, uh, my four-legged friend. Wait, I got a gifted sub. Sweet, says Bill Winged. Hell yeah, dude. I think that gifted sub potentially came from Magnadra. Magnadra was going ham salad with the gift subs, Bill Winged. So if you meet Magnadra, I think he went back to work today. Or yesterday it was. He went back to work. So if you see him, definitely give him a shout out. I know Jcram quite early on in the month uh, gifted a bunch of subs also. 
Uh, there was like seven when we came back to streaming in December. That could have also been uh, a thing as well. Blue chests and maze require orbs too, not the spell. Oh shit, really? Oh yeah, you guys are, I see that now. Shit. Okay, my bad guys, I didn't know that. Yeah, it says from Magnadra. Alright, nice. Yeah, nice one. So there you go. Magnadra, the hero. Oh, this is the respite level. This is where it doesn't go up, right? Three leaf soar away, I think. This is like the halfway point, correct? Collect all these, try and get some orbs. Right. Crikey! The idols face this perfect picture of kindness. Ten orbs to reduce our danger level. Um, let's not. We got time, I think. The dreamer's maze. Let's go. Not the J Crab. Whoa! It was not me, but I'll take the credit for Magnadra. You guys are probably one and the same anyway at this point. Crikey! Should I bother opening these or nah? Is this a bait, guys? Fifteen orbs! Mate! What do I look like? <laughs> Fucking orbs coming at my yin yang. Fifteen orbs. <sighs> I came in here to kinda do this, get the orb uh, get the thing for defeating the door, but also for getting XP, but I've not fought any monsters at all. I've missed them all. I put that Tomb Raider meme in the Discord. J Cram, are you taking credit for other people's jokes now? Are you the are you the meme thief, J Cram? Oh, a pair of blighted silk slippers. I don't think I would wear those if I found them in this place. Onwards. The door. Make it to the door before it gets to level two. Get the orb. Oh. Uh, yep. Next floor. Let's go. Woo! Here we go. What? Check on what are you on about, you mad bastard. Oh, the door! Valkyrie! Resell for six months! Noticed something wasn't right. There we go, now it's fixed. Lol, thanks for all the hype, man. Keep up the great stuff. Valkyrie, thank you for, for doing that so much, man. Six months is insane. Welcome back to the wolf pack, sir. Thank you. Much love for the subs today, guys. And all the bits that you guys have been throwing my way. You guys are too, too kind. Thank you so much for that, Valkyrie. Alright, shouts to you, man. You all thought it was Jcram, but it was me. Ollie. Let's go. I like it when the door's right here next to the, the portal. That's that's a freebie. Naisu, naisu. Okay, final floor. I guess we don't need to reduce the level, the danger level, right? Maybe if there is another chest, we can use our orbs to open the blue chest. Top 10 anime plot twist, twists it was actually Ollie lol. What? Ollie, are you approaching me? Wait, what's going on right now? Is there like a showdown happening? I just imagine Ollie and J Cram standing in the saloon. You know, the Wild West. What's happening? Are you guys, uh, are you guys memeing each other? Yes, 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 yes. Peggledy, Peggledy. Oh, is this the boss? Um, He looks like he's poison. At a glance. I'm pretty sure these, these door areas are bosses we've already fought to get to this point, but I'm, I honestly don't know. He looks like he does like purple damage, so that could be dark or poison. So I'm going to put both, both of these. Is it, You can't check him before you run in, right? He looks like he's... Is he, he's like a rock guy, right, for sure. Like this top one? He's not a fairy, so we, we don't have to worry about that shit. He's not a slime. Is he one of these? Or is he one of these? I think he's this top one, right? He's a solid. He looks like he's solid. Did we go halfway, just in case? Nah, fuck it, YOLO. What could go wrong? He says, nervously. Right. We are going to bang some of these in Evan's butt and Roland's butt. Leander, stick that right in your butt. And uh, I think that's us. 
Should we feed? We should we should eat food before we fight this. I think we'll be fine. But we did buy some snacks. Improves magic defense. We'll put that on Evan because he's a little bitch. Strengthens your range attacks. Improves magic defense. Increases water damage. Magic defense. Magic defense. Melee attack by one. That's gone on Evan as well. I'm sorry. Okay, it looks like we're just eating all of the fish stuff. Magic, sure. You know what, team? Just everybody get some Mermaid's Delight right, didn't you? Wait, was that the expensive one? I think I just... I think that was expensive and I just wasted it. Oh, no. I put them on my two my, my two AI characters. I'm pretty sure I spent, like, fucking three grand on that dish. Not like this. Or was it these? Cracking... Oh, no. It's okay. This was the expensive one. We're okay. This is it. This is the four star. Mermaid's Delight is only three star. We can relax. Jojo Meme. This town isn't big enough for the both of us, says Skilltree. But Zawa uh, Zawarudo is? Wait, was that a meme? Oh no. But yeah, you're welcome for the sub, Skilltree. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying being with us, buddy. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> wait. I'm so confused. Wait, hold on. Skilltree got gifted a sub as well, but now Ollie's taking credit. Skilltree got gifted a sub from... Was it Ollie? No, I'm so confused. Skilltree, where did your sub come from? It was when you joined, right? After Jolt Flame. Was it Magnadra as well? I'm looking, I'm looking. Jack doesn't know Jojo meme, such a shame. I'm sorry guys, Jojo's in the list. Anonymous gift. Oh yeah, it was Anonymous Gifter. Ollie, were you the Anonymous Gifter? I'm so confused, dude. I'm I'm so confused. Ollie. I love you. Right. Let's go! Get fucked! God, he was a rock guy. I knew it. Nothing could go wrong here. Dude, we're walloping this guy's booty. Ow. Okay, that's fine. He did no damage there. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Get him. What is this guy weak to? I don't know. Ow. He does no damage, dude. He knocked me out of my animation, though. Point blank range attack, Jack. Nice. Be dumbass. Okay. Just gonna stand back here and throw fireballs up. How far away was I and I took damage from that? Are you serious, bro? Hello? Earth to logic? Right, question guys, this guy is almost dead. He's nearly dead, like if I, if I literally fart in his direction he's gonna die. Do I get XP for Evan if he is unconscious at the end of the fight, yes or no? Does anybody know for a fact? I need all you Nino Kuni legends. If Evan is unconscious, will he get XP? If the answer is yes and he does, then I will just end the fight. If the answer is no, I will revive him first. He does not get XP. Okay, you guys are all saying no, perfect. Um, yeah, it was me, Ollie. Ollie, why did you... You're welcome, at Skill Tree, J Cram, stop it. Ollie, why did you do the, the the gift donation anonymously? Was that intentional or was that an accident? I know Twitch can be an arsehole sometimes. Um, wait, what? No, just it, stop. Just ignore him, Skill Tree. J Cram's on the wind-up. He does that sometimes. Maybe it's line of sight? Yeah, maybe, yeah. I maybe needed to take cover behind a rock or something, Paul. You may be right. Um, revive him. Tier is only 1 kg. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, die. Hell yeah. Oh, I actually swapped over to uh, thingamabobber there. You obtained an emerald dream fragment. Excellent. We're gonna crack that up and snort it later. I mean, what? Hashtag <laughs> snort pack. <laughs> no, don't do that again. Right. Anyways, that was funny earlier though. Where are we? Uh, where's Where's my last my last door? Is it? It's past the boss, right? I hope Sinbad's stuck in here forever. He could have totally told us to go up above, or maybe Sinbad had never ever figured out that he could escape that way, and he's just been stuck here for all time. Should we go back for him? Oh, we could also go back and... Oh no, we're on, a, we're on the wrong floor now, aren't we? Sheet. Okay. Leave the dreamer's maze. Goodbye. 
It's fine. I troll people all the time. Only fair if I can take some as well. The more the merrier, lol. <laughs> you completed all floors, the excerpt. Um, Grove Maze and escaped unscathed. Well, I mean, Evan got slapped a bit, a bit but other than that, we were unscathed, yes. Getting real crowded under this bridge, this is a skill tree. I just felt like it, Jack XD. I didn't want to be too obvious. I was going to confess in her, but today felt like the ideal time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ollie. I wasn't trying to pressure you into a confession. I was just curious. Sometimes you guys do gifts anonymously, and I just want to thank you guys, you know. But I understand as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't have asked. It wasn't fair for me. Please don't hate me, Ollie. I love you. Thank you for gifting us up to skill tree. You're too kind. Show no mercy. Who's mercy? <laughs> I think it shows character if someone doesn't take themselves too seriously, says Skilltree. It was Ollie here. He was the anonymous gifter and now I'm narking on him. <laughs> Everyone but Ollie, was it? Hashtag and Jcrab the snitch. <laughs> How much longer are we going for, boys? I'll be home soon. Hey, Sushi, what's up, man? We having a good stream today, guys. I don't know how long we're gonna go for. How long? At least a, at least a couple of hours, Sushi. You got a couple of hours, mate, for sure. We uh we we cozy today. We cozy. Did I um yeah we got our door right. Time to leave. World map. I wonder if we are finally strong enough to get past this area, or if we want to go back and explore some of the f the starting places that we never went to as well. We could do that also. I don't expect the chest to be very good in that area, but we could definitely get it done. What do you guys think? Do you, should we explore some of this place? We could go back and defeat the purple guys like you guys were saying before. That could be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to Hideaway Hollow. To the world map next to the hollow. Smart video game. Phew, I'll see y'all in like an hour then. Alright, nice one, Sushi. Take it easy, man. Yeah, it's like I said, I can't use the Besaid NPC anymore, so I can't be mysterious. Wait, wait, Ollie, why does it... So, hold on. When you guys go to donate or gift, does it not let you put in... Why can't you use the Besaid NPC, Ollie? I'm confused. Save, enter, maze, run. Let's do household chores, load. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, nice. At Skilltree on Twitch started the hashtag Jcram the snitch and now I'm narking on him. What? Who even says narking Jcram? Where did you get that from? Who says, who says narking? I'm not narking on you, but fucking hell. It's like something my gran would say. The highlight wars of 2020. I was there, boys. <laughs> Well, one time I put the name in and donated some money and then it showed up saying, oh, like, oh fuck, I see. So that just ruined the disguise. I understand, I understand. Narkin is such old lingo. So my cover was blown, I understand. I remember when the days of the Besaid NPC used to donate, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, I think sometimes it's maybe to do with like, if there's like a refresh in Streamlabs or something. I don't know why it doesn't give you guys like, complete secrecy. I know sometimes J-Bob, I think in the past, donated and it came through with his like real name and he was like, what the fuck? I, I don't know guys. This battle has a tick on it, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Look how far we've, we've come guys, we can wander into this part of the world with no sweat off our backs. I'm pretty sure all the items we're gonna find here are trash at this point. But uh, I've not actually been to this realm of the map yet, so I'm kind of interested to explore. Might even find some new places or something, I don't know. Uh, I need my map. Rolling Hills. Wait, I went to the I went to that hollow in the hopes of fighting the world boss and I never even saw it. How did I miss that? Oh, because it goes up and round. Yeah, well we can teleport back to Martha's Cottage and go up there and defeat that guy later. I can only do eight more times. I'm only going to talk in highlighted text. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. We'll keep that. That's a that's a good idea, Jcram. You do that. Why don't you put self restraints on yourself? That's a that's a not a bad idea at all. Oh hey, there's chests all over this place. 
something happens after you get through the next area which will help you with the exploration so it might make sense to get through a little more of the story oh yeah the vehicle you guys were saying yeah shit you might be right there's a little whale door down there and a the city yeah maybe I should maybe I should just go back and get the vehicle and then do all the exploring after be a heathen go roll in hills and don't roll Something happens after you get through this. Oh, sorry. Yes, Serenity. It was you that said that. Sorry, my my mistake. I will. Uh, I'll maybe just go do the story then. That might be a good shout. I'm kind of liking this area though. It's so colourful. So let the heart apes begin. I can't help it. I can't win. I've lost the girl for sure, and tears won't help anymore. That was beautiful, Lily. But honestly, she's not even worth it. I don't know who the girl is, but she's... You're better than that, Ollie. Okay. Little boat can probably go in there. I should go to Evermore and get my fucking spell to open these chests. Mother... F I can't stop myself. Look at me. And I'll be gone. Right, I'll tell you what. We'll fight the big monster that's close by. And then we will go back and proceed with the story. Okay. Let's go to Auntie Martha's cottage. Um, I'm gonna go and kill a boss. A side boss. Anymore? Colourful, he says. Season 90% green. No, dude, look, you've got your greens and your browns and your greys and your blues and your whites. Dude, this place is colourful. It's nice and sunny. Some of the other areas are dark and spooky. I like the kind of evening atmosphere of Goldpaw, but when and and the swamp was kind of nice as well because it had kind of neon plants and shit. Oh, another one of those fucking blue chests. Can I get up there to fight that thing right now or nah? Can I, Mr. Dragon? Would you like to come down here so I can kick your ass? Once I figure out how to get up the hill, I'll, cut, I'll be right there. I think we have to leave, right? There's a cave. I'm 90% sure you have to, like... Maybe that's where you go with the flying machine that you guys keep talking about. Alright, fuck. Um, I did really want to fight some of these purple dudes, though. Maybe I go to the Jumble Woods and do that. I'm messing around so much. Uh, I apologise. I'm gonna go here, fight this dude, and then we're gonna go do the main story, I promise, I promise. I just wanted to make some progress while I was here, but it's okay. <sighs> yes, Jack, I'm on my way down. Give me a minute. Wait, what? I wonder, would that be Sir Orin over there? Sir Orin. Good old Uncle Dinopo. Love that guy. Okay, we're just going straight in here. No buffs, no tactical sweeper, nothing. Just the fucking... As soon as I get my, my yes from my nose. Correct. There we go. Ollie goes first and then I come afterwards. Wait, what's happening? Did I say something and you guys responded and then I forgot what I said? That happens a lot. Okay, Mr. Goo Monster. I'm pretty sure this guy turns into multiple Goo Monsters if we don't kill him quick enough, so... There's some fucking damage, boy. I'm counting on you. Ow. Don't die, Evan. Don't die, Evan. Fucking furries. I ain't no furry, Jerry. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You don't have to defend yourself. If you're a furry, that's absolutely perfect. You don't have to... Don't you answer to anyone in this chat. Okay. You obtained an elite sorcerer's ring. You obtained a light finger ring. Interesting. I'm no furry either. I am an ollie. The purest of ollies. Right. Tell you what. Map. Evermore. Lego collect some stuff. Heal up in the throne room. Go try and advance through this area. That's my plans. Jack, shut up, lol. Excuse me? Let the grown-ups talk. Oh boy, I guess that's me putting my place in. All right. All party members sealed up. But yeah, for real, Cherry, it's okay to be a funny, don't worry about that. 
I saw your Instagram, that secret, that secret Instagram that you thought was secret, I found it. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody in the chat about it. But you shouldn't be ashamed. Jack, you see what furries are like? I cannot draw anatomy like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know anything about that. Soon I'll need to hire people to help me carry all these channel points. <laughs> Ch channel point city. I know guys, I'm sorry, I still haven't come up with any ideas for the channel point system, but I promise. Alright, just give me time. Um, I, I struggle sometimes to allocate time to progressing things. But it's just because there's a lot of like YouTube editing and downloading and fucking creating going on. Then there's the actual streams, YouTube side, tweets, Discord, the whole nine. Kind of consumes you. I feel like I, I need like a PA or something. Or like an editor, that would be the best. Somebody to just control YouTube for me, that would be the best. Uh, okay, can we build anything new here? Dairy products. Sure. I mean, look. I don't even have Instagram, says Cherry. Well, it's, it's a secret Instagram, so I know why you would say that. All these people have level ups. She... Hell yeah. Okay. No, I can't do that. We're building. Kingdom's getting bigger, boys. Flourishing farm completed. Oh, That's when I'm going to keep you guys in all your furry costumes. I mean, what? Build a facility. <laughs> I mean, look, my pockets are overflowing. <laughs> This is a fine use for channel points. Published underscore jcram. Published, published underscore jcram. Nice. Right. Why did you change your name, jcram? I remember when you were the hero, jcram, but now you're published underscore jcram? With a lack of capital letters. I don't know what tilts me more, the fact you changed your name or you didn't give yourself capital letters. <sighs> <laughs> you guys are silly. Thriving Bazaar, Bustling Bazaar. Fuck it, dude. Let's just ram these in. I have no citizens for any of these. I should probably upgrade my existing buildings before I build new ones, but I'm pretty sure this is adding to our, our influence. Message. Highlighted message wars. Guys, please, can we contain this? Whatever this is. I love how we're just basically throwing Monopoly money at each other. Shut up and take my channel points. <laughs> Guessing who's also getting published later this month. Hey, Nice. Nice, guys. Feels good, man. Dispellery. I probably need you. Oh, you're expensive. Oh, you're expensive as well. Thriving Bazaar. What else have we got here? Seafoods. I need to be able to upgrade my storage space, guys. How, how does one do that? Because I did that before and I think I did it through the Explorer's Guild. Hey, research. Thank you. Top tip, if you ever change your Twitch name, make sure you check that autocorrect has not changed any of it. <laughs> Oh, I hope that's a lie, dude. I hope that's a fucking lie. <laughs> Jcram, what did you... <laughs> what did you try to change? Is that you logged in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for those that have never changed their Twitch name before, I'm pretty sure when you change your name, that's you saved for three months. Uh, or maybe it's even six. What did you try... Jcram, what did you try to change your name to? <laughs> oh, that's so daft. That's so daft, but so good. Can we contain this? No, I like purple. Me too. Oh boy, P 
put <laughs> Punisher <laughs> published. <laughs> oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh, that is that's so good. I'm so sorry, but that's so funny. I just imagine you try to change your name to something cool and then that. <laughs> Oh man, published indeed. Do you know that you're now PJ, J Graham? Do you know your initials are PJ? I might call you PJ for... Or published, whichever you prefer. Prefer published. PJ, J Graham. Peanut butter jelly for short. Oh, this is excellent. This is the best. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Research. Foraging techniques. Um... I would like... See the store more stuff one, I would like that, but like store more stuff two. When am I gonna level up? Or do more research maybe first. It's just I'm gonna level the explorers guild up. I like this building a lot. The research here is pretty good. Oh yes, punishment, punishment. I suppose that I uh, now <laughs> I am truly punished. <laughs> oh, that's great. J. Cram didn't know you were distinguished a distinguished author. Oh yes, punishment. PJ and Duncan. The wretched always get punished. J, that is the that's the funniest thing that's happened in a long time. Published. Published underscore J. Cram. That's great, man. I'm so happy. That is just That's top tier. Right, good work guys. That was excellent. I really enjoyed that. Um yeah, this is literally just for listening to music, I think. Got all these places with uh, no people to go in them, which is... Could be a problem. Okay. Nice, eh? Ah, that was good. That was very, that was very good. Do we have research over here? Oh, yeah, I forgot to level up all the people. Shit, I'm gonna do that now. <clears throat> Citizens. All right, Batu, congrats, man. Welcome. Much obliged. Oh, mission accomplished. Guys, I'm sorry that you guys have lots of channel points, okay? <laughs> I'll find... I'll make a list soon. I'll get Mrs. Wilfie to help me. And maybe you guys could come up. Maybe you guys can have suggestions if you want. You can post them in the, uh, in the YouTube part of the Discord. If any of you guys... I, I don't do this enough, by the way, folks, but if anybody... If ever anybody would like to join our Discord, because it's super awesome and, you know, it's full of memes and shit. Um, you can always do exclamation mark Discord in any of our chats and it, the bot will link you to the Discord. So if anybody would like to join, we have an awesome community. You guys are all uh, super welcome. A lot of you guys have joined recently as well. Uh, there will be a thing that when you guys join through the link, um, I will need to accept you or one of the mods will need to accept you, but... Just give me a shout if I'm on stream and I'll do it instantly. I'll do it right now. But uh, yeah, these are all welcome to join. Lots of the Discord is just um, people flaming me, so if you are into that, then you'll be right at home. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, how, do, how does one leave again? I forgot how I do this. Do I got him? I think I do it from here, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, local we'll teleport. Let's go. Do, 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 do. There's been a lot of activity in the Discord actually today. Digimon. Digimon survive looking clean. Oh, nice. I saw these screenshots, but in very low res, Valkyrie, when I was passing by. Game does look alright. <clears throat> Did the artwork for like the cherry blossom scenes always look like? Oh man. That's the shit I want in my games. You know how there's the scene where you've posted three, four pictures, guys. Uh, these, this is in the Discord, by the way, in the Digimon section. There's a new game that's under in production and has been for a while called Digimon Survive. It's coming out hopefully this year. The third picture down. Oh, that's brilliant, man. I love that. Call me whatever. I think that's cool. I'm trying to gather like from the pictures, like what the game is kind of going to be like and what it's going to play like. It's quite awkward. Um, it, I think it's truly going to be quite unique, but uh, that's not a bad thing. Right, we're going to do slimes again, and fairies, and I guess we take like reptiles or some shit, mobility. Um, I'm also going to go over here and swap this again, because I think a lot of these guys are water types. 
Uh, let's do this. Okay. I think I'm content. Maybe I should be like upgrading my Higgledies again. I, I don't know. We've got the best stuff. Yep. Wait, what are you wearing now? Have we got a big upgrade here? Freeze guard restor uh, restoration robes. Slightly boost resistance to freezing. Boost wind resistance. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. That's an upgrade. Shooty twinkle. Twinky twinkle. What the hell? Yeah. Oh my god. 29 magic resistance here. That's crazy. Stinky. <laughs> Stinky sandals. Okay, I think everything's fine here as well. Yeah, oh, what's that? Next away necklace. Really strong. I'm gonna maybe give that to Evan. Just to give us a bit more resistance. How much max HP do we get from this? Increases max HP. We're at 1408. If I change this... Oh, it gives us 100 HP. That's actually decent. That's probably better than the extra resistances, right? Yeah, I think it is, honestly. I think the 100 HP is actually super strong. It might just be enough to keep us alive sometimes. Okay. Right, what we are going to do is we're finally going to head back to Junkyard. We're going to try and push through here, guys. We're going to try and advance our, our plot a little bit, because today we've done a lot of uh, grinding, leveling, and side questing, so forgive me. Um, He has blessed us by typing in chat, says Ollie. Sorry, did I interrupt the did I interrupt the flow of you guys? You were kinda having fun with the whole uh You guys looked like you were having a lot of fun with the whole Wait, I just picked up Grandad's chair, what the fuck? It's a pe peculiar item to find. Yeah, he's were spamming the highlighted messages. This area still feels like it's kinda out with my depth, even after all the work we've been doing. Maybe I just try and run past. Is that the game here, guys? Are we just gonna Fucking hightail it through. Broadleaf, I don't know how you get in. I think it's... I don't know where the door is. I don't want to get wrecked here. Please no. Please no. Oh. Okay. I could have definitely run through here earlier, but I think the green... Oh, it's over there, right? I think I'm on the wrong side. Or is that it? Oh, no. We might be alright. Yeah, yeah, I think we're, we're good. 47, 42. Some of these item chests around here should be pretty good for us as well. Okay, so we can just activate that if we want to. I'm just looking around for like easy chests I could maybe snag real quick. I think we just go in here. You all ready for some story time? Lego. Well, I just went to get a cup of tea. I came back and you'd link the Discord. Oh, I see, Ollie. My bad. Yeah, everybody was kind of having a moment where they were typing with the highlighted messages. It was a bit of spam -a Okay, so. New biome, new city, new town, new area. Whichever you would like to call this. Let's see what this place is like. It looks very sciencey, futuristic-y, kind of steampunky, I guess. To a certain degree. Let's see what's happening in these parts. It'd be nice to get away from... What the flipping heck is this place? So the tower is... This is the main city of Broadleaf. I've never seen anything like it. I hear it's starting soon. What is? You're kidding me, right? Don't you watch the news? The anti-vector faction is holding a big demonstration. Against the president? Up at the landing pad, or so I hear. You think we should go take a look? You bet I do. A protest, huh? Guess the stories about the people being unhappy were true. Suppose we better go and take a look ourselves. Okay. So. We've got a new teleportation thing. The way we're going is up this ladder to that gentleman. But obviously we don't want to go that way just yet. Hello. What can you sell me? Is there anything cool here? Three leaf. I'm going to buy these while I can. Maybe buy some of these too. Angel tier. I'll buy some of these because I've been using these a lot. 
Confusion be gone. I don't know if I have any of these. Stardust pepper. Sure. We are spending like a mofo. That's right. Beep boop. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello? Hey. Do you want uh, only authorised personnel allowed down there? Hey. So he's preventing us from exploring just yet, that's fine. My phone doesn't like that link, says uh, Serenity. Oh, the Discord one? Um, alternatively, Serenity, there might be, uh, if you go, I don't know how good it's going to be on mobile. If you would like to join the Discord, um, if you can be arsed, below the Twitch there's another link to Discord. That should hopefully work. Uh, I maybe need to check the link for Discord to make sure it still works, but I'm 90% sure it does because I think that... Um, I think Skilltree used that to get in. Oh no, he used the... Did you? How did you get into the Discord, Skilltree? Did you use the one below the Twitch stream, is that right? Sorry, gang. I don't like when... Sometimes when I connect via my phone to Discord, it does kind of fuck around with stuff. Um, I can give you a fresh link right here. Serenity, maybe this one will work. Uh, how about this? Tell me if you can see that link. That second one. Yeah, I was like, does this guy have a community? Oh, so he does. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. A lot of our community are super chill, which is awesome. Okie dokie. Where do we want to go here? Okay, Birdman's here. Excellent. We're going to use him to get citizens later. I think for the time being, he's probably chilling. Normally in these areas, I like to just collect all the citizens at the end. I don't know if we'll be able to do it just now. We can maybe stack up points, I guess. Hey, buddy. Welcome to Swift Solutions. All right, what we got here? We'll take this. Take this. Take this. Th oh, he wants five of my leaves. A rat's chopper, sure. Flexible fish. Gunk shrooms. Silver nuggets. Aren't they required for a quest we already have? I'm not entirely sure. Right. Uh, we're going to report these, hand all these in. Four onions. Three candy oil feathers. Five three leaf sore away is a sore thing to lose, but we did just buy a bunch of these, so that's not so bad. One's eye coral, we'll hand in. Balls of wool. We had 15, so that's okay. We only have six of these. That's fine. Gunction is fine. We can get those super easy. And we have tons of silver nuggets. Okay, that's fine. Can I trade in for people just now or nah? Right, okay, yeah. So there's no new citizens in this place just yet. It's probably after we do all the, the work here. It might be my phone, that link didn't work for me either. Oh no, shit. Yeah, it's maybe just, I don't know, it's maybe just the mobile shit. Uh, Discord's got its own apps and stuff, so maybe mobiles are formatted to work with that. I, I'm not exactly a tech kind of guy, Serenity, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but we will get you in at some point, and then hopefully that'll be you good to go. Yeah, we're chill. I'm going to start cooking. I'll be here, just not as responsive. No problems, Ollie. What are we doing tonight? Is it is it the Ollie Spaghetti Bolognese special? That sounds so good, by the way. Holy shit. I have to wait in the delivery coming tonight. It'll probably arrive at between 6 and 7, so I won't be able to eat before then. Now, though, all you need to do is pick which part of town you want to go to. Uh, oh, I have no idea. Midtown, Uptown? Uptown, Funk, you up? Does this take me up to the, the next area? So strange. What is in this at the bottom of the giant pit, by the way? Holy crap. Uptown, funk you up. It's Spag Ball Special. Ooh. Nice. Sounds delish. Oh. Oh, hey. Hi. I like how we just come into this women's room. Don't mind me. Oh, there's a little kid watching a... That was freaky. We just zoomed right on in Evan's face. How did I do that? That was terrifying. 
Look at this little kid. She's like, is she on her knees with a skirt on? I thought she was tucked in the bed. She's watching a blue screen. That's kind of weird. She's watching a blue screen too. Are you guys alright in here? Excuse me. Let's get the fuck on. We're dicking around here mega style and it's getting a bit tedious. Got to go for a bit. See y'all soon. Take it easy, Cherry. Take it easy, my guy. Right. Let's go to... Midtown. Fuck it. Boop, boop. Alright, so the weapon shop is here. wonder if they've got anything for us. Normally in, in games like RPGs, it's never really worth your while to buy f like weapons from the vendors, but like... I, I don't know. Save your sword. No, it's not much of an improvement. This is... A fair amount of improvement for our boy. 1500 though. We're not equipping you anymore anyway. Do we want to buy one Lizard's Lance? It's a big upgrade for his bottom weapon. I'm going to do it. Uh, we are going to upgrade over this one. Cool. What else does he sell? Some pendants. Yeah. One upgrade I think is fine. That should improve uh, Leonard Kohan or whatever his name is. We're going to improve his damage. I always forget his name. Young, what's his face? Leo. Dude, it's right there. Leander. Yeah, young Leander. Can buy food here as well. There's a staircase that takes me up. Cloudy crow feather. It's not until you play the game a little bit more that you realise how important some of the random items kicking about are. Like if this is the like here was this a ball of snuggly wool, I could easily be something that a higgledy needs one time, and then that's you found it. So at first I was kind of just neglecting a lot of these items and these kind of flashing lights. But um, I feel like now I'm kind of picking up as much as I can because I know that, you know, you could potentially pick up a new personnel because of that shit. Okay, we're going up to the top via the elevator guy and that is us. Hopefully something's going to happen. We've not actually met like the, I think this town has a president, I think they said. It doesn't have a, like a queen or a king, it's got a president. So I think the person we're going to meet soon may have something to do with that, let's see. We're gonna uptown funk you up this elevator and then... What is, what is this robot doing? He's, he's fucking spinning around and giving it the guns. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm busy uh, spot checking worker robots. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Skynet and all that good stuff. Okay. Are the machines going to take over this town, guys? Is that the plot twist here? Machines. A slice of creamy cheese found on a, on a random top deck in a random city. <clears throat> Better hang on to that, yeah? Oh, hey, this is fucking awesome. I like this. I've got a weird kind of obsession with waterfalls, guys. I'm a bit of a sucker for waterfalls, I'm not going to lie. Not waterfalls. Fountains. There's a key difference there. Fountains. This place is awesome. Oh, frames, please. Hello. My god. This guy looks like he fell at the fucking Rugrats. What is that haircut, mate? Look at the showdown. Look at the intense showdown between these two. The fuck are you looking at, mate? Okay. Yeah, and Where's this landing pad? I don't know how often I'm working. I'm working on it, mate. I'm working on it. I'm walking here. Up to the top we go, I guess. So this is our right direction, so I'm going to go the wrong way and try and find stuff real quick. There we go. Alright. I'll be back soon. The haircut is actually the cultural appropriation. Hey. I guess.
Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm the weird one. That was certainly unusual, though. Okay. Oh my god, Sakura, is that you? It's time, Bracken. Alright, we'd better start by thinking every or thanking everybody for coming. Huh? Protest leader. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Who are you guys? I haven't seen you around the company. Listen. But things, uh, sorry, but things could get dangerous. You better leave, mate. Oh. If you would have seen the size of the last dragon we killed, don't even at me about danger. We're, we'll be just fine. We were rather hoping to go and meet the President Vector. What's all this about, exactly? Ha, huh, meet the President? I don't think that's going to happen. He's been stuck in his room ordering pizza for weeks. He's so chubby and we can't get him out the door anymore. Anyway, I'm Bracken. Bracken Meadows. I'm Chief Engineer here at Broadleaf Industries. Chief Engineer? I'm the one who gathered all these people here today. We're going to try and make President Vector finally listen to what we have to say. And if he doesn't listen, we're going to Molotov through his windows. <sighs> We've got to get through to him. <laughs> through his windows, specifically, with the Molotovs, you see. To make him hear what the workers this company relies on have to say. Golly. Yeah, and what happens if he doesn't listen? Well, that's easy, says the old man. We're going to pull his toes off one at a time. Uh, he hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual fission reactor. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got one of those as well, yeah? He doesn't care about anything except finishing the damn thing. Not even his employees' lives. So he's committed. I can respect that. Something like 20 people have already collapsed from overwork. These conditions, they're unacceptable. What kind of leader would do such a thing, says Evan. I like how Evan's like, oh my god, he's an unjustifiable leader. And then he clicks his fingers and he's like, right staff, I'd like a full banquet prepared tonight. Don't hold back. I want everything. The full, the full works. The full nine. And everybody's like, but sir, we haven't slept in, in weeks. Evan's like, shut up. All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Gotta love a woman with pink hair. My nana had pink hair. Res respect. What is that thing? Oh my. That's an epic bowl cut. He looks like the little boy from Stranger Things mixed with Edna Moles from The Incredibles. It appears to be an airship of some sort. Oh. Uh, look at the face on it! That was rude, Tani. That's kind of what I said first, though. Me and Tani are kind of alike there. We're ready when you are, Bracken. Just say the word. Okay. Thanks, Trey. Oh, she's American. Thanks, Trey. I'm an I'm an engineer. I'm a civil engineer. Top of the class. I, I don't know why I'm... Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. Sorry, I don't know For what's too happening. Long, the president has been working us like slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. I know you guys don't speak the language of, of this town, but some of the signs I'll just translate for you. That one in the back says, fuck you, Nimrod. And then that one on the left says, give us back our uh, our, our profita rolls. I don't know what happened there, but there must be some deep lore in this place to uncover, guys. But we have a message for him. We are not your slaves, Zip. Yeah, you tell him, Grandpa. We are not slaves. We are not slaves. Is that it? Just two chants? We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. Yeah. Yeah. But like, does this does the Presidente always come out on his airship like every time he wants to speak to the, the crowd? Surely that's not a good use of natural resources and gases and I don't know how he's powering that thing, but like, how is that maintaining a float? That is some degree of power required to keep that bitch in the air. I mean, look at the head. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. Yeah, fuck the reactor, dude. Fuck the city and fuck the king. We're not slaves. We're not slaves. Okay. Sounds oh. like I'm gonna have to let some people go. Oh no, Zip! Don't do it. Oh my God. The evil purple glow that means bad people. Oh my god, he's gonna hyper beam his whole fucking citizenship. Uh oh. What the fuck is this? Is this the Kingmaker? He's like an armoured fucking juggernaut. It's like a battleship. Oh, 
Bora aí. No comment. Finally decided to make an appearance, huh, Mr. President? What a disappointment to see you leading this ragtag resistance. You know, I expected better of you, Bracken. They're not having a conversation across the air like that. Like we can barely see them. They cannot hear each other. I know she's got a megaphone, but he doesn't. I expected better of you too. Have you forgotten what we said when we started out? Hey, Presidente, stop being a cock. We promise to make the world a better place. And oh, shit, we sorry. will. The perpetual fission reactor will change the world forever. Mm-hmm. And the future will be mine to define. It's going to provide really healthy ice cream. Even if it means trampling over everybody who helped you make it this far? Did I tell you, you wouldn't be able to tramp over Bracken. Look at the size of their fucking wrists on that bad boy. You used to care about us. Sorry, that was rude. I shouldn't have said that. People could trust. All gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. Mm-hmm. Okay. When did you get so broken? When did you get so broken, President? <laughs> I'm the broken one. Look at yourselves. Stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Feels bad, man. It's his oh. time. He is here. We we knew he was gonna be fucking slithering about somewhere close by. Absolute mess. Okay. Why? What is Dolor Doloran's problem, man? Why is he going around fucking everybody up? I think he just slapped them in the ass. Nope. He stole his king bond. Oof. Just ripped on out. Uh oh. Dear. Fuck the city, fuck the king. Is this Final Fantasy 15? That was Doloran. It was a Game of Thrones reference, actually. But yeah, I guess maybe that happens in Final Fantasy. I don't think they say fuck the king, though. I would be surprised. Damn it, we were late again. The pistons on that mofo. Bracken, we've got to get out of here. I guess we do. Bracken, why are you so cool? Cool cam collected. What are you doing, Bastion? How does that thing operate its life, dude, with the massive cannons on its back? It's like Blastoise, but if Blastoise fucking swallowed a toaster. What the fuck? Yo, Dixie, what's up? Voldemort? Someone shaved. Who? Me? You? Both of us? Uh, what's up, Dixie? Welcome. Oh, I don't think he's gonna like this. Hmm. Last least use Hydro Pump. Crazy, geeky Presidente <laughs> uses Magical Umbrella. Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Anybody oh, no. who stands in my way gets atomized. Oh no, Blastoise, no. Oh, he was transferred back to Bill's PC. That was quite an epic cutscene, guys. I'm sorry I kind of talked all the way through and didn't stop spouting pish, but it was pretty cool. Wow. Looks like Bastion's gone, says Bracken. Bastion, kingmaker of Broadleaf. I had not thought we would actually see the creature for ourselves. Hey. Hey, you said you were uh, here to see President Vector, right? 
That's right, I am Evan, King of Evermore, and I've got a really stupid name, so I'm not going to say it out loud. We've come to ask President Vector to sign a pact with us and join our Union of Friendly Nations. Holy. Wait, I think I heard about you guys. Gopo and Hydropolis already signed up, right? That is correct. Mm. And now you want us on board too. I guess I don't need to tell you this. I don't know if we could take Bracken on board our ship. It would probably sink. You could say that again if he's setting his kingmaker on his own people. Imagine what he'd do to us. <sighs> he didn't used to be like that, Trey says. He didn't used to be a complete arsehole. Now he's just a... He used to just be an ass clapper, but now he's an arsehole. He's promoted himself. Bracken and me, we found this whole company with him. We know him better than anybody. It's a perpetual fissure reactor. Ever since we started working on it, he's been different. Different somehow. Mm. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was all Doloran's doing. Who? What is Doloran? Mate, we don't even know. He wears a fucking snake on his face. He's a bit edgy. Bit of a pain in the butt. He pollutes people's hearts with an awful blackness so that he can control them. I'm sure that must have been what happened to the president. Huh? Are you kidding me? Then we have to help him. We'll help too, of course. I'm sure there must be a way of bringing him back to his old self. No. Based on what we've seen and heard, it would seem that the president has been quite seriously infected by Doloran's evil influence. Lena, uh, Leander says, Queen Nera being highly skilled in the magical arts. Just look at this. Look at this low-key flex, Leander. Look at this. Just slips this into the conversation. Just tucks that in there. Queen Nera. Uh, Queen Nera. Uh, Queen Nera. Queen Nera. Is that right? Nera. Nera. The water bitch. She's highly skilled in the magical arts herself. Thanks, Leander. Thanks for just, just casually mentioning how powerful your queen is there. Nobody asked, but thanks. <laughs> Fucking Leander, dude. Okay, uh, anyways, was capable of resisting the darkness enough that restoring her to her senses was a relatively simple task. Hey, yeah, alright, mate. As if she would have been she would have been long gone if we never turned up, so don't even fucking start if Leander. I, so bold. I somewhat doubt that it will be so easy in this case. So he basically says, you know, we were okay because my queen's a badass, but your president, he seems like a bit of a doofus, so you guys are fucked. Hmm. Excuse me? Evan says, you said that you and your president Victor used to be close, didn't you, Bracken? How close are we talking? Well, you guys, you know. That's what he did. That was written in the subtitles, just in case anybody wondered. Is there a way you could remind him of those times, perhaps? Maybe uh, bust out the, um, you know, the good undies, you know? Keep, you know? Right, anyways, try to snap him out of it by drugging his memory, you know what I mean? That could work, says Roland. Mm. You want me to remind him of the good old days, huh, says Bracken? Cue the flashback. <laughs> Cue the flashbacks when they were 18. Right, sorry. Well, this right here might be a good place to begin. It's where the three of us started. Wait, three of us? Oh, is that what you guys are in? Okay, I respect that. No shame. We used to all do our work in the room right through. Oh, yeah, work. Yeah. Used to do work through in that room, did you? Yeah, the sex dungeon. It's just how we left it. And I don't even fucking want to go in there. I'm just saying. Such a place might certainly hold a clue as to how we might. No, we can't go in there. Leander, no. You're too young. Would it all be alright if to take a look at the workshop of yours? Bracken's like, eh, yes, just um, give me a few hours to tidy things up. Uh -huh. Tuck away the whips and stuff. I mean, what? Be sure. Okay, let's go. So we have to go to the workshop. See if we can find any clues of how we can <clears throat> jog the president's memory. Not via kinky things, obviously. Who's this one? Hello, you've got nice hair. No, it keeps doing I keep doing it. Look at the fucking creepy Evan. I keep doing creepy Evan. I don't mean... Anyways, sorry. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, hi Bracken, what's up? Is it safe? Is it safe to go in? Yes. I've, uh, I can't, I can't do the American accent anymore without a memory jog. I've tidied everything away, it should be safe now. If you, um, you know, see any, you know, any bad things, just don't tell anybody about it. I make no promises. Hey, hope you're all well, says Dixie. Okay, what the fuck is that airship? I, I, Cherry, I don't even know what's happening anymore. The Zeppelin. No, really. He named his airship after himself, hence his face on the front. The Zeppelin. Oh, it's like a Zeppelin, but a Zeppelin, I get it, because he's Zip. Just wait until you find the m uh, Mimoliths in that room. Isn't that the woman from Pokemon? Professor Magnolia, you may be right. That's what I kind of thought, Paul. Or whatever her name was. Uh, hey, yeah, and Zip recorded every minute of it. Wait, they, you guys filmed it as well? That's kind of... 
It's kind of out there, guys. A fine sentiment, to be sure. <laughs> Batu approves <clears throat> of the porn videos. Shall we have a look around and see what we can find? I mean, do we have to? Should I wear gloves? Um, this is not a big room at all. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's Cinderella's... It's, wait, Cinderella didn't have a spinning wheel. That was Sleeping Beauty. Oh, here it is. Wow. No shop. Here we go. You obtained Memolith. BL011. Ah, uh, just what we needed. Hello there. I found this. Is this anything important? Oh, you really don't want to watch what's, lo what's saved on this hard drive. That's for adult eyes only, kid. That was a wild night, that one. Whew. The amount of drugs we did, that was some fucked up shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not taking this seriously. I mean, uh, in Lehman's terms, it's well, it's a device you can use to record memories. And can we watch them now? <laughs> the, the one on this memolith, I mean. Uh -huh. Sure, let's play it back and see what we have here. <laughs> oh, I can't take, I can't, I can't keep this up. Hey, Bracken, there's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Can you take a look at my circuit, says Zip Vector? Sure, let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Hmm. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. No, that's a problem, yeah. Leave the leakage. Leave the leakage with Bracken here, yep. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. Yeah, the energy business. I see what you're doing there. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's just Bracken's hand on your thigh, but never mind. Me too. Oh, uh, it must be the other guy then. What was the other guy's name? The one with the hat and the glasses? He's feeling a bit left out. Look at that face. Look how sad he looks. See him on the left? He's like, guys, I want to be included. Why do you never touch me in the lab? Okay. So luckily they kept voice recordings of all their conversations. Not wow. weird. I guess it kind of makes sense as, a, as like a science -y lab that you would do like, you know, experiment number 301. <laughs> 12, 1230 AM. Uh, the T-virus is getting out of control. I don't know what's happening. We're getting hungry. That was, whoa, that was from way back when we first started out. Perfect. Then we can use it to jog the president's memory, right? I'd say so. A picture's worth a thousand words after all. Sure would be good to have a couple more than this one, though, to be sure, says Roland. <laughs> Roland wants to take the home videos back to his cabin for, you know, inspection. Filthy bastard. What's Roland like, eh? Are there any other memoliths uh, from back then, Bracken? Mm. Not ones that I would uh, feel comfortable giving to you guys. We were wild back then. A lot of latex. A lot of oils. Candles. Uh, anyways, but I took a look in the database just now and it seems that this one will be uh, safe for your eyes only. Which means there may be another three out there somewhere. We might have sold some. We were tight for research funding and we needed the, qu the quick cash. It seems unlikely, but we're going to have to find them lying around like we did this one. Right. Sure, but I have an idea of how to maximise our chances. Okay, nice. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out like this, guys. Bracken is temporarily joins the party. Excellent. Well, that's quite good because we've got a bit of a fucking sausage fest going on with our uh, our squad at the moment. We've got the three dudes. We've got uh, uh, does Evan count as a as a boy? I don't know. We've got Roland and Leander. Let's well, um, how strong is our new character Bracken? You're level forty two. Sure. Um, what do you do, Bracken? Just out of curiosity, you're not tanky. You're squishy. You've got one one. In fact, you've got way lower HP than everybody else. What do you do? Let me see you. Oh, you're a hammer person. Okay. Cool. So we'll auto equip you. Uh, we've got some guns as well. Okay, sweet. So what I'm going to do here is go. I actually think we're going to take Roland out to put her in. So in that case, I'll just give her the good gun for now. That should be fine. Uh, okay. Can we give you better clothes? Yes, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna give you this. And you're fine for your shoes, but you're gonna need some rings. Anything's better than nothing, so we'll give you that. You're a melee user, so that works out perfect. And yeah, we'll give you that too. Okay, nice. Whoa, oh, sorry, I was gonna check our skills as well. 
infinite ammo, buzz off, health hub, oh, uses her homemade medkit to heal herself and surrounding allies, that sounds exactly what we need in our team, she's also got static wall, which is, uh, I think that's got a stun, right, she's got a very high melee stat, I think, compared to, well, let me have a look, actually, Roland, oh, dude, she has such a high melee stat, she has such a high melee stat, what the fuck? She's just like Batu, but less tanky, but she's just better, I guess. Batu doesn't have all the new equipment that she has, though, so that's not a fair comparison. Okay, I'll take all that back. Um, I'm going to take off Fireball, and I'm going to give you Static Wall, and you're going to replace Roland. I never thought this day would come. I might even take Leander out as well. I want to try this. One At one point, I might put Roland back in for Leander. But I want to check out Bracken and see what she's like. I don't think I'll play as her, but I'll keep her. Nice. Do we have any outfits for anybody else yet? No? Heaven's clothes. Can I change that? No. Uh, can't change you. It's only Roland, right? It's only this guy. Okay. That'll do for the time being. I could also play as Roland, but I've put all my stuff in Evan at this point. I think Evan's going to be our main character. He is technically, I guess, to a certain degree, the main character. But um, in terms of like who we normally play as, Evan just seems really strong. He just seems super powerful, guys. Okay. Happy with that save file. Well, let's get out. Let's go find some stuff. I think we have to run around and pick up gems. These memoir tapes. Memoirs of a kinky engineer and her friends. This is the wrong place. Did I go up and round? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, oh UK? Uh, oh, okay. Bracken, you can fix my leakage anytime. Excess, not like this. Please, Ryan, please. Okay. Can you take me to the factory, sir? Um, I guess I'm going to Midtown. Up, up and away. This is not the right place, is it? Uptown. Uptown, funk you up. I'm starting to get really hungry now. The mulligatawny soup is wearing off, chat. Alright. So here's fountain room. All good. I go. God. This city looks a bit mad and a, a, just a smidge unsafe. Is this place really secure? I don't think I could do this. I don't think I could live here. What the hell are you going on? Oh my god, is that Cyclops? Say. Bracken with you? Cool, go right on through. Well, actually, yes she is. Factory se uh, security at level 5, authorised personnel only. Wait a second, I'll teach your friend here some manners. She goes over and just beats the shit out of it. You just hear a s I was kidding, but she actually did exact- okay. Welcome fellow workers here to another great day at Broadleaf. Uh, just say the word if you need the elevator. <laughs> uh, dude, I like Bracken, I'm starting to like her more and more, okay. Let's go up the elevator then. I guess this whole thing is the elevator. Yes. Elevator go up. Elevator stop. Elevator go down. Elevator go down the hole. Okay. God, this place looks absolutely ass. If this is, if this is anything like the abyss, how do you propose to find these memory stone uh, contrivances of yours? Contrivances, contrivances, in a great cavern of a place like this, eh, girly? Well, memoliths are pretty small, right? Which means people lose them all the time, and that's not good when they're uh, filled with sensitive data, like all my nudes. God, ever since the iCloud hack. 
Right, um, thanks to the database, we know the serial numbers of the memoliths we're missing, so they're, if they're here, we should be able to see them soon enough. Whoa. Oops, looks like I'm getting ready already. Uh, I'm getting a reading already, sorry, it's someplace nearby. Bracken stops playing Minecraft, tucks in our back pocket. It's coming from the archive over there. But the whole factory's on lockdown, we'll need to fire up the boilers before we can get in. Come on and fire up my boiler, I'll take you to the floor. Alright, Bracken, let's roll. So, are these guys in here going to be weaker than the ones outside the city? Five steely nuggets. Alright, we'll activate this. Activate this. Save our progress. I don't know if I want Leander in the party. I don't know if I like Leander. He seems strong-ish. I like having Roland just because he's a cool guy. Alright. Did we end up fighting through these guys just to test it? I don't know what kind of monsters these guys are. They, they must be like humanoid, right? Do they count as... They must be like, uh, like this, right? Maybe they're solid people? I did see some slimes up top though. I don't think they're gonna be... I think they're this, but I could be completely wrong. Let's find out. Oh, they just don't have anything. They have no type. Oh, they block though. Oh, interesting. I think Leander does... He's got a couple of lightning spells and lightning might, might actually be really useful in this area because normally in these type of games, if you... If, if, especially in Final Fantasy, if you come across a machine enemy, any kind of lightning spell is always powerful. And I'm assuming that the game kind of follows that logic, although I could be completely wrong. Hmm. I hate this bit, but if you manage to manage the abyss, you'll probably skate through it. Uh, I'd tweak your tactics too, yeah. Lender has some sick dark spells, or Leander has some sick dark spells, okay. I'll keep them with me for now. Um, I've got a couple of spells on. These are Goon Fairy. I don't want to keep changing this, but I don't know if the robot guys actually have any typing. So we'll just do it like this. Here we go. What if I should... Okay, that's, um, that's a lot of damage. Oh, I can carry more of these now, look. I can carry eight per fight. I didn't even realise that I gained... I think I'm going to put on my Inferno spell, maybe. There's the, there's the Abyss, that's pretty good. I'm not doing any damage against these guys. Do I want fire against these homies, maybe? I think I'm going to swap one of Evan's moves. Um, sorry to keep going in and out the inventory, guys. I know it gets really fucking irritating. I'm s I do apologise. Um, Sunrise is kind of okay, but it's also kind of garbage. I think I'm going to put on... Water Pistol is X. Water Pistol is already the circle. I guess... I kind of want to try this more. It costs a lot of mana, but... Cotton Thrust does so much damage though. Is fire good in this this area? I, I have no fucking idea. Flurry seems to be good as well. Summons light to protect all allies and fit all oh, from- oh, I've, not, I've not even tried that, what the hell? I didn't even see that last time. I'm gonna put Sunrise- I'm gonna put Floodlight in here. War Pistol still does the most, I think. I was gonna put on Fire Pillar. I have to keep cutting thrust, right? It does 120. That's so insane. Flurry's really good, and this is my ranged ability. I'm gonna try Fire Pillar for a while. It might suck. I'm pretty sure cutting thrust does so much more, but I'm gonna try this and just see how I like it. It might suck, guys, and if you think it's a bad choice, just hit me up. 
I'm uh, more than open for you guys' thoughts because you guys know what you're talking about and I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, the controls here is obviously going to change the platform, but I don't know if there's like stuff lying about that I want to grab before I go up there. I think this is going to turn the device in the center, which is going to give us access to the new areas. Can't jump across there yet. Okay, let's have a look. Light the emergency boiler on Dyna floor number one in the factory. Let's do it. Is this one of those boiler thingies you were talking about? Uh -huh. Yeah, if we can light it, the steam it produces should start generating power. Huh. A steam engine, huh? Then we need some fuel. Guess you could put it like that. Evan, I'm going to teach you a spell. Listen carefully. Oh, of course. <sighs> Special beam cannons him right in the face. You were meant to receive the damage to learn it, Evan. Kindle. Alright, so now we can read books. If you cast that on the boiler, you should be able to get through... Um, just to get the right number of fire higgledies together to help you light it. Your usual fire spells uh, are all well and good for battle, but they don't give you the fine control you need for this kind of thing. All right. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, I said let's do it. We have fire higgledies, so... I wonder if you had to actually equip them, or if they just naturally work for you, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Alrighty. Now we should be able to change the direction the gears is turning. Just stick your hand in and yank it out. I dare you. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that, you idiot. Use the control panels and see if you can use the gears to get us over to the archive. Alright. You can check the map to find the control panels. There are two on this floor. Okay. This seems like it could be interesting. So this is the this is number one, right? And that's number two. There's a chest over there. So I want to do this one first, I think. I could be completely wrong. What's this going to do? Just slides around. <coughs> so that's obviously completely wrong, right? Because now I'm stuck. Unless, well... This is kind of wild, honestly. There's a chest there, and a door, but then I guess I missed the chest, oh dude, I don't even know. I could see how this gets confusing pretty quickly, especially if you've got like multiple, um, uh, let's do some fire here. I don't actually know how powerful that was, it didn't seem that strong. How does this work? Did that heal everybody to full? If so, that's so broken. I think it just gave them the shield, right? Uh, yeah, these guys are rock monsters. Oh, nice. A latte. Good old eggnog. This is where we're supposed to go, look, there's actually a thing here. Alright, I'll just get this done. How are you all doing, folks? Feeling pretty good? Nice. How's the uh, how's the cooking going, Ollie? Lender... Oh, sorry, I got that one earlier. Alrighty. Let's dig out that memo, shall we? There it is, right there. Okay, so that's one. How many do we need to get? Three? Yeah. Oh, we have to watch the video as well. Fuck me. Talk about pausing the action. Oh Ship. shit. The launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. That's awkward. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect. I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh man. What are we gonna do? You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's what. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. Someday soon, the world will hey, finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. Okay. 
We nearly went under, right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard, but nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. Okay. Are we moving on? Oh, cutscene. God dang it! Doesn't make any damn sense. These the the figures for the perpetual uh, fission reactor, they're all over the place. Sorry. But with the prototype in the state, I'm just not safe. Shut up! Or it's just shut, not safe. Shut, shut up. I don't want to hear it just fix this, is it? We need to finish the thing that we need to finish it now. I don't care what it takes. Yeah. Man, my head, oh, never mind that now. We'll never get the job done if we slow down. Nobody takes a break, not me. Nobody takes a break, not me, not anybody. We work all night if we have to. Completely different atmosphere to fucking Hydropolis. See, for some reason, guys, I always want to call Hydropolis oh, Necropolis, really? but I don't know why. All right, I'm getting a signal from the next level up. That's the smartest, the smart lab tick. You can tell us exactly what a smart stick is on the way. Let's get moving. Okay. Right, done. There was a chest here I wanted to grab. I don't know what I should do here. If I should push on and go up the way or... How does one get over to that platform? That's the question. Probably go back up and then jump down, right? Oh, but the controls aren't here. They're on this fucking... Dude, what an arsehole. Good luck, everyone. All these guys have naturally respawned. You can see that uh, thingy is really low HP here. So if I do this... It's just it's just like a buff on defense and defense. Yeah, yeah, I get it. there's only two options so that's quite good it means you can't really fuck around with this for too long without like messing shit up right. okay ladies i gotta kill you i'm sorry i don't know if that's better or not the fire spell seems pretty good and it i don't think it can be cancelled but i could be wrong we're getting so many items here holy shit Shiny magic muffler four. Wow. Ah. There we go. I never know how important any of this stuff is that we're, I'm going to collect, but fuck it. I mean, as well just go. Does she heal me or how does this work? No, she's running in with her mallet. She's got no intention of healing. I guess she just throws it out randomly. Let me get over here and get some fire off. Oh wait, it does it on the target. I thought it done it on Evan. I feel like I'm just constantly potion in this game. She's got some nasty damage, but she is very, very squishy. If I can jump down to that chest or not, but I would like to. Can I just fall down onto this? That would have been too fucking easy. Okay. Yep. Nope. 
asking you shall receive. A pair of untouchable brute boots. Melee damage increase, perhaps? I guess. Right, we'll have to spin this round. Uh, like that, so we can get to that side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use this health here. We will save, but I'm going to try and move into the next area first. Um, it's going good, thanks, Jack. It's just taking a while, says Ollie. Nice, I'm glad. Not that it's taking a while, but it's going good. Efficient reactor, so he is building a nuclear reactor? I don't know. I don't know what the reactor's for, but he seems to find it important. Seems to be a bit obsessed with it. That guy's got a lightsaber. Were those, uh, I wonder if those shoes I picked up for Evan, or oh, I don't know if they'll be any better. Yeah, look at this shit, man. 21 and 26. Invulnerable for longer when dodging. Boost damage done by hammers. This is good for a lot of people, but I'm going to put this on Evan. Just because, even though he doesn't wield a hammer, um, the dodge chance and the resistance is so insane. Alright, we're going to have to fight our way through this, unfortunately. There's... That thunder damage was crazy good. I know that was, uh, that was our boy, Leander. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the shield option. You know the spell that costs one mana that gives everybody like armor and defense. It is probably great in a boss fight, but I'm not gonna constantly spam that throughout. Like when I'm running around at the start of every fight, I'm not gonna put that on. Seems like a good move, just not useful in everyday kind of use. I think I'm gonna put King Spin back on as my X button. Or sorry, cut and thrust is what I meant to say there. So I'll put that on X. Yeah. Let's try that, see if it gets on. We should really be upgrading our spells soon. Uh, do we want to heal here? I think what I could use is actually use one of my uh, angel, what are they called, sage secrets? There we go. Feels good. Alright, up we go. Come on boys, what's up? Oh my god, that is so fucking stupid. So, what happened there was, I tried to use my spell, right? Now, the game, I was spamming it so that when he got up he would use it, but the game actually lets you try to use it mid-air, and then I got hit again, and then I got cancelled twice. That's so fucked. Yeah, that was really fucking unfortunate. I, I used like all my mana because I pushed the button three times to try and get the spell to activate and I got cancelled three times. Oh, that feels so silly. Okay, you live and you learn, I guess. That was more of me just not understanding how that mechanic would work. I just didn't expect that to be the case. Uh, any stuff down below? No. Okay, we climbing. I think I'm going to use another bunch of stuff here. Uh, sure. Alright. Alrighty. Time to get the boiler up. Lots and lots of spinny, turny, dimensiony systems here. No. The red cogs, they're the first of the colour we've seen, are they not? Says Leander. It's so another security measure. You can control them with a panel of the same colour. If it was Zip who came up with all this stuff, you know, he said it was only... He said it was only so that people smart enough to figure it out could get in. Okay. So... Yeah, we have to activate the boiler first. So we gotta run through... Turn that on and then run back. And start actually investigating the place properly. Now, that wouldn't be a problem, but the fact is, like, I'm going to fight all these units, right? I'm going to clear out this whole floor. Then there's going to be a cutscene to turn the fucking boiler back on or some shit. 
and all these guys are going to respawn, which is kind of fucking... That's a bit annoying. Uh, it's not the end of the world, obviously, and we do technically need XP, but... It just means I'm going to have to fucking fight my way through these. I could set up my tweaker to be a bit more beneficial as well, but then there are genuine, like, slime monsters on this level also. Alright, fuck it, let's go. I might just leave them alone, actually. Fight these guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Activate that, that'd be great. I really hope that doesn't hit me on this fucking platform. I'm gonna block anyway. Oh, I must have it healed. I think, uh, I think the check healed me. God, Jack with puzzles, get your popcorn, folks. What's up, Sushi? Welcome back. How's things? Um, we're going up the way, right? We came this way. That's the dead end. We're going up the way here. Hey, Sushi, someone said you were dead. You look good, Mr. Wolf Pop Emo. I guess that'd make it popcorn. <laughs> Guys, please. <laughs> Wolf Crap Popcorn Party is now canon. Canon to the fan fictions. I don't even want to know. Okay. Dude, the heels that are coming through are actually so welcome. You just give her enough time. Okay. I didn't understand that's what was going on there. Let's use her. No, I don't think so. Can't see myself using her. She seems nice, but I don't know if I can be arsed. Is that the boiler machine up there? 2,500 guilders. Right, okay. There's a Hegody stone over there, I think. Oh no, they're not. They're just ooze monsters. Okay, so fire this bad boy up. Kindle. Uh, yo, Valkyrie, thank you for the host, man. I fucking wish I was dead, Sushi. Don't say that. Have you had a long day, Sushi? What's been up, man? Today's been a day and a half, I just want it to be over. Yes. Well, hopefully you're uh, in chill time now, Sushi. Uh, let me see here. So that's all activated. we got a bunch of options here. Um, is this going to activate? I wonder if I want to go back down first. So many things we could do here. Like we can put that back to how things were and go back down. Or maybe maybe because we've not turned on the red boiler yet. Maybe there's a red boiler, because look, these are all blue and that's blue. Yeah, I think there must be a separate boiler maybe for the red turns. So we'll just leave this for now. We'll just keep going forward. I'm trying to like 200 IQ this and honestly I feel like I'm putting more effort in than I need to. I should just follow the, the obvious choice of paths. There's the red boiler right fucking there. God, this is going to get complicated, I can tell. This is the kind of level that, again, if you're completionist, you get obsessed with trying to sort this shit out. Like, there's a fucking Hegody in a chest. We definitely need to grab that. That's like double the price. Okay. Let's go to work. Indeed. I'm gonna die here. Fuck. Don't you do it. This fucking game. That guy literally stalked me across the platform and slapped me in the face. And then did 700 damage to me. Fucking Christ. Holy fuck. 
Dude, if I could try to play the game, that would be fucking great. I am getting fisted. Uh, kind, kind sir with a hammer, do you mind? Can you just fuck- Oh, here we go, this is good. Look at that fucking value, baby. Dude, that Higgledy is so much more powerful than all the other Higgledies. Like, he is so insane. Big fucking nuclear Joe, whatever his fucking name is. This guy here is ridiculous value compared to the others. Yeah, big Tove. Tove is not fucking around ever, and I love him. I literally would marry the little bastard. Right, let's activate this. I don't know how I'm going to get across to that uh, that Higgledy stone, but we're going to figure it out. Go to the bank, drop by your grannies to put some boxes away, turned into go buy painkillers, pick up your own prescription, go to the bank, go to your grannies, find out she has to go to hospital, sit and wait for an ambulance that doesn't turn up, be told you have to go with her, then you don't, and then you do as you answer your plans. Oh, wow, that does indeed sound like quite the fucking endeavour, Sushi. I hope you're alright, man. I, uh. That sounds tough. That happened to Mrs. Wolfie a couple of times where. She had to go and do something and it, you know, it would roll into ambulances and hospital trips and it can be quite exhausting. Uh, I hope you're doing alright man, take it easy now. Right, I need to spin these round. So I'm going to go back the way I think. There's no controls for the red one so we have to go back first. We go back, spin this, go back and then spin with the other red one. Look at all these fucking robot bastards that have fucking respawned though. Ooh. Oh, this is so sad. That's the... That's where the item is. Okay, maybe this will actually let me get back and get the hell of this control here. Quite possibly. Right, I gotta fight these guys. His voice sounds really familiar as well, Leander. I don't know who voices him. But it sounds very familiar. Let's get some fire. Value. He's gonna explode. Did that even hit him? I don't think it did. That didn't look like a helm. Okay. Okay, big heals is nice. He's not taking any range damage when he's in that form. Let's just power up from here, fuck it. And give him the whole fucking thing. Okay, I think he's dead. So. This is my first red controller. So I think rather than go all the way back and try and solve this place back to front, I'm actually just going to hit this. And I'm hoping that changes the one up above. Which should allow us to double back now, I think. If we check this shit out. Um, I'm going to need to... Sp did these guys really respawn? I literally didn't even move from the same load. Like, I literally didn't even move the screen. Holy fuck, dude, this is exhausting. I feel like we're only just getting started too. That's why that's why I'm sad. Okay. I think I've played the game for quite some time today, guys. I need food. I've got an idea in mind what I want to do with this part of the puzzle though. You can just fuck off. I know you're gonna disappear before I kill you. I'm gonna come down here and he's gonna vanish. Just die, please. I hate these things. He just cancelled another attack. Okay. Right, we spin this bad boy. It should get us across to the... The secret chest and shit. It's not a secret, but... If I go over... Is this right? <laughs> yep. Magic. 
really good. So we put in an extra a bit of effort here. Hopefully we get, we get rewarded. I swear if this is a healing potion in this chest, I'm going to vomit. Hmm. I think I was going to read. Oh, there we go. Gutsy enchanted armor. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to check it out right now. Um, I'm going to eat dinner and I play some wholesome Stardew Valley. Nice. That sounds like a good idea. Food is definitely a good start. You'll feel better if you get food in you. Sushi. The end is voiced by Ad Adam Howden. Who did a lot of FF voice acting. Also, Anders from Dragon Age 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, Leander is Shulk. Mm -hmm. What armor did I just get? But Because I think it's probably good. Never mind. It's an upgrade for Leander. What does it actually do? Hangs on with 1 HP after a big hit. It's actually a downgrade. Now that I look at the stats, seems like a downgrade. Fuck. Okay. What do you need? Uh, talking about sap, the nice smelling stuff that girls like. Okay. Um, some seem irresistible. That's moldy old resin with a pretty ripe smell. Some find irresistible. Filled the goldness of the earth. Smell grass like a spring morning. Not correctly treated. Uh, dude, is it this one? Crude? The one that girls like? Some find irresistible? Moldy? Nope. Fucking kill me, dude. I don't think we have what we need. Nice smelling stuff that girls like. I've got nothing about girls. Quite a stench, not correctly treated. Yeah, no, dude, we can't get this. Fuck my life, dude. Ah, <sighs> balls. These fucking enemies. Okay, luckily we can skip across here. You fucks. Right. Spin it back round. We're done with this kind of top area, at least. Now we just need to get down the way. So we've acted this red lever, which has changed things. Um, we are trying to get over, <coughs> excuse me, to there. So we need uh, to go along one of these new red paths that I've just opened and potentially uh, open a... I need to turn the blue one once. So we'll spin this to get back across. And then I need a blue spinner of some, some shape or form. <laughs> Maybe it's all the way over here. But then I'm travelling across the blue one to get here. Which is kind of awkward. Oh, maybe it tra- oh, does that- is that how it works? Maybe that works. Can I jump this? Yes. That takes me up to the blue one. Which will let me get down and turn that. Okay, can I just bypass you guys? I'm really not in the mood. Thanks. Okay, so before I turn that blue one, yeah, blue's gonna turn that what is in there. Okay. Sweet. Now the question is, once we get this item, do we need to go up the way? We got a health stone in here as well. Oh, maybe this is the boss. Maybe this is a boss. Crystals. Maybe it's just the middle point. Uh, but, uh, if I had to hazard, I guess I'd say the middle point. Your crystal's nice though. Let's save. Have you leveled Spellworks yet? We've done a couple of levels, Sushi, but honestly, nowhere near as much as we probably should have done. Um, I came across this kind of problem where like, I, I bought a new bunch of spells and I wanted to try all the spells out because I didn't really, like you can read the descriptions and it explains what they do, but you don't really know until you see it and feel it in the game. So I had this weird situation where I bought loads of new spells and added them to all our characters, but then like I didn't know, like I tried to level up as much as them as I could, but I kind of ran out of resources and didn't know like what spells I, were, I was going to use because I hadn't tried them yet. So that was a bit of an issue. Um, so our spells probably could have been higher at this point, but I was still trying to figure out which ones I liked. Oh, thanks, Sezu. My gran will be fine. She has the same issue for years. She's just too stubborn to go to the doctor, and still she, uh, and still she goes back. Um, so she's back. She has to go. Oh, I know a couple of people like that, Sushi. 
couple of people close to me just um just refuse to go to the doctor they refuse to accept help when it's given to them and it's it's quite painful because the people that are ill are sometimes your responsibility and trying to get those people to speak to the professionals who know what they're talking about is so difficult sometimes it's like pushing an elephant up the stairs so i don't know exactly what's going on in your in your situation but i've experienced this myself with adults adults who are much older than me and should be a lot wiser than me but are not always wiser than me some people just don't don't want to accept help from the people that are the best people to give them help and it's, it's mind-boggling but some people are just like that i think it's an old thing for sure hey cory welcome back man what's up sending you both good vibes is serenity yeah sure okay we can continue on or we can stop here guys i think we push on just a little bit more See if we can get more of this absolutely rancid building done. Get some more levels and stuff as well. The health crystal here is good to grind next as well because we can just top up all the time. There, I'm finally ahead of you uh, in this for now. Nice. <laughs> How's it going, Corey? You having a good day, man? I should have used that spell. I think we'll have to go into that room and get a memo. <clears throat> I meant the building itself. Go get Springlock. Oh, we've got it. Um, we're, we were developing it the last time we were at the city. I just never picked the spell up. It's, uh, it's done. We just need to acquire it, if that makes any sense. Nice. Awaken as the fight's over. What I'll do is I'll try and look for like a transport point. I'll try and look for a transportation point and then we'll... Uh, here's the wand. That looks like it's important, which means I'm going to grab this item before I go anywhere. Okay, this is nice. I like this. Where are we going? So here's the memolith. Take that. Alright, we got a cutscene here. And we found another one, says Tani. Nice. As I grew up, I quickly realised everyone's just giving it their best shot, but a lot of people have no idea of who they are and what they want. Yeah. Wise word, skill tree, for sure. There's a lot of unique, unique individuals on the planet who, at one point in my life, I thought were like super, you know, the smartest people I ever knew. And then when you grow up and you kind of mature a little bit and, you know, you get older and you learn more things, you kind of realise, you know, sometimes... You know, the, the illusion is kind of shattered from time to time, which is a bit weird, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta just learn sometimes, I think, try and learn your best from other people. It must be quite intimidating as well, I think, for some of these older people who have maybe grown up in a world where, like, medicine and dentistry and going to the hospital could actually be quite a painful and, like, um, like uncomfortable thing. Could, it could be any any reason, you know, whereas obviously we're born in an age where people's rights and privacy and things are respected a lot more and obviously there's a there's a lot better medicine to cure problems and diseases and things are looked after a bit better hospitals are technically more cleaner and sciency so that they're a bit more efficient and well hopefully that's what i would imagine and i think that for a lot of these old people they don't know how easy it is sometimes to go to the doctors and i think they just they just expect that it's always going to be this really horrible place that they're, they're not going to you know it's going to be miserable and so i think a lot of people are scared to go to the doctor they're scared to go to the dentist they're scared from what the doctor might tell them when they go so they just like live in denial that's that happens sometimes but yeah not too bad just got the final uh, memory phone thing been grinding for the trophies says cory all right nice we found another one nice three more now okay be able to watch so i was wondering if you had done it or not yeah we're gonna grab it soon sushi it's finally ready behold the all singing all dancing smart stick oh yes of course with one of these revolutionary devices anyone can be a wizard no more magic monopoly for the casting classes now there'll be spells for everybody look at his little friend crying god bless so this guy's a harry potter maker you did it Congratulations! 
Hey, mm -hmm. hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I will. <laughs> You're a wizard, Jack. <laughs> Harry, you are a wizard. Thank you. The oh, apple eye sticks is Valkyrie. <laughs> very good, guys. Very good. Magic? There's an app for that. <laughs> we were a team back then. We all thought the same way. Wanted the same How thing. How did it all go so wrong? Oh, hello. Here he is. Oh, Papa, is that you? President Vector, the reactor, there's been an explosion. <laughs> Nani? Well, you see. Uh, we're trying to remove the injury to the injured to safety, but we're too busy uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn about the injured. What about the reactor? Is it damaged? Yeah. But only a little. It shouldn't set us back too far if we uh -huh. Good, then replace the team members you lost and continue the work. <laughs> this motherfucker be tossing bodies off the side of the uh the abyss just trying to get shit done. He's just motivated, guys. There's, there's nothing weird going on here. Oh, here we go. Minecraft save. There's just one Memoloth left to find. Uh -huh. And I found the signal. Perfect timing. It's another floor up the production line. Now I'm just getting flashback to Okumura's fucking palace. Alright, let, let go. Let get out of here. Oh, you're going to the castle and you're gonna do spells and shit. I'm a what? <laughs> Harry, you are a wizard. But I'm just Harry. No, Harry, you are a wizard. I'm telling you right now, if anybody knows that reference that uh, Skilltree's talking about, best line in the whole video is, I'll put my dick in the owl. <laughs> oh, don't at me. Right. I'm motivated. PTSD of Virgil and Marvel vs. Capcom intensifies. <laughs> Have fun with the next Oh come on, what is this? I literally pissed on the magic stone and now these guys are back. Is this a fucking joke? God fuck me. I'm gonna do the fucking Oh no, that was the wrong spell. That was the wrong spell, Jack. Jacko, what you doing? Oh until I got slapped there, this was a really clean fight. Have fun with whatever they do with uh, Okumura's palace. <coughs> okay. I'll punch me- I'll punch me dick in the owl, Harry. <laughs> yes, Harry, you are a wizard. I'm not a wizard, I'm just Harry. No, Harry, you are a wizard. But I'm just Harry. No, just Harry. There's a chest over there, just Harry's. We're gonna need to pick that up in a minute. God. Pipes and shit. Oh my god. I'm okay until the game starts offering me multiple routes, then my brain starts to implode on itself. Okay. The piston cup. He did what in it? Through um, there is where we make a lot of stuff that hasn't been announced yet. It's all top secret. See the three lights above it? The door won't open unless all three are lit. Which means finding all three lock switches. Great. <laughs> so it's not just a case of finding one more device. It's find the three switches then find the device. You gotta fucking love it. And all my items. Oh no, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. We Okay, so the game's gonna give me one for free, right? That's what this is. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks. That's not so bad. If it gives me one for free, that's good. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay, I've got two... Oh, cheeky chest hiding under the stairs. You always check behind the stairs, guys. Ooh! Why are you giving me revives games? Hmm? Is that just a... Uh, empty... Okay, here's generator numeral on... What's down there? Nothing. That's just a platform with... 
shit on it. Okay, it's Kindle. Oh man, I can't watch, but I'm going to see Serenity. Oh, don't say this, guys. You're making me sad and nervous. It's not that bad, right? Right, chat? You're just memeing me. Anyway, Thai boxing is in about an hour, so i got to go in about 45 minutes. All right, guys, we'll try and get through this um, as quickly as I can. I've got a food delivery arriving shortly as well, so I need to be kind of on standby for that shit. But if we could just push through a little bit more, that would be awesome. Right, there's this downward path that I think is the right way to go. What's up here? Oh, fuck a shit. How the fuck did I miss this? Please be good. Oh, song notes. Delightful. No white mask with that layer. I mean, what? Right. We are going to go down the way. I think it's the only way we can go, actually, now that I think about it. That's all locked off still. So we went up a chimney up. Now we're going to go down the chimney down. This looks like an absolute shit show. Okay, we're just gonna spin around the outside of this place without any encounters. Where am I going here? I don't know where my object my objective is. You spin me right round, Harry, right round like a Neville Hagrid. There's a chest. But why are we down here? What is the point of this floor? There's no switch here, is there? Hagrid, you are an owl. I'm not an owl, I'm just Hagrid. No, just Hagrid, you are a Harry. No! Okay, wait, can I run past these guys and because I'm strong now they don't bother me? Good luck, everyone. I had to go and open my mouth, didn't I? Excellent. Okay, I'm not fighting you guys. These guys are just going to respawn in a minute anyway. I'm confused now though, I thought that down here was where I was supposed to go, but I, I'm con- mm. Hmm, maybe I passed a switch earlier that I missed. This up here. Bracken equals bay, don't at me. Bracken's pretty good. Yeah, we like her a lot. So here's the switch, that's good. This is a dead end, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So switch number one. This is the only thing we can push, so we're gonna push it. Holy fucking moly. Okay, so there's a platform raised in the center, which I can kind of see. Wait, did that move? Oh, it moved it here as well. Oh fuck, I've got two options. Fuck me. Okay, we can go up and there's a red lever. This is gonna get so fun, I can just, I can already feel the entertainment. Hopefully I can, uh, if I go this way, I get locked off somewhere. What's, that's the, oh, I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that. Okay. Sometimes in this game, you have invisible walls, sometimes apparently you don't. Right. So... This is all fine and dandy and we can kind of jump in there, but we can't go anywhere yet. So what I'm going to do is just head back, I think. There's no other blue things here, is there? This is more linear than I think, uh, than I expected it to be. There's a platform over there. I don't know if that matters. Right, okay. That answers that problem then. So I just ignore all this shit. Run up the new path. Um, let me see here. Hey, I'm back. Dinner went nicely. Now to get ready for the final bit of work for today. How are you, bud? Says Corey. You need a double digit IQ for this, Jack. You may as well look up a guide now. God damn it, man. It feels bad. Listen, alright. Oh, there's the other generator. Okay, Roger. So that can get me. And there's another switch. All right, I think we are right. We're we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Gonna pee into the uh, furnace here. That activates the red computer. Computer, sir. It was a funny girl. I liked her. She was cool. She was in one of my classes once. She was in the year above me in high school, and she always said the word computer really strange. And everybody used to not everybody. Just some people used to quietly laugh about it, and uh, yeah, it was quite it was quite entertaining. She would go, "Sir, sir, I would like to go to the computers today, sir," and everybody would just pish themselves laughing. <laughs> oh, not at her. I don't think she was ever offended. 
Hopefully not. God, I hope not. But it was really, really quite funny. Right, I need to spin a red thing like this. Sir. Sir. Computer. Just hit 4k channel points, can't wait for something new to use them with, says Corey. Guys, listen, we've already discussed the channel points this stream, I can't... What do you want me to do right now, okay? Um, we, we, I promise, listen, listen, chat, look, come in, come in, come in close, right? We'll find a good thing for the channel points, okay? For the time being, they're just gonna have to exist, okay? Twitch just dumped them on me, they, I, I wasn't prepared for channel points, okay? I've set a goal for a million, we'll do a nude Patreon or something, alright? I know it's talking about that milk, ain't it? The proper push stuff with nothing taken out. Uh, sure. Simple flavour, no. Not too expensive, no. Makes cakes and confessionary? I don't think. Dude, single cream, fuck it, we'll bang in. I don't think this is the right one. Hey there, Corey. I'm alright, thanks. Hoping you're okay. There's no way this is gonna work, is it? Fuck, man. Let me just read this again real quick. The posh, the proper posh stuff with nothing taken out, so it's like full fat cream or something. Thick, adds a slight sour. No, used to make cakes. Expensive. Not too expensive, good to have. Simple cheese. Ripen for three months. It's not cheese, is it? Like, with nothing taken No. Churned. Yes, I shall coexist with my 6.2k channel, <laughs> my channel points. Start stockpiling, lads. Wait. <laughs> God damn it, man. I thought that Higgledy was going to be ours, chat, but he's not. I am not coming back through this place later on to get these fucking Higgledies. I'm just letting you know. If anybody's got an issue with that, you better make peace with it now. Okay, I'm really sorry, but it's not going to be a thing. Okay, switch number two, accessed. Boop. Here we go. Good. Mm. See, yesterday, guys, I never told you this, but when uh, when I was running around getting ready to go to the dentist via the train before it all broke down on me and destroyed my happiness, um, I also went into my room running about trying to frantically gather my belongings, my backpack and stuff, pack everything that I thought I was going to need. And uh, clicked the fucking room light on in my room and it just fucking, the bulb just instantly exploded. I was like, okay, thanks. Thanks, Satan. Just uh, just do me like that, why don't you? Can I jump down onto that? You motherfucker. How does one... If I can get onto that middle, like, can I just drop down here? Please? I need to hopscotch in a way across, but like... I need to go this way? Is that why they give me a podium to jump down? This must be why they give you this, but... This doesn't work. Almost. It almost works. I can see the switch, but I'm missing a platform here. There's a platform missing from this bit that would take me across. Oh my god! She just fucking fell off the edge! Bracken, hello? <laughs> she just fucking legit fell off. You will be, you will be back for your 100% completion. Oh, that is a negative. I am going to have to politely decline. Nay, sir, nay. Dude, really, could I not have just jumped off onto that platform? That would have saved me so much fucking hassle. Right. We nip back this way. This is back where the, the I just was. So maybe we spin the red discs with the controller? What does this do for me? Okay, is that it? I think that's it. Platform's connected to the red plane. Or the red panel. So I go up and along? Oh no, I can't. Well, no I can't. So we double back then. Maybe it was the blue ones that need swapped. I don't know. We're about to find out if I can jump across this or not. 
looks like it's somewhat okay. We can get into the middle. Oh, but not look. <laughs> she just fell off again. <gasps> okay, so I need to either... I think it was almost close. Do I need to spin the red one again? Is this like a... We're kind of close. Oh, no, wait. I can just make it, right? I can make that jump. Classic Jack trying to overcomplicate this a billion times. There's a new, new mallet for our gal. We'll throw it down to her in the depths below. Uh, let's all equip. Sweet. Okay. Nice. Now we just have to get back to the main door. Success. I can't get this one either. Oh, you may have said already, uh, is Dragon's Quest XI next on the agenda? Uh, it's definitely on the agenda, Sushi, but I don't know if it's going to be next, my dude. Um, I was, Mrs. Wilfie was asking me, my birthday's at the end of the month, so she was asking me um, if I wanted any games, so my go-to that I thought about was God of War, um, the new God of War game, because uh, you guys have talked to me about it a bunch. Lawless, who is my friend from, like, you know, I know him from, like, real life before streams and stuff. He says it was great and talked about it. Um, also Chewy that sometimes hangs out. And then in addition, Mr. Snowblower, who sometimes comes to visit us in the in the stream, he was talking about playing it recently and it got me thinking. So I checked it out on Amazon to see how much it was and it was actually only £17. So I asked Mrs. Wolfie to, to perhaps pick that up for me. But I don't know what like order we're going to play these games in, guys. I think if I, if I, if I get Dragon's Quest uh, 11 as well, I don't know when we're going to play them because I don't know what the schedule is going to be for the next few months, but that is something I'm planning on um, creating anyway as part of our goals for this year. If anybody watched the goal video, to try and get a, somewhat of a schedule organised. So, um, yeah, I, I think what we'll do is we'll pick up God of War, um, either for my birthday or we'll get Dragon Age for my birthday, one of the two. I'll buy the other one and then we'll slot these games in about downtime when there's no new games coming out. Um, so, to, that's why it's quite difficult for me to pinpoint when we're going to play uh, Dragon's Quest because I do want to play it. You guys keep talking about how great it is and uh, we will play it at some point. I just don't know when it's going to be. I don't want to say we're going to play it next and then we end up just playing something completely different. So I'll let you guys know once I get my schedule organised. It's really it's really only February, yes. March, April. Mostly March and April where all the, the big games are going to drop together. But I've, I need to check release dates and then try and come up with a somewhat suitably organised uh, routine for us and then we can we can know all the higgledy all higgledy run of Nino Kuni 2 this is like when you used to bring up the speed run in Resident Evil on hardcore mode or whatever it was called what was the hard mode called in Resident Evil Corey <laughs> you used to say it no no deaths run on fucking insane mode or whatever the fuck it's called Dragon's Quest 11 is definitely an experience. It'll be another persona for you. I think it's going to be a big game, guys, and that's why I, I don't want to play it. Like, I don't want to crowbar it in between new games coming out uh, if we've got, like, a week or something, because if it is a good game, I want to give it the time it deserves. We only had to take a break from one game last year once, and it was uh, Death Stranding. We had to stop playing Death Stranding for Pokemon uh, for a few streams, although, admittedly, I think that was needed because Death Stranding was getting a bit exhausting, to be honest. But, yeah. Bullshit mode lol. I can't remember, says Cody. No deaths first try, let's go. <laughs> That's the fourth Memolith. Wait, when did we find the third one? The fourth and final one, thank god. Okay. So okay, this is okay, how your man... Everybody, we've brought a string of hit products to market that have changed the world forever. Okay. And thanks to all of your hard work, now we've built this too. A giant glass birdhouse. Campus, the tree house. It actually is a tree house. It's a house. I said birdhouse, he said tree house. And that's not all the good news. We just added our 315,639th team member. Which means we're not a company anymore. We're a nation in our own right. That's how many followers we need, guys, before we come, we become a nation. We're going to stop being a small streamer. We're going to become a nation. 315639. Note it down. Soon, 
will be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Everybody's like, yeah, sign me up, boss, sign me up. And he's like, right, we're going to build a fishing reactor and nobody's going to get any breaks and these are going to work for me like slaves and it's all going to be great. And everybody's like, freeze frame, en route to the, the sign up sheet. He's like, well, you're in now, bitches. Okay, cool. Can't wait for God of War though. Platinum that game. Jeez. Yeah, that's what a day. It may be painful for some a of you guys. Company that started out in a shack got big enough to build this place. Got so big that it became an actual country. Are we talking about are we talking about the president's penis or are we talking Oh yeah, you're talking about the, the community and the, the country and stuff. Alright, okay, sorry. He had a vision for the treehouse. Mm -hmm. He wanted to build a place where people could live happy and work happy. Sorry, to anybody who's like joined recently, that, that comment is going to make no sense. But we were making some sexual innuendos earlier, just as we do, you know. The chat made me do it. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of slipping them in occasionally from time to time. And dang it if he didn't do just that. I had my doubts, you know. He was a different person back then. There's yeah, Bracken. Smile for everybody. Where did the old zip go? Yeah, speaking of zips, right? I want to ask a question. See the zip that you've got on you, Bracken. Does that go right up to your collar? Because it looks like it stops before, which kind of just makes it look like. I mean, I can see that what the top she's wearing is like, it's a shirt that goes down into like a skirt. But it doesn't look like it goes up past her collar, so it just looks like a zip to her, you know. Just looks like an unusual zip, shall we say. No more comments. Ain't it professional? Glad that's over. I can clench. I can unclench now. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I'm pretty sure we missed a ton of AMs, though. If we really wanted to do those places properly, I'm pretty sure it'd be a bit of an arsehole, but... I'd... After the abyss, I've, I've channeled all of my energy into this game. I need to like recharge, you know. It's not about the reactor. I don't. If it's not about the reactor, I don't want to hear it. We can worry about that later. Well, you see, there's an intruder down on the factory floor, sir. Yeah! They can get rid of them and stop bothering me. You think I have time to worry about your stupid intruders? Is that my job too? I'm Zip Vector, remember, inventor of the perpetual fission reactor, the guy who pays your wages. Me, the kingpin, big daddy. I don't even know anymore. It looks like a tiny window. You're welcome. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. You know, I didn't want to go there, but now that you've said it, it's out now. We can't contain it. There's another nation added to the pact. Sweet. There's one more I want to show him. Oh god, please god no, tell me that's a joke. I thought you said there were only four. Why would you fucking debate us like that? Uh -huh. There were four listed as missing on the database and I knew if I said five you would have turned around and went home. So I had to lie to you and now that we're here, hopefully because you've done all the, almost all the work, you'll continue on and do the last part. Huh? Am I right guys? Huh? Wildcats on three? Starting to like Bracken a little bit less now. The chief engineer's office is up ahead. I'll tell you more when we get there. Look at this base. Okay, did we save here? Let's take a heal. A baby heal. And then we will also... Dude, I, I cannot save in dangerous spaces. Okay, we're going in. If I walk in here and there's a... Health crystal. Right. Leander, you saw nothing. Okay, come on team. Well, that's mildly upsetting. Yep. Oh, this, we won't need to use this because we've just used all of our health crystals, Kappa. Okay, let's save. We're gonna fight a boss here, guys. See how we get on. Probably get fucking ass demolished. Okay. Thanks for the Memolith. Is that a Fallout Boy reference? No. I'm just... Thanks for the Memolith, thanks for the Memolith, even if they weren't so Memolithy. Alright. <laughs> Who's wearing tins on their feet? <laughs> Did you hear that clip-clop noise? It sounded like a horse was coming into the office area there. 
It was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. who the fuck was that? Probably fucking... Right, no, I'm not even going to say that. Uh, it feels like I haven't been here in a long time. What is this, his bedroom? Feels bad, man. <laughs> Just let me grab that memolith. Just steal the guy's stuff. Alright, nice. Read what it says. What does it say in the diary, Bracken? I can't check because I'm taking it home to touch myself with later. Golly. <laughs> Anyhow, this, this and others we should have more than enough to make Zip snap out of it. He'll be in the reactor control room. Come on. It's upstairs. Come on. Oh, dude, more stairs. Are you fucking kidding me? This whole cyberpunk science lab of a fucking building, you've not built a fucking elevator, are you fucking having a laugh? Oh no, actually they do have elevators and the reason they built it squint like this is because smart people would... Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Okay, what's in this, the cyber computer here? Here we go. <laughs> the timing on that golly. <laughs> this elevator should take us up to the reactor room. E oh, e oh. I've seen this in Pulp Fiction. People start to die when this this noise happens. Wee oh. oh hi, Dad. Is that you? Obliterator. The future of workplace security. So this is the mini boss before the real boss. He's level forty eight. Alright fam, he's level 48. <laughs> I am going to struggle here, I can tell. This is going to suck. Okay! Does he ever stop or...? Okay! Get him with that, get him with that, yeah yeah, get him with that. Shoot him with the water. Oh god. Okay, that didn't do too much. We should eat. We should stop this this fight and eat some snacks. There's time for some ramen in here. I can I can definitely know. And um, strengthens up your magic attacks. Evan, get that right in your pipe. Um, what else have we got here? Resist freezing. This guy looks like he's doing thunder shit. Strengthens magical attacks. Wait. Oh yeah, I just used that. Okay. Let's give that to Leander as well. Kraken's catch improves magical defense. Bracken. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to dodge this move. Okay. Okay, don't you do it. Okay, I need to stop using my... Uh... Oh my god. Alright, yeah, no, fam, I got you. Does this end? That was so much fucking damage. Why would you do that to me? Oh yeah, give me that! Oh, that was a health crystal. That's not what I thought it was. I need Higgles. Oh no, he's doing big things. Can I... What can I do here? Can I charge this? Did he just... He just did a water move, right? He didn't reflect that back at me, did he? Did he reflect my own spell back at me? I have no idea what's going on, but we're uh, we're doing all right, ish. Okay, let's get. Okay, I get over to the Higgledies. They disappear on me. Fucking got all of that shit. Okay, Bracken, if you just want to heal as we go, that would be really good. Okay. Yeah, can we? I would love to play the game. Mate. Can you just stop being an arsehole? Yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up. Okay, no, we get away. I don't know if that's reflection damage or like, I don't know how this guy... Like, how is one... What's my, what's my option as a player there? What the fuck was that? That was such an arsehole thing. 
Sage's secret. Yeah, ram that in you, you little bastard. I'll give one of these to Bracken as well. That was close. What the fuck? I literally could not have been further away and it insta casts. I just so f I just fucked that right up. Okay, okay, okay. So he spins and there's like a weak spot, I think. Okay, can we just fuck him up now? Yeah, hammer that. Oh, dude, do I block it? Do you dodge it? Like, is it, is it dodgeable? Oh, he got knocked out! Kill his ass! Quick! Obviously, I'm on the other side of the goddamn room. Now we... Oh, no, dude, no. Higgles, Higgles, Higgles. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, fight him in the heels. Fight him in the heels. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fuck him, fuck him. Give him it in the butt. Okay. Okay, he's doing things. Oh god, fire, fire ones? This looks sore. Ow. Yeah, no. Time it, time it, time it. Come here. Oh, activate this. Just do something, kill him. <gasps> oh my god, we are barely alive. This is li this is living, chat. This is this is living. I mean, what's life like if this isn't living? I think we're okay. I think he's about to die. But that would have been a really rough place to get game over, I tell you. What an arsehole. Unfortunate. I guess this is definitely not ticket you boo. Interruptions, my dude. Oofed. So I've just to knock him on his ass when he does that shit? Well, it's gone now. Let's go see Zip. Alright, sweet. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Right. Uh, we're actually full HP, so I don't have to worry about that shit. Let me just nip in here real quick, guys. We did it. Mother of all oofs. That was really, really close. We were so close to dying there. Like, literally 4 HP close to dying. Uh, King's Roof Cradle. Let's go. Uh, the roof is off limits, so we don't go to the roof. Reactor floor. Sure, that'll do. We've still got to fight the Kingmaker here, though. And I'm worried about my lack of... items. How... Let me see here. Five, nine, and heals. Nine. Should we try this or not? Let's just save it and try. I don't know if this is the Kingmaker fight or not. Uh, let's save the game. Okay, I can't save here, so we have no choice. We could go back, I guess, but let's just fucking do it. Who cares? Alright. Hey. Sip, we need to talk, says Bracken. Yeah. Really? So you're the intruders, huh? Who else did you think it was? The X-Men? No, I'm just yeah. Bracken. Well, just Bracken. Here we go. Time for a trip down memory lane, Zip. You sweaty mess. Can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. The, the technology. We've seen all this, right? Yeah, we we've already watched these. I'm not watching this again. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then he made the magic wand. Then he gave the speech. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, is that me? What's going on? I was. Why was I? There's one last memory I want to show you. It's that tape we made that night when we were really drunk together. Here it comes. Please. You have to remember who you used to be. You have to bring the old zip back. Okay. 
Uh, so I stayed up all night making this for you. It's a suit of armor. <laughs> She's not able to walk or something. Is she, is she something going on? How about that, huh? A custom leg made just for you by the world's greatest engineer. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. This isn't my leg. I want my leg. Oh, so she could walk, but she lost one leg. I want my... I want my leg. No, I, I, I get it, Bracken. I, I get that you're upset, but... This is a state-of-the-art Nike leg. It's got titanium, um, it's got a bit of, you know, adamantium in there or whatever the fucking shit Captain America uses to build the shield. It's got varying speeds, so if you want to get up hills quicker, it's got a, a setting you can change. It's really good against certain enemies, you can kick them in the balls and stuff. We're engineers. We solve humanity's problems. We use technology to help people. That's our purpose. That's what we do. It's like a horrible ticking noise in the background of this cutscene. Can you guys hear that? Let's see if I make this really loud. Listen to this. I think, oh, it's because it's a projector rolling. Is that what that noise meant to be? It's kind of bizarre. Now, do you, do you really want a, a little thing like this to stop you from fulfilling that purpose? I... We solve humanity's problems. And we solve each other's, too, right? Um, You lose a leg... I make you a new one. I lose a hand. Well, you know, I, I hope you do the same for me. <laughs> Just fucking stick the leg on and get up, Bracken. You'll be great. Oh, zip. Stick it on then, brother. This leg, it's not just a machine. I put my heart and soul into it. It's, it's... Uh, <laughs> I it's it. We had the same me. thinking, yeah. <laughs> Um, who's that? Sounds like someone walking around with cans on their feet. Do you feel bad now, Jack? <laughs> oh, that's actually so funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm a mess today. Who's that walking around with cans on their feet? actually was oh god that's so fucking silly <laughs> i literally said that like off off the cuff i'm so sorry uh yeah bracken and our cans okay time for work uh see you all another time ollie we love you have a great night good sir have a good one ollie i suppose zip isn't uh, in bracken but it's apparently the other way around <laughs> take care have fun be good and love life says ollie take it easy ollie progressive af Oh man. Uh, I'm your boss. It's my job. <laughs> Cans on their feet. <laughs> oh god. I... Look, Zip, look That's at it. So funny. Sorry. Look at my fucking metal leg you made. I'm pretty much Android 13. You've seen the things we can do these days. I could have upgraded it. But I would never do that. This leg? Do you know how many upgrades I could have put on this? Fucking stabby toes, fucking <laughs> steel heels, the whole nine, but I kept this shitty rust bastard. This leg is what gave me the courage to carry on. What got me where I am today. Hell yeah, dude. Get... I, 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 I'm starting to feel like I need a metal leg. You were the best engineer, the best boss, the best friend anyone could have. The best lover. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? You had a good heart. The best. You have to remember. You have to. Ah! Oh, and there it is. Mm-hmm. Yep, there it is. Okay. Are we good? I, I remember now. I, I remember everything. What, what... What have I done? Zip? It's you, isn't it? The real you. Now, could you upgrade Get my goddamn... Back. Could you upgrade my fucking leg now, Zip? Please, I've waited on you fucking coming to your senses for months. Bracken, I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I, I ever would have remembered. 
<laughs> Having your leg turn into a Gatlin gun, but no. <laughs> Alright. Uh oh. Everything's shaking. Kingmaker time? Kingmaker time. Oh no. Bastion! Here he comes. The last bastion. Son of a bastion. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh no. Oh, that's fucked. Everybody's fucked now. I hope there's nobody down there. Yep, landed right on a Prius. Feels bad. Okay, we're getting to see this scene for an oddly long amount of time. Okay, cool. Bastion's back online. Damn it, if he triggers the reactor, we could trigger a total meltdown. And if that happens, Broadleaf and everything around it will be gone in an instant, including my uh, secret what? stash of uh, manga. But we have to stop him. We have to find him first. He's equipped with full optical camouflage, of course. Of course he does. I can't see him on any of the monitors, but judging by the patterns of interference, I'd say there's a good chance he's on top of the tower. The elevator will take us up to the roof. Come on, let's go. Alright, can I save my game now? Can I, can I do that? Is that a thing? No. Okay, well, I guess we are rocking and rolling. Let's just go. Blimey! Maybe I'll be Winston. Maybe I'll be Bastion. Well. Hmm. That is unfortunate. The path to the elevator. How are we going to get to the top now? <sighs> bop, 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 bop to the top. Calm down, everybody. There must be a way, I think. We've done two high school musical references in the same stream. In the space of an hour, I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't know where these are coming from. <sighs> okay. Anyways, uh -huh. I've got it. The leg, Gatlin gun. We're gonna put an RPG in there and turn you into the biggest weapon the city's ever seen. Bracken's like, oh, I, I don't know if we can do that, boss. That doesn't seem like a good idea. But I'll do it. Of course, which will enable us to turn the light in a solid matter, maybe only temporarily, but still we could use it to make some kind of stairway to the top. <laughs> Good to have you back, Zip. Is this really going to work? Are you, are you guys sure of this? Are you guys tested this before? I'm not going to die in the way up, am I? Attention all team members! I need you to channel all available power into the reactor's high pressure inlets right now! Give Zip your energy! Mm. But President Vector... President Vector, we've told you we've not slept in five days. Are, are, you, are you still? You said you weren't going to make us work anymore. Shut up, bitch. They weren't designed to take that kind of punishment. Yeah, well, you neither was your butt cheeks. Better than anybody. The reactor will go critical, and the core will fuse. In other words, we'll wind up with the world's most expensive hunk of junk. Hmm. You sure about this, Zip? She's your baby. Oh my god, this is just this is like Sid in a spaceship in Final Fantasy VII. It's that or risk the lives of every person in this country. I'm the executive director of this company and the leader of this nation. Nothing is more important than my people. Well, it's funny you should say that because that's not really the uh, the fanfare you've been tooting this whole time. Obviously, it was under the spell of the Dark Lord. So flood the damn tubes! That's an order! Talk dirty to me. Yes, sir. For probably. Okay. That one was really rude, I'm sorry. I can't even look at these right now. The stairway to heaven, let's go! Time to kill a big massive metal dragon dog thing, whatever it's meant oh to be. Oh my goodness! Alright. What do we call them? Toaster Blastoise. All available energy has been channeled into high pressure inlets. All right. Nice work everybody, now get out of here and uh, get the people someplace safe. But sir, what about you? We need you. The reactor is totally unstable. If we leave now, there'll be nothing to... Hey. What do you think you're talking to? Or who do you think you're talking to? Uh, if anybody in this country can keep that thing under control, it's me. But sir, on, on your own? Huh. Oh, look at this look, look at this ginger hippie on the right hand side. I've only just noticed him. See the guy that's all the way over? Dude, look at that. That's That could be me. If I grew my hair out and got some glasses. Well, I have glasses, but you know, put them on. That's this. Oh, no though. Not really digging this. You see the socks? See the socks over it? Not really digging those. No, 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 no. That can't be me. 
Uh, we'll make sure everybody else is out okay. Good luck, President Vector. And uh, everybody proceeds to stand around and stare at him. He's like, I told you guys to get out of here. I'll stay here and look after the reactor. You guys go fight the giant dinosaur machine monster on top of it. And uh, yeah, good luck. You guys got shot Bastion down. I'll handle things here. Sounds like a raw deal, but okay. Come on! Everybody to the top of the tower. And yeah. she's back. I keep pushing triangle to open my menu and I don't know. Oh, we can't save still. Excellent. Well, I am fucking terrified we were, we're not going to have the resources to get ourselves through this, but... Uh, yeah, I'm honestly super scared we're going to fail this, but we'll give our best shot. Okay. Here goes. And he's climbing the stairway to heaven. He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh. <gasps> Maybe I'll be Bastion. Sorry. Name for some Alexander. Maybe make it not sound like I'm running around on tin cans. <laughs> Holy shit. Good luck with this fight. It's the hardest one yet. Just saying thanks, Cody. That doesn't make me shit myself at all. Guys, not even a drop of sweat. We'll be... The four-legged fortress. Hmm. Right. Let's go to work. Go for the legs, Evan. Dude, I'm um, fucking honestly. I I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. Oh no! No 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 no! This guy is taking no damage. Okay, wait, wait. What's happening here? Do we hit him? Get him, please. Okay, he's taking a lot of fucking punishment right now. Uh, okay. Look at those little machine thingies. Best do something about them, Evan, my lad. Uh, like what, mate? Oh, these things? Oh, okay. So, where are those guys? I, I need to get the help. I think they're in the um Okay. I gotta activate these to get help from the Kingmaker, right? Uh have we There's one more here. What the fuck dude? Oh they're over there. I need to get around to them. Okay. Can I, can I get help from you guys, or...? <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna use this here. I'm gonna hope that Bracken's okay. Oh my. Where's the light on this guy? I don't know where his weak spot is, so I'm just gonna keep fucking wiring off. Uh, yeah, we, we could use some more of those. Oh, I think I missed it. I'm taking damage from something and it's really hurting me. I don't know what it is. What is it that's hitting me? Is it something close? Dude, I don't know. Oh my god, that was so nasty. Did I do me like that game? I don't have a lot of heals left, so we gotta be super careful here. I'm gonna give her one of these. Okay. Jesus Christ. We are getting slapped. How do I get far away from these? What, what is it that's doing damage to me? I'm just taking so much damage. What the fuck? They're, they're about to die again. I I can't even see what's, what's hurting me. Is it electricity damage or something? 
We've gone pretty low, but I don't think I have enough. Strengthens your ranged attacks, magical defense. I should have done this. I don't know why never. Uh, increases war damage, magic attacks. I've using this way too late. Boost the user's MP. We could hope that she heals someday, but I don't know if it's too late. Is it? Fr ah, it's not freeze. I think we might die here, but I'm gonna try and give it my best shot. Okay. That's really lucky. Can we kill him? I get the feeling nobody's helping me right now. One second kill, I'm in the bus and hectic. It's so close to dying, but like, what is my, I don't know what my, I don't have any more heals. I don't know what my, what are my ranged attacks? Is it R2 and... I'm just dead. I can't. Oh, we got so good. Oh wait, but he's still alive. Ah, uh, okay. Um... What are you doing there for? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, man, like, that was so close, but also so AIDS. You can't even see the damage. Is that lightning? Oh, fuck, man. I don't even know if we can make that any better. Maybe if I had all my items on from the start. Like my boosts, like magic damage and shit. That's fucking so shit. You just take damage. That was so close. I ended up with fucking Leander at the end there and I, I don't really know how his kit works. I was trying to get damage off on him but fuck me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and when he does the sucky in bit, I, I need to like, I guess just get far away or block it or something. Right, what I need to do... I'm going to go into here and I'm going to give more magic damage. Strengthens your magical attacks. Um, improves magical defense. Seriously, oh, she's already got on her. Did this consume my items, no? No, we got them back. Just a, a little bit more strength and I think we could have won this. That was so close. Uh, increases, improves magical defense, I guess. I don't even know if this guy does magical defense or not. Uh, I gotta get to the sand ASAP. Found it. Okay, I am miles away from the front of his face. This is wasted time as well. Ooh, uh, thingy's glitched, look. Do you see... what's his face? Leander's glitched and he's... I don't think he's doing anything. There's no way this is as good as the last time. Okay... Okay, that was close. Alright, a bit more controlled this time. Oh no. Okay. Right, I think we... Yeah, 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 I know how this works. Collect a couple of these, maybe set that to fire in the meantime. Kill more of these guys. Right, there we go. It's the back leg, but like, that's so far away. 
Why won't they activate? I don't... Oh, there it is. Fucking hell. Right underneath his fucking chin. Nice. Okay, sorry chat, I'm kinda... I'm a bit busy. Fucking trying not to die at this piece of shit. Time it so that the cannons are like focused at the right time. Maybe you can actually just put some. No, 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 no. Is that his, is that his big move? There's fuckface there. Okay, we didn't take as much damage that time. I'm gonna angel tier here, and I'm gonna use my. She's lost our magic resistance. I don't want to put too much. I don't even understand what I don't even understand what's doing damage. Like I'm just losing HP being close to this guy. How do you how does how are you supposed to counterplay that? There's the weak spot, but like, I've got all these fucking robots shooting me in the face. Alright, this is where he does damage from like, I guess close range? I don't really get. Fucking very close. Oh, is it when he's is it when he's electrical like that? Is that how it's working? I think I just gotta wait for that shit to finish, right? Does the thunder turn off? Jesus, I don't think it does. Does it? I need to use like ranged attacks to. Jesus Christ! <laughs> he is not fucking- I don't think the thunder turns off, does it? I would need to get the drones to help me out to bombard him and that, I think that would turn it off, maybe? How does, how does one? My teammates are just gonna die over and over again. I think I need- Oh, it just- it just cancelled it! Did it cancel? I think it cancelled. Dude. Come on, there we go. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Fuck him up! You're so close to that. <laughs> what an arsehole of a fight that is. <clears throat> wow. Not my favourite part of the game at all. I wonder why. I think it's... Not so fast. Jesus Christ. I just needed to be more patient and not go in all the time. Oh, we've lost all sound to the game apparently. Oh. Oh, level level two. Okay, there's another phase. Fantastic. Uh great. Well that was completely unexpected. Right. Um okay. Sure. Ranged attacks. Unless she pops a heal off, we are fucked. 
I've used all my items. There's no way I can do this. Unless there's like a secret trick to it. Yeah. My team are so useless here. I don't even, I can't even target him. Where's my target? Is it his face? I'm counting on you. Let's just take him time. But... How can this be happening? I don't know, man, but we'd better get out of here sharpish. No. Evan. Okay. That's a bit fucking troll, not gonna lie. I understand now. A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do. But I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again. Not ever. Is that Shenron? Lofty! Is it... Is it really you? We're we gonna have a bit beast fight, is that what's happening? Amazing! You're amazing! Bastion doesn't stand a chance! Go on, Lofty! Show us your true power! Rawr. Hey. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, stairs. Yeah, yeah, I need those. Jump up the stairs. Jump up the stairs. Climb, please. Okay, we don't want to jump in the... Ah! Okay. I saw this once in Shadow of the Colossus. <gasps> you fucking slut! I alright. No. Really pleased that happened. Forgive me, Shan, one moment. I appear to be encountering problems. Just keep him busy, Shenron. I'm, I'm I'm working on it. There's a there was a bit of stream lag there, you know how you know how it gets. It's cause the camera's panning as you're jumping, it's a bit confusing. Okay. You want to get your machine working so that it doesn't drop me through the fucking middle of it. Pal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nope. Really loving this a lot. Okay, not the middle one, because the middle one fucked me. Getting a lot of exercise, I'll tell you that for free. Okay. Not the middle one. And not the side one. Which are then. Okay, no middle, middle. No middle, middle. Okay. Dodge middle, then the other middle. The middle of middle. Fucking hell, man. Crikey! Who decided to make this part? Who put this bit in the game? Scumbag. I feel like they give a lot more oomph to that boss fight than normal. Okay. Well done, Lofty. 
fucking hell. Huh? Eh? Ah, oh, you're kidding. And then there I was. I was just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers. <sighs> okay. It's okay. We only fell off eight times. Should we um, <laughs> get off of here? It seems that you were only able to maintain your dragon form for a short. Are we really discussing this now? Like I. Exactly. My theory is that the king's bond was strengthened, but only just enough. So you were able to regain the original form, Lofty, but only for a very short time. What? I guess the tower's maybe not falling down anymore because the guy's not on it. But but if Evan gets even more kingly and the bond gets stronger, I'll be able to do it for longer, right? Maybe even forever in the end. Go on, my son. Right, Evan, you get uh, kinging your head off, my lad. That's an order. <laughs> I will. I still can't believe you managed to take them bastion. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't. I mean, we died the first time, mate. It was very close. We never ate our ramen before we started fighting them, but uh, yeah. Toaster fucking blast always kicked their ass the first time. I can't believe things turned out this way. I built the reactor to try and help people to make life better, and instead I put everybody in danger. I'm not president. I don't deserve to run this country. Oh, Zip says Bracken. You made my metal tin leg. Even if it did sound like I was walking on cans everywhere I went, I, I dealt with it. Because because you're awesome. Mm -hmm. What's that? Says Evan. Hey. Listen, everybody, the sound of cans. Scratching on metal. Oh, no, that's just me, says Bracken. No, something else. I can hear cheering. Vector, vector. But, but I... But I... But I abused my citizens for the past four months. Did they really still like me? I guess all their hatred was this country, huh? gone in a flash. I think the people might have something to say about that. Come on, key. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world, real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Support me. Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Wow. Just let me stand in the blue aura here, mate. You can now travel to the cradle of the wisdom trip door. Oh, great. What else is going on up here? Anything exciting? Any secrets? Any chests? BRB. <laughs> Fucking parachutes off the edge. Right, okay, we'll talk to him. Forge a union with Broadleaf. Let's do it. Alright, mate. I'm ready when you are. The sooner we get this pack signed, the better. Come on, let's do this. Leroy. Sorry. They keep saying, let's do this. Oh, here's the pack Let with no. Be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. There's no space on the declaration for him to sign. Just sign. <sighs> I see. So wait, what, how many have we got out so far? Three? But three out of five. Mm, I like how he got his little Doctor Who wizard stick out and was like, let's go. So he's looking to bring back this horned one. And you're looking to stop him? Yeah, we're gonna try and stop him before he gets too horny, naturally. Yes. And if, if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? Oh, that wait. could be difficult. Do we have four? We have Hydropolis, Golden Paul line place, and now Machine place. So Ding Dong Dell makes. Is there five? Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not gonna back down. That's a good movie. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Try not to blow up this heart of the this half of the planet uh, this time, if that's okay. Maybe make something smaller and compact, like a I don't know, a line of fridges or something. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? <gasps> Wait, what? He's trying to get rid of her so that he can concentrate because of all the noise she makes with her fake leg. 
just as you ordered. I like how she is clearly in cahoots for the president. I don't know why, because Bracken's like a 10, and the president is like, I don't know, a 5 on a good day. Like, I, I just feel... She's clearly given him the signals, but he's like, I order you to leave at once. Mate. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Yeah. Sure, and she'll be important to yours too. I could hardly send some second tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? Oh. You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. Holy smokes. From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. We like Bracken. Bracken joins the party permanently, and with her she brings our two big luggage sacks. So President Vector was freed from the group. Our two crash I mean she's here. Leaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows. Whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. The Dong. The Dong still remains, guys. We have to unite it. The Great Dong. Right. Not bad. Oh, here we are. So Lofty finally showed his true power. He certainly did, mate. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. Yes. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. But I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I have a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? I'm sorry, what did you say, young boy? I'm sorry, what was that? Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? Maybe I would break their fucking neck. I mean, uh, no, I've, it's, the thought's never crossed my mind, but that would never happen to us anyway, right? Right? What? Nanny? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. Oh my god, guards, get him out of here. Get him executed. Take him down to the town square. What would you do if one of your close friends betrayed you? Oh, that's fucking good to know. Excellent. Yeah, cool. So we're getting shanked in the back. Feels batu, man. The boy is a living spoiler. The price of progress. Yeah, I definitely aged in that boss fight. Holy moly. Let's save our progress, fam. Well, we got through it in the end. That place was a bit of a, a rough time, but... Holy smokes. Right. We accomplished it. I'm going to save... We were so close to beating that boss first time. That's our second game over in the entire playthrough so far. The first one was right at the start. Not bad though, we got through multiple hours without dying, so GG. He's reading that paper back to front. This is what you need, right? So, you managed to acquire it. Not that I expected any less. You are nothing if not dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We good to go then? Nah. Who's there? Um, crikey! <laughs> crikey! Nah, fam. Chapter 7. A traitor in our midst. Don't believe it. Don't believe it for a second. Not convinced. I'll give you guys my thoughts in a minute once everybody shuts up. So here's Chingus and whatever the other one's called. I think... Obviously, there's 
there's the fucking discussion that goes on between Evan and the young boy where he's like, you know, what happens if somebody close to you betrayed you? And then you go to this scene and you see Roland looking all angry. He gets the vial of purple evilness. And then the chapter is called A Traitor in Our Mist. All the red heron. Got to be. There's no way. I think that Roland, here's my suspicions, and I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. I think Roland is pretending to be evil so that he can get to know the bad guys, so that he can analyse and learn about the purple magic. Because without knowing that, they wouldn't be able to defeat the final boss. I think. I could be wrong, maybe Roland's a villain, but I highly doubt it. If I was a betting man, I would bet that Roland's still a good guy. I think he's just up to some sneaky trickery that we as the audience and the player and the gamers don't know about. That's my two-piece. But we'll wait and see. Don't don't let me know. I'm just speculating freely. You guys that have played, keep it to yourselves. We'll find out. But who knows? Maybe he's actually a bad... I... What are you waiting for? Curse you. I've plenty to keep me busy without your little words in my ear, you scurvy swab, you. Sorry, boss, but it's important. You'll be wanting to hear this, so you can be sure of that. You see, I was about, uh, it was about me business in the castle late last night when I happened upon a fishy scene indeed. A shady character clad in a robes, uh, chin wagon with old Roland there. And if I ain't mistaken, it was more than a pleasantries that we were changing hands. They were doing cocaine together. <laughs> Roland, what poppycock is this your peddling man? You were sleeping on the job and you had yourself a little dream is all. I swear it boss, that's what I saw. I swear it on me life. And he, uh, spiced, he espied me lurking there listening. He came after me with a face black as thunder. I was lucky to escape with me gizzards. Mm. Well, I ain't about to believe such things without uh, your own... Uh, one of your own without proof. But you seem convinced, me, that's for certain. Very well, keep a weather's eye on the swab, see what you can aye. see. Aye aye, boss. Hmm. So here we are. That's all the tweaks to the research facilities implemented, Your Majesty. We've made a few improvements that should ensure they are pretty much future-proof for now. Wow. I have to say, Bracken, I didn't think we'd have showers and plumbing this, this soon, but you've really uh, made our lives better. Excellent. When can you invent the um, the flat screen TV? <laughs> We've already got those, you dumbass. There was monitors back in the science lab. What I'm working on next is top secret. Mm. Ah, so a hot tub then. God damn it! How did he know? Well, what have we? Uh, but we have made precious little headway in other areas. Not least the question of how to encourage Ding Dong Dale to sign the declaration. Mm. That's a lot of D's. Yes, we can't even get close to them, let alone convince them to hear us out. But the horned one, resur yeah, the horny one, yeah, I forgot about him. Resurrection surely grown closer with every passing day. We simply can't afford to let these petty differences divide us. Hmm, hmm says Roland, Forgive the secret, me. the secret traitor. Ah, there was something I wished to speak to you all about. Last night I uh, saw Roland dealing some drugs uh, in the back alleys. Does anybody want to talk about that? Unfortunately, there have been some recent events within the realm that have. Mm -hmm. What is that noise? What the fuck is that? Oh my. Look who it is. Hey, you guys! <laughs> Room for one more? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys! He said it. He said it, no me. He, he said it, no me. <clears throat> Hello there. How's it going? Things all good over here? Yeah, it was great until you brought your hideous airship over. Hey. That was quite an entrance up to what do we owe the pleasure? Oh well, I just heard that you guys were working on a hot tub and I thought I'd come and acquire all of them so that I can uh, make my own ones better and outdo you in the competitive field. Because I'm an ass- uh, Right, that's right, the greatest brain in all the world is looking for you. Lucky you, right? And my first gift to you will be the future use of the Zeppelin. First use, free use of the Zeppelin. Fly, my friends, the skies what? are now yours. Your airship? Really? That ugly thing? Blimey. Amazing. Think how we could ram that into the sea and no one would ever find it again. Exactly. You sure will, kiddo. And now I've upgraded the old girl with a miniaturized uh, perpetual fission reactor. She's zipper, zippier than ever in all senses of the word. Excellent. Uh, I was going to mention that, says Roland. Can we change the designs a little bit? Zippy right man! 
The things you've got great ugly mug plastered all over the front of it. Yeah, exactly. I was trying not to think about that, says Tani. I had wondered if this might be something of an issue, says Leander. You kidding me, right? Ugly mug? I have, you know, this is one of the most mathematically, mathematically well-proportioned faces ever studied. Um, I must say, I wonder if it might be less conspicuous, conspicuous, without the face on the front. Really? Um, you too, Evan. You're breaking my heart here. Listen. Zip. I'm sorry. It has to go. The ugly face. We gotta get rid of that shit asap. Come on. Time to go to work. B -b 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 but guys, no zip. No, be quiet. Zip looks like he should live in a hamster cage, honestly. But I guess we got a flying ship now. Which is kind of dope. Right, so I remote, yeah, yeah, ride the zeppelin, all that good shit, right? What we're going to do here, gang, is because I am starving, because it's quarter to seven, we are going to collect all of our money and all of our resources, because I am imagining right now that the city is full to the gunnels, in terms of all our pennies and whatnot. It absolutely is. Uh-huh. There we go. Uh, we've also got a new citizen as well, which is our new party member, obviously. What I'm going to do, folks, is rather than fuck around with all this stuff right now, as much as I would like to, um, I do need to get some snacks, and if I don't eat sooner, then I'm going to fucking struggle to get to sleep tonight. So, when we come back tomorrow, we are going to return back to uh, Oddleaf or whatever the fuck that... What's it called? Uh, return to the town. I'll tell you guys right now. Um... Is it Broadleaf? Broadleaf. We're going to go back to Broadleaf. We're going to hand in all our coins to the uh, the little bird guy that gives us all the extra tokens. We're going to trade him in for villagers and pick up lots and lots of people for our kingdom. And then from there, we'll continue on with our quest. I think that's a good place to kind of hold it. We'll do some upgrading of our city. We'll put on some research, upgrade our spells, check out our items because we do need to buy heals and all that good stuff. Uh, maybe upgrade our armor swords and all that jazz too. And uh, yeah, I think for the most part that's us. I'm pretty pleased with our progress today. That's pretty good. I'm going to jump in real quick and save here. Via the pause menu. Going to throw down. And we've got Bracken as well, which is kind of cool. So we're now rolling with Bracken and Leander, which is kind of nice. Maybe the reason that they put in Roland as a villain at this point is one, because it's a pretty interesting plot point. But two, maybe they want you to try and expand what you've been rolling in your party. It, I didn't mean to use the word roll there when talking about Roland in the party, but... Um, yeah, I wonder if they're trying to get you to spice up your party a little bit because a lot of people I think will play as Evan or use Roland. I think they're the two main ones. So maybe with all these extra characters, they're trying to get people to try and, I don't know, change things up a bit. And if people think Roland's a villain, which I still don't think he is, though maybe you're encouraged to use some of the other gang. I don't know. Bracken seems okay. She's very squishy. You could see that in the last fight. She was uh, getting knocked out first every single time. She does have healing spells though, <clears throat> and that's really appealing to me. I don't know, Roland's got his big purple move that can knock people off their feet, and I don't know if she has anything of the equivalent, but if we could give something like that to her, maybe tomorrow when we compare the stats, we can actually just, um, I don't know, we can maybe have a look and see if we can come up with a better party basically. But uh, yeah, that is us. That is us, gang. I am going to call things quits here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. We've been live for 8 hours and 10 minutes, which is pretty good. We started at a decent time today, which is awesome. I love that, and I hope to try and maintain that as best I can. Although, only time will tell. I'm pretty bad at sleeping in. Spyro gave us a host today, 8 hours ago. So shout to Spyro. Um, Jcram resub today, tier 3, for his 7th month in a row. Jcram is a beast. As well as doing a bunch of like bits and uh, bit donations and sound alerts today as well. We had Kalmar coming in with the resub for seven months in a row. So Kal Kalmar, welcome back. It was great to see you in the chat again, man. Uh, Riley gave us a wait the door. Yeah, Riley gave us the host as well. Valkyrie came in and resub for six months. Valkyrie, thank you for doing that. Um, that was just a regular, you know, paid for sub. So shouts to you, my guy. That goes a long way to helping me um, kind of maintain this whole snafu. So I really appreciate you doing that, man. And going out of your way i know that like you know sometimes these expenses can be quite a lot and if you guys are resubbing a few months at a time it can be quite expensive so i just want to say thanks again for that again everybody else who did bits today um i don't want to try and remember everybody who did them but i know corey was doing them nye was doing them jcram was doing them um a couple of you other guys as well blasting them from time to time at inopportune moments but yeah thanks for hanging out today guys i'm gonna go get some food and chill 
And uh, yeah, if you fancy some more Nino Kuni tomorrow, we will be here. I'll post in the Discord when we go live. And uh, until then, I'll see you later. All right, I'll post the uh, as this music plays. I'll post the Discord link again. Um, and if anybody has troubles trying to get in the Discord, just hit me up privately. Oh, I was going to say hit me up on Discord, but that doesn't work. We'll, we'll figure out. Here's the Discord link. You guys can try that again. And if not, we'll come uh, come to some sort of consolation tomorrow. Okay. But take it easy, guys. Love yous. Bye.